and I think we are live. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us, and welcome to a three-player tutorial and playthrough of Clash of Cultures Monumental Edition. Uh, this is out from WizKids Games. WizKids have asked me to create a video uh, on teaching people how to play. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Audio and video is fine. Thank you very much, James, for letting me know. Now, I say it's a three-player game. There's three other people in the room with me. I'm not actually going to be playing today. I'm going to be facilitating the teach, keep an eye on them all, and when things turn nasty, basically trying to mediate mm -hmm. to stop them attacking each other in real life. Uh, so playing yellow, we have Dan. Hello. Uh, playing blue, we have Ben. Do you put our faces in or just like... You can put your face in, in if you want or just wave. Like, this is Ben. Oh! <laughs> and playing red is Rob. Oh. All of them have played the original Clash of Cultures at one time. At least. At least once. And we have spent the morning relearning how to play and we've played almost a full game this morning. Mm -hmm. So we are as up to speed on the rules as we can be. Thankfully, the designer of the game, Christian, is in the chat right now. So Christian, if we're playing and we make a rules mistake, I will be looking at the chat. Point it out in the chat and we will we will correct it. However, if we do make a mistake that isn't picked up during the live play, I will be adding annotations. Well, I'll be adding some titles into the video. So first thing, before you start, turn on the... If you're not watching this live, turn on the Klingon subtitles because anything, any errors that are spotted afterwards, I will add them in as Klingon subtitles. If you turn on Klingon subtitles and there is no Klingon subtitle channel, that means we didn't make any mistakes. Yay! Right. <laughs> um, right, and again, just before we start, this is the finished version of the game. This is not a prototype. Uh, WizKids were kind enough to send me uh, a slightly early copy of the game. The embargo got lifted last week, so we are allowed to show this. This is the finished copy of the game. Um, and yeah, thank you to all of my Patreon supporters that support the channel. If you like the content that I create, obviously, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, but also please consider supporting me on Patreon, as I do rely on the financial support of the Patreon uh, campaign to keep the channel going. Right, we're ready to start. So welcome to Clash of Cultures. Uh, we are, This is a civilization style 4X game. It has all of the 4Xs. It does, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. It has the exploration. It has the exploiting. It has the exterminating. What's the fourth one? Expand. 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 It has the expanding. And then the, the, the elimination as well. Yeah, it has that. Um, we're going to be playing... You see there's a round tracker here. So we're going to be playing the game over six ages. There is a variant where you can play five, or there's a variant on the other side where you can have a variable length. But we're going to be playing the base game, which is six ages. Each age, as you can see, is divided into three rounds. And in each round, each player takes a turn. So we'll, we'll decide on the starting player now. Can you each pass me a cube? Thank you. You might want to take those out of the bag just to start with, just so there's less, less rustling. Ah, sure. Okay, so I'm going to drop these. And the nearest one is red. Okay. I think red is the nearest one. Just about. Yeah, so red is the start player. There you go. You can have your cubes back. Yeah. So starting with Rob, Rob is going to take three turns. Then it'll be Dan. Dan will take three turns. Then Ben will take three turns. Three Sorry, actions. Yes, one turn to take three actions. Dan takes one turn with three actions. Ben takes three actions. Then we go to round two. We repeat that process. Then we go to round three. We repeat the process. Then we have a status phase. So stuff happens in the status phase, including changing the start player. And then we do three rounds of the, of the next age. We do that six times, and then we're going to add up the points at the end of the game. Before we go into the points, because a lot of the things about the points aren't going to make any sense, let's give you a rough overview of what you're doing. Every player starts the game with one settlement on the board, which is the start of your city. It is a size one city and a settler. The settler will walk around the board, will explore, and settlers can found new cities. Uh, each player, as you can see, has their own player board. We're just going to zoom in on Rob's player board. There you go. So this, uh, these are these are the same, but we are playing with the expansion today. So the expansion is included in the game, but it is optional. You don't have to use it. We are using it, which means every player also has Rob is the Vikings. Yeah, there you go. Rob is the Vikings, which means in addition to this board, every player has their own special extra civilization advance board. So these are all of the different advances, some people call them techs, that you can get in the game. And a cube in a slot means that you have that tech. All players start the game with farming and mining. 
We will be explaining these as we unlock them. We're not going to explain them, explain them all at the start of the game. We all has, also have a track at the top to keep track of how much food you have. Everybody starts with two food, and in fact, the limit is two food. Ideas, gold, uh, rocks or ore, um, and wood. There's no limit to these. These can, Well, seven is the limit for these, um, whereas food is limited to two at the start of the game. Um, gold is also a wild card. So gold, I will mention it now, is a wild card for any one of these four other resources. There's two other types of counters that the players will be collecting. They don't start with any of them, but you will be collecting these mood tokens during the game and culture tokens during the game as well. And they can be spent to do lots of, lots of fancy special things. Um, the more advances that you've got at the end of the game, the better. Uh, I'll tell you now, every cube that you have in here is worth half a point at the end of the game. We'll come into that in more detail later on, but as you can see, every player has got every player has got one of those. Every player has got the same, the same setup to start with. We also have some cards. We have four decks of cards here. We have the event cards, objective cards, the action cards. We'll explain these in more detail later on, but each player starts with one objective card and one action card at random. Each player also has three leaders which are associated with their uh, particular thing. So if we again, if we look at Rob's board, uh, Rob is the Vikings, Rock, uh, Rob has Ragnar, Lodbrook, Eric the Red, and Knut the Great. These leader cards are not in play at the start of the game. They start off in Rob's hand, uh, and he can recruit them to have leaders at the right time. What else do we need to explain before we start playing? We'll probably explain the starting advances. I think... Yep. Maybe not, because actually, if we explain the starting advances, it's going to be explaining things that we haven't actually explained yet. Yeah. So I think what we're going to do is, is we're just going to jump in um, and we're going to start playing. So Rob, you are the start player. Okay. Now the game comes with these player aids. I will just put a big version of the player aid on this screen here. So there's two sides to the player aid. This is for the basic game. And if you look at the other side, this is for the advanced game, because there's, there's more units in there. But you can see in the top left of here, these are all of the different actions that you can do on your turn. So you can either advance, you can found a city, you can activate a city, you can move, you can increase happiness, or you can increase influence culture. So they are the different actions that you can do. Every player, when it's their turn, gets three actions. So Rob, which action would you like to do first? And then we'll explain that one. Okay, so the first action I'm doing is going to be the advance action, which means advancing my technology and culture yeah so let's put this on here so advancing costs okay so it costs me two food yep but as you'll see on the player aid now you won't see on the player aid uh but the player aid says it you can use ideas and gold instead of food yep. but you only have two food so you're spending two food two food goes down now i am choosing to research fishing so these Sorry. are all of the different advances that you can have they are divided into categories and within each category, the first one you must take has to be the top one. But once you've got the top one, you can get the others in any order. So Rob starts the game with farming. If he wanted to buy another uh, agriculture, he could have either storage, irrigation, or husbandry. But you want maritime, yep. so you start with fishing. It goes in, adds a yellow box slot, which means as well as getting the rest of the effects, I also get a happiness token into my reserve. Yeah. What this allows me to do is, firstly, it unlocks the ability to build ports, which I can add to my city later. And secondly, I can now treat sea locations as producing food for me if I take a gather resources action. Mm -hmm. Yep, so a few things happen there. As Rob says, some of these boxes you will see on here have got a yellow background, and you get a mood token whenever you get that. If you, if you put a cube into a blue slot, that's when you get one of the. Uh, that's when you you get one of the culture tokens. We'll go into the other sieves. Uh, yes, it is Egypt and the Celts, but we'll mention them when we uh, when we start. Okay. So we've not mentioned these yet, but we will mention them later on. But that is your first action: spend two food, yeah. get now, an advantage. As the Vikings, because I've researched fishing, I also auto research shipcraft at the same time. So that unlocks this for free for it's free an extra cube. automatically and it doesn't draw from this pool which is the event tree yeah pool. so that's the other important thing you'll notice that rob has three cubes in the top right of his board whenever you buy an advance it comes from here and when these run out an event happens but the ones from here which you get for free 
if you match a particular one. These cubes come from the supply. So any civilization advantages that you get don't yeah. um, don't trigger an event, basically. Uh, this tech allows me to move my ground units into the water and turn them into ships. Swim. And my ships onto the ground, turn them into infantry for free. And it also allows me to research navigation without paying a cost. Right. So that focuses very much on me being a uh, sea-based maritime empire. Travelling somewhere and then yeah. landing and turning back into settlers again. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so my second action, second I'm taking action. the increased happiness. So I'm picking a city, it's level one. So let's just have a look at your city. I'm just going to scroll around so we can see your city. So this is Rob's city. At the moment, this it's is my settler, this is the city. The city is neutral, no happiness or unhappiness. I want to make oh, it no, happy. No, 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 hang on. We missed something on the setup. Oh, All cities yeah. start off happy. Oh, really? Remember? Oh, oh, we, yeah. we did that in the game this morning, we completely That's forgot. Hard. This is a rules change from the first edition of the game. All your starting cities start off happy. That's nice. So if you're not going to choose that action. Ignoring <laughs> that action. Instead, I'm going to take the activate city. So okay. picking this city, it's a level one. The happiness means it's effectively level two for any actions that I take. Yeah, so when you activate a city, you've got three options. You can either recruit units, collect resources, or construct a building. Which would you like to do? I am going to collect resources. Right, so Rob is collecting resources. So you collect one resource, for each size of the city, and then if it is happy, you get plus one resources. So yeah. collecting resources, you can only collect resources from the hex itself and any hex around it, but the resources that you collect depend on the technologies that you've got. So if we just go back to Rob's board again, you will notice Rob has farming. With farming, your cities may collect food from plains and wood from forests. So looking back at the map, Rob, because he's got farming, he can collect food from here and he can collect wood from here. He's also got mining, which allows him to collect all, we'll call it rocks, rocks from mountains. So again, because he's got mining, he can collect rocks from here. Uh, and the fishing skill means that your cities may collect food from sea spaces. So you've got all sorts of options. You can basically take two things. You can have food, food, wood, or rocks. So I choose to take two food, okay. one from the plains and one from the sea, using my fishing. Using ability, the fishing. Yep. Which moves this back up to two, which is now at its count. Food counts back up to two. Right. So that city has now been activated. Now, really important thing in the game, although you have three actions on your turn, you are allowed to activate the same city more than once. But if you do, the mood of the city reduces. Because if you think about it, you're asking these people to do loads of work. If you ask them to do more work, they're not going to be happy about it. So you, you are allowed to activate a city more than once, but if you do, be aware that the mood of the city is going to drop. Okay. What you're um, going to do is your third action. My third action, I am going to... Activate the city? No, advance again, <laughs> because I have the ability to research navigation for free because, because of, of my shipcraft. shipcraft. So I then take this one. Put it here. So it still costs you an action, okay. but it doesn't cost you any food. What this allows me to now do is it allows me to move any ships on the outside around the map to explore and potentially drop in in other locations. Right. It is also a blue location, so I get... You get a culture, a culture just for putting a cube in there. As well. There we are. So that's my first three. That is your three actions. That's a good start. All right, over to Dan, who is playing Egypt. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to spend... Now, notoriously, Dan builds four infantry and attacks Rob. Let's see what happens <laughs> this time. See. We're going to spend two food to learn irrigation. Right, so Dan has learned irrigation. Do you want to read out what that does? So irrigation allows me to collect food from barren spaces. Uh -huh. um, but because I am Egypt, that also auto-learns me floodplains, which allows me to not only collect food from those spaces, but wood from those spaces as well right. and I'm allowed to found cities on those spaces. You normally can't found cities on the barren spaces. Yeah. Just a quick note all of the starting tiles well I say all of the starting tiles for most civilizations are this however some of the nations have a special one. So this is the Egypt one which is why it looks different from that one and actually, Rob's got a special one as well, because yeah. the Vikings have a special it one. It gives me an ocean tile right next to my capital, so I've always got access to going off on yeah. raids. Okay. 
So that was my first action. First action. Um, my second action is to activate the city yeah. to collect resources. Okay. And I'm going to collect um, one food. And because it's a level two, uh, it's happy. Because it's happy. I can get two foods. So two, two more food. Two more He's food. copying you, Rob. <laughs> and um, for my third action, I'm going to move the settler. Ah, right. So movement. Movement is one of the six different actions that you can do. And when you move, you can move three groups of units once each. Now, right now, this is really simple. Dan has one settler there. So that is the only one he's going to move. Let's just move the, oops, let's just move the mouse around. There we go. So where are you going to move that settler to? Um, I'm going to move him to there. Okay, so when you're exploring with a settler, you have to nominate which space you're moving on to. So Dan has nominated that he's moving on to this space. Then what we do is we reveal that tile, and Dan places it in any legal position. Now, because there's no water on this tile, it can basically either go there or there, because the space that it moved onto is a legal space. Where where do you want to put it? That one. Please. You're going to put it there. Okay, so that has been explored. And that is the move action. As I say, you can move three groups of units. So if Dan had multiple units on the board, he could have actually done uh, done more than that. Cool. So I, I just took a happiness because when I took irrigation, because it's yellow. Oh, I we forgot. Right, happy. okay. So that's yeah. your... That was my third action. That was your third action. Your first action was... Reset. Uh, advance. Second one was... Collect. Collect. Third was third was to move. move. Right. Ben, he's playing the Celts or the Celts, mm. depending on which historical variation of the pronunciation you want to use. Aqua Celta. Um, I am going to try starting with a Ah, well Dyford is in the chat. Dyford, we want to know how you pronounce it. Is it ah. is it hard C or soft C? Yes. Let it let us know. Because I've I've been hearing different things. I'll be sure to do it the wrong way for the rest of the stream. <laughs> oh yeah, whatever you say, we'll do the opposite. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Um, so, three things to do. Like that. You have to do it that way around. Okay. Right, you got a plan? Um, anything you can do. You can found a city, except you can't do that. Yet. Oh, the first turn is fairly standard, I think. Because you're limited one on advance, one, one options. Gather, and then a move, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, Talk us through what you're thinking. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to think of a way to get... Um, yeah, because what I was thinking of was I'd spend two to get bartering. Uh-huh. Uh, which gets me a morale thing. And then as a free action, discard a card to get a culture. So I then have two actions left. The second action could be then to recruit my leader. Oh, right. Okay, get an early leader out. But then she can't move anywhere because you need tactics to right. move. So that means I have a third action, which is wasted. In okay. Some way, which sucks unless I double hit the city, which also seems a bit sucky. Yeah, it's a possibility though. Um, I guess it's just one, one morale. So. In the world to do that. Um, okay, let's go for first action. It's going to be to go for an advance. Okay, which one are you going to go for then? Uh, I'll go for bartering. You're going to go for bartering. So bartering is in the economy. It takes yeah, two or three. Two food. food. And just read out what bartering does. Um, I get access to markets. I can start taking a free action, discarding a card to gain either a gold or a culture. Um, and you get a, and get a, you get a mood mark. token for taking it. Token. Okay, so that's your first action. Um, I Second think action. It's going to feel weird as wasting that. I think I want to try it anyway. Second action, let's try. Um, so I'll do the free action, I'll discard. Um, Objective. Okay, so Ben is taking a little bit of a risk. Well, I don't know. This card might be no use for him. So he's discarding, the a card. Next last game, <laughs> discarding a card to get a gold. A no, culture. a culture. Yeah. Right. Okay. We have two actions left. Let's go for a. That's a free action, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So using bartering is a free action. My leader. 
So you're activating the city yep. to recruit. To recruit. Okay, so remember I said you can, when you activate a city, you've got three options. When Rob and Dan activated the city, they did the collect resources option. Uh, ben is activating the city and he's going to recruit units. Now, when you recruit a unit, these are all the different units in the game. It's all on this player aid. Uh, and the cost to recruit them is printed here. But you will notice ships, cavalry, and elephants, they can't be recruited until you've got the appropriate buildings. Um, whereas leaders are down here. And the cost to recruit a leader is a culture and a mood token. So Ben has spent a culture and a mood token. Yeah. Uh, we get a leader. So we have a leader figure, which is on the map here. Uh, so that's come into play. And then, as I mentioned at the start, each player has three leader cards in hand. So whenever you recruit a leader, you choose one of those leaders to come into play. You can only ever have one leader at a time. So when you play a new leader, it replaces the old one. So do you want to explain how Queen Boudicca works? Yeah, so Boudicca, um, she's fearless, so she gets plus two swords against players with more warfare advances than, mm -hmm. than myself. And she has the great numbers ability, which is what I'm trying to use, which is when she's with a settler that founds a city, you may pay a food to keep the settler. So she can basically keep spawning out seti, uh, settlements with right. the same settler. Okay. Um, and then my last movement, I think I'm just going to try moving because I don't actually want to waste my okay. um, happiness yet. So I'm going to just try moving the settler. And are you moving them as two separate groups? I'm you... going to... He, this is a military unit, so this can't move because I haven't got tactics. Oh, right, yes. The settler can, so I'm just going to move the settler. Yeah, so a very important thing with this game that Ben's just pointed out. You cannot move your army units in the game until, we'll look at Rob's board here, the tactics advance, which is there. Yeah. Until you've got that, you can't move your army units. Yeah. Okay, so, so this isn't the kind of game where you just build lots of armies and then move them. If you don't have the tactics advance, you can't actually move them. Yeah, so this is purely to gather some information about the lay of the land. Yeah. So my settler's going to try to walk into here and see okay. what happens. Let's see what we found. And it could be positioned either way. Oh, oh yeah. So the first rule is that the settler can't walk into water, uh -huh. which would lend us to put it either way. Yeah, but, but then, then the, the other rule is the that the water must connect to all other water, but there isn't any other water. So the next rule is that if this piece is on the edge of the board, which it is, yep. there is an edge just there, cool. that the water has to go on that edge. Because if you imagine that there is water all the way around the outside. <laughs> cool. That's and is my, that your... Yeah, that's my third action. That's your done. third action. Okay. Okay. So I, I mentioned that we're going to be playing the game over six ages each age has three rounds in it then we're going to add up the points we haven't mentioned yet how you get points <coughs> but the first thing you've seen is that players are buying advances so what i will tell you right now is every cube on either of these boards not the event ones but any advance that you've got is worth half a point at the end of the game the winning score in the game this morning was 31 yeah and how many points of that was from advances 12 I think it was 12. Yeah, I got 12. So you're probably going to be getting a third of your points, roughly mm. speaking, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, just from buying advances. So yeah, buying advances is also victory points. Right then, we are moving on to right. round two. And you've done it again. You've moved the pieces you're putting on your board in yeah. there rather than taking it from your event point. Yeah. Can you not do that? Because it. We, we Which might, one have I done? done again. You, you've done an advance. So. Oh yeah, so yeah. I'll take these off because I think, I, think I remember where they How are. How many advances did you do? And, uh, just the one. Is it okay, me? so we're all good. Yeah. Right. That's and you haven't tagged you the one you've. Did he? Did you get one? one? Did you get a bonus one for bartering? I don't. No. Nope. So. Right. No, nope. we're all good. Right, right, round two. Rob, you're up. Yes. So. My first action is I'm activating your city. I'm activating this city and I'm going to recruit in it. So activating the city, you're recruiting. I'm going to spend two food to get me another settler. So recruiting, by the way, we didn't mention this when Ben did it, but you are limited to recruiting a number of units equal to the current size of the city, plus one if it's happy. So Rob could, in theory, recruit two units. But I haven't got enough resources. He hasn't got enough resources. So you are recruiting another settler. Yep. And the cost of a settler is? Two food. Two food to recruit another settler. As you can see there. The Rob now has two settlers on the board okay. here. I now take a move action, and because I can now divide into two groups yeah. and move them both in different directions for one action. Mm -hmm. So this guy is going to go this way, and we're going to unlock this board. Okay, let's see what we've got. 
Okay. So, so it has to go like that. So this guy just is going to go climb a mountain this way. So the other thing, just before you do that, mm -hmm. is when you, you don't just say with a settler, you don't just say I'm exploring that tile. You have to choose which space you're moving on to. And you've chosen this space here. That's correct. Okay, right. Here we go. Okay. You can go either way. I'll keep the mountains down this way, I think. Okay. Now, there are certain rules in the game about the different terrain types, the, the plains, the forest, and the mountains. If you move onto mountains, you cannot move again in the same turn. Because remember, you've got three actions. So if it weren't for the mountains, you could say, I'm going to move as one action, then I'm going to move again as another action, and then I'm going to move again as another action. But when you move into mountains, that unit cannot then move for the rest of the game. Oh, sorry, for the rest of the turn. Um, when you move into a forest, you can move again, but as long as it's not into a combat. Okay? So that was your second action. That was my second you action. You recruited as the first action. Yep. You've moved as the second so action. I can't activate the, So if I, I could activate the city again, but that'll make it unhappy. Mm hmm and I can't move again because they both moved into, into mountains. mountains. You could found cities so with what them I'm if now you going wanted to, to. Because I've got because all the blades laid out, I am, I am going to land build a second city. Okay, so this is here. a really important action in the game. This is found a city. You remove a settler from a non-barren space, and you basically replace it with a settlement. Let's just move that around. So Rob now has a second city. So he's got a first city here, which is size one and happy. Now has a second city here, which isn't happy. The new cities that you found it's come in, it's come neutral. in neutral, um, but it is size one. Now there are some advantages to this. There are potentially some disadvantages with uh, putting cities next to each other because when this city collects resources, it can use its hex and all surrounding hexes except ones with other cities in it. So this city cannot collect rocks from these mountains, which is fine because it's got these. And this city cannot collect from this hex, which is fine for you because you've got planes there and you've got, the sea and you've got water here. So actually for you, that's actually not quite nice. That's not too yeah, bad. That's, which, yeah, that's why I did it because normally I'd have spread them out a bit further. Yeah. But for yeah. this one... There's, there's, there's a few reasons why you want to be founding cities in this game. First of all, each of these city pieces on the board at the end of the game is worth one point. But also, and you'll, you'll see this soonish, but players are going to be building buildings around these cities to make them bigger. The maximum size of a city cannot be bigger than the number of cities you've got. So as long as you've only got one city, you can't build any buildings in it. But now that Rob has two cities, each of these cities can now grow to size two. Okay, right. So that was my three actions. That was your three actions. Recruited an extra guy, moved, moved founded, founded a city. city. Egypt. Egypt. So we're going to... Um, According to Christian, an official rule is the player playing Egypt must speak in an Egyptian accent. I've got no idea. <laughs> that's going to be <laughs> really, really <laughs> offensive. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll yeah. avoid that. Exceptionally um, so. I'm going to spend... Um, I'm going to activate this city um, to take the recruit action. Okay. Um, and I'm going to spend, uh, trying to decide if I want a, yeah, I'm going to spend two food to make another settler. My second action is going to be a move action. So now you can move both of those settlers. Yeah. So he's first of all going to move So we're doing there. some exploring he's here. He's going to that space. Yeah. Right. Lots of so it motion. has to go there because the water is touching the edge. And I can't drown myself. You can't drown yeah. yourself. Um, and he's going to move there. Lots of early exploration. Yeah, he's there. there. Now, you have choices with this one. I've got to connect it oh, to Oh, no, that. you don't, because water has to touch existing water if possible. Yeah. My third, so that's my second action. My third action is going to be to settle this city. To found a city. So that comes off, and you found a city. Job done. Done. Nice and easy. Over to the Celts. Right. Let's try this. So, um, my first action is going to be to activate the city. Yeah. And I'm going to get two food. Yeah, because it's happy, so you can collect one for the size of the yep. city, one for the happy, so you get food from there and a food from there. Yep. Uh, my second action is going to be to uh, advance tactics. 
Okay, so it's a blue box that gets you a culture. And now Ben can now move. I need a military units. Military, or yeah, army units on the board, uh, of which Boudicca is an army unit. That was too just going to zoom in on, on Rob's player board. I'm just going to show you this in a bit more detail. So uh, Ben's just taken tactics. You'll notice here there is the name of a building in a grey. Ben can now build fortresses. Rob can't because Rob doesn't have this. So Rob cannot build fortresses. So if you see the name of a building next to a, an advance, it means you have to have that advance in order to be able to build that building. Okay. And then third action is going to be attempting to move. Got two units, so this one's going to try to move first. So that's going to go move onto there, yep. Into there. So we explore. And this one is in the middle of the map, so... And no water, so it can so go wherever you want. Um, if it did have water, you'd still be free to choose. That's it, because it, cause it's on the yeah. inside of the map, yeah. so and it, there's no water connecting to it. Yeah. So. Uh, I think... Don't find mountain range around this system. I'm going to go for that. Okay. And I'll move them to there. Yeah. And I'll also join with my. Okay. For the second bit. That's my three actions done. That's your three actions done. Advance. So now we move on to round three, which is the last round of the first age. Back to uh, so back to the Vikings. First action will be a move, and this guy is going to move to here. Flip this. The water connects has to, to the go water. there. There's a nice little sea there, and my guy ends up there. My second action is going to be to activate this to get resources. You can collect two resources. Yep, and it is going to be a food and a ore. Okay. Then my third action will be to... So we mentioned earlier on that you can activate a city more than once if you want to. But there's nothing to stop Rob activating his other city. That that's okay. It's each city can be activated once without any penalty. I'm not going to do that. My third action is going to be uh, no. Sorry, you are. Sorry, you're going to find a third city. Finding a third city. Okay. All done. Yes. Right. Down. Okay. Um, I do have a plan, but the plan is gone. Um, so I think I'm going to activate this city. Mm -hmm. Um. To collect resource, and it's going to take two food from of which there are many spaces. Many many options. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm taking two food. My second action is to learn um, tactics. Okay, which by spending we, we know how that works. Food. That gets you a culture. Yep. So oh, that shouldn't be there, but now you've got a culture. Is, yeah, culture. Um, my third action is to use this space to recruit. So that can only recruit one yep. because it's not happy. I'm planning on recruiting Imhotep. So that's going to cost you a mood token and a culture. So there's them. Just going to show this card for, for people. I think it should activate straight away. So this is uh, this is Dan's leader card. Innovator, get one idea after his city is activated for other purposes than collect. I've activated him for the, this city for the purpose of recruit. So there, there's the first rules question for Christian. Does Does this activate immediately? Because his city has been activated, and also he's a physician, so it costs no food or wood when constructing an academy or an observatory. The question is, do I get a idea because his city, which he's in, mm -hmm. has been act has just been activated for purposes other than collect, or is it was it did he have to be there from the start? It's a good question. I'm just going to check in the. But I, I, that's my. Um, I'm just wondering to think whether you can move on or not, but actually I think that was only my second turn, wasn't it? No, that was my third turn. Was that your third? I researched, I collected, and I recruited. So whilst we're waiting on the rules... Uh, yeah. So basically, then, Dan might be owed an idea yeah. if Imhotep activates. We'll wait for Christian to answer that while we move on. Uh, okay. Um, so I... Yeah, it's whether he needs to be in play yeah. before you activate his city or, yeah, it, or afterwards. Yeah, it's what... What is his city, I suppose? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's try. Uh, first of all, activate the city again to get two food. Yeah, two food. Okay. Um, second thing is going to be found the city here. Okay. Now, Boudicca has Boudicca. a special ability, okay. which I'll just show you on screen. Uh, so, Boudicca's special ability when she is with a settler that founds a city. 
You can pay one food to keep the settler. Uh, so I will pay the food. Pay the food. So the settler founds a city, a city but you there. keep the settler. Then my third action, I'm going to do a free action with my bartering to discard this card to get a goal. He's throwing his cards away, he doesn't want them. <laughs> then that's a free action, then my third action is going to be to take an advance. The, oh, using the gold and the food. Yeah, to get trade routes and trade another. Right, okay. So what does trade routes do? At the start of the turn I can get a food per ship or settler up to four that can pair with a different non-enemy player city within two spaces. Right. But at the same time as getting trade routes, I also get tribal trade, which allows me to establish trade routes with barbarian cities that aren't angry for food. Right. So nice. Already got wolf there, so. Okay, now the thing you'll notice is Ben's event tracker is now empty. And as soon as a player uh, has an empty event tracker, an event triggers. Christian, say, Christian is saying no, he has to be there. So it's once him, him is in play, yeah. when his city is activated, he then generates an idea. So, okay, so the event cards are here. We are going to reveal an event card Exciting. and show you what happens. So this is the event card. Now, the reason why this isn't showing up or it looks <laughs> invisible is because it's perfectly green. the card is actually green in that part <laughs> and I've got a green screen. Okay, so let's try and put it somewhere that you can read it. Green on green. Um, so basically, first of all, you check the icon in the top left. This is Barbarian's move and we do that first. So the Barbarian's move, the first thing we do is we check to see if there's any Barbarians on the board. There isn't. But that doesn't mean you get away from it. What that means is that instead of the existing Barbarians moving, we put a new Barbarian on the board. Now, the Barbarian tokens are the grey pieces in the game, but because we're only playing three player today, we're going to be using the purple pieces for the Barbarians because they show up better, uh, certainly on the mountains. So Ben, you must put a Barbarian settlement and a Barbarian infantry exactly two spaces away from one of your cities mm -hmm. at least two spaces away from your other cities and at least two spaces away from anybody else's city so it can go there or there yeah that's it let's put it into yeah okay so yeah so the barbarians they will move out of there and attack and possibly grow based on the event cards so now that we've done the top part of the card, which is the Barbarian's move, we now do the rest of the card, which is Severe Famine. That sounds bad. Now, this has come out quite early in the game. So, uh, who has irrigation? Egypt. Egypt has irrigation I do already. not. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, players with irrigation but ignore the rest you. of this effect. What? All players. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, I think Famine affects everybody. Yeah, Famine affects everybody. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. No, normally they say? only affect well, the, the... The bit at the top says irrigation, players with irrigation. Players with... Okay, moments. yeah, no, I think you're right. It's not everything. You lose. Yeah, it's you. So that's so apologies for that. I have no food, just, so that the bad thing happens. Uh, it is just you. So you lose two food. Yeah. You haven't got two food. Nope. If you don't have two food to lose, then you must lose as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Done. Done. And reduce the mood of one of your cities directly to angry. Okay. Gold cannot be used <coughs> as a substitute in this instance. So, yes, it isn't all players... It is just it is just Ben. Yeah. There we go. Right, so City has become angry. And then Ben's gonna refill his event tracker up with three new coups. <clears throat> yeah. Some famine cards say everybody. That's what that's what got me. The last time we played the famine card was everybody. That one uh, is just you. Thank you very much for that. It's a local famine. <laughs> Caused by all of the hamsters that rob yeah. loose. Sounds me done, that's all three. All three actions, I think. Yeah, I so that's it. We are at the end of the first age. So, well, what we now do resources. is we now do a status phase. So, let's show you the status phase because various steps happen in the status phase. The first one is completed objectives. So, we're going to go around the table and I'm going to show you an objective card. I'm going to just show you an objective card from the top of the deck. Objective cards have two ways of scoring them either the top way, which you score in the status phase, or this, though, this is immediately actually. Uh, or the bottom one. So some of these ones, as you can see here, status phase, immediately e or status phase, this tells you when you play them. But basically, whichever of these you manage to achieve, you play the card and it will be worth two points at the end of the game. So 
Dan, do you have an objective card that you want to play? Should it start there? I don't think it makes any difference. Or Rob? But, uh, no, Rob doesn't, no, Dan? not for me. No. Ben? I parted them all the way for yeah. money. <laughs> Yay! I mean, it is quite early for you to be achieving objectives. Right, the next thing is all players receive a free advance. Okay. So, Rob? So I move this down to here. I'm going to take economy bartering, which lets me sell cards, and so, unlocks economy, and that gets me a morale. So However, you're going into a new category, yep. so you have to take the top one. It's yellow, so you get a mood token, and it's the same one as Ben's got. Yep. So it allows you to build markets, and as a free action, once per turn, you can discard a card for either a gold or a culture. And that clears your event tracker. Does indeed. Yeah. So, so I now get, get an event. We get another event. Okay. Uh, so first of all, we have Barbarian's Spawn. Okay, so what happens in this case is it's similar to before. Rob, you need to place one of these exactly two spaces away from one of your cities. I think we can. The one place I could have is the one is that there. Ben chose to Okay, place. which means in, this, in that case, it has to go adjacent to one of your cities. But again, at least two away from all of your other cities and at least two away from somebody else's city. It's going to go there. And then... Uh, yes, we, yeah, we know that there are more grey counters than the purple ones. It's just a camera issue. We, 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 we played with the grey ones this morning and you couldn't see them on the board. So yeah. if we run out of just purple a camera ones, issue, yeah. we, will, we will look at the grey ones. Well, well, it's the mountains, you can't see them. Yeah, yeah. If we, if we put that on here... You, you can't see it, so yeah. that's why we're using the purple ones for the barbarians. Okay. We probably wouldn't do that if we weren't streaming with an overhead camera because yeah. we we can see them clearly from here, but you can't see them on the on the stream. And then, because it's an actual barbarian spawn, you then get to add a barbarian infantry to another. However, you don't have to add an infantry because we're playing with the expansion. You do have another option. If you are adding an infantry to a barbarian space that already has an infantry in it, you may place a cavalry or an elephant instead. Ooh. Do you want to? No. Nope. No, he's placing another another one. Center of the maps filled with barbarians. This is already a very different game for the last game. Just because of Explorable, just because the layout, staying, the layout and, and everything. Yeah, yeah, so nice. that, that can massively affect this. So that was your barbarian. That was Rob's sports. free advance. No, you still got more. Oh yeah, power. and then we have it's a good year. So I actually gained two you food. Get two food. Oh, I that was nice. Because I have research storage, the maximum food I can hold is two. So, so I oh. actually gain one food. Yeah. Okay. The rest is taken in sacks to the sea where his people can see it, and, <laughs> and it's just poured in the in. water. Okay. Yeah. Watch the fish eating. It on. Yep. So that's your free advance. I'll do my free advance. So Brett is asking. Could the barbarian city go on the mountain space next to the sea on the bottom left? Yes. It could yeah. have. No, it's right next to me. Yeah, but oh, the point oh, is the one he forced, was forced to play. It, it could have done. Te te technically, yes, but I want, it, I want yeah. it over there. <laughs> so it could have gone here because that is at least two spaces away from all yep. of the cities. Yep. It couldn't have gone here. Because it's adjacent. Because it's... <clears throat> and it couldn't have... It could also oh, have it could gone, gone here. It could also have gone there or there. But I want them over You here. want yeah. it over this there. Is, this is um, defensive yeah. feng shui of barbarians. Yeah. Well, I'm going to learn. Yeah, so Hack and Sen, shouldn't the barbarian be placed two steps to the left in the mountains? No. Doesn't have to be. Oh, wait. Oh, no. yes, hang on. Very well spotted. Well spotted. It actually yes. does go there. Um, because that is two spaces away yeah, from here. And space. two spaces away from everyone else. And two spaces away Thank from everybody else. Thank you very else. much. These, yeah. these are the classic things. Well spotted. Thank you. Well, that's no yeah. fun. Thank you very much for, for that. So, so, under what circumstances will that settler get attacked by a barbarian? Well, only if you trigger an event, they then force them to move. And yes. it has a city. So he gets to decide which way they move. You do. So I can move but, it this yes, way. That's it, yeah. yeah. So you're about to trigger yeah, Your settler is pretty much safe. So I'm going to go spawn. on yeah. writing, which immediately draw one action and one objective. So card. you get a culture card. You get a culture token for doing that. Yeah. And the special ability of writing is as soon as you develop writing, you get an objective and an action card. Yeah. And then I have my event. And it also allows you to build academies. Yeah. And now I've got an event. And now we have an event for Dan, which is severe famine. Well, I've got irrigation. So first of all, barbarians move. Right. So we've, we've got it. So 
Here's what happens when barbarians just move. have severe famine. Yep. yep. That, was, that was just a little... That was you, a my you two were. were. But Someone you were clever eyes. enough to get oh, I thought you had severe famine as well, did you? Yeah. I think I did. Yeah. So first thing, uh, check these three steps in order. Check to see if there are any barbarian armies within two land spaces of your cities. There is. Yes. Um, if so, move all barbarian armies within two land spaces of your cities, one space towards your city, counting the shortest distance. There's two options. You choose which way they go. And then place one barbarian infantry in all barbarian cities within two land spaces. So basically, another infantry. Within is... two land spaces of me, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, that's what happens. Okay, right. Tick. So mm -hmm. now we have a severe famine. Uh, plays with the irrigation advance. Ignore the following. It's still just you. Yeah. So you lose two food. He ignores it, he's cool. Oh, you got irrigation? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 so fine. Yeah. Right, and then I get my three cubes back. Get the three cubes back. And that was my free, free advance. advance. Then? Um, so free advance for me will be... Hmm. I think I'll go for... Um, Open myth and get a yeah. And yet, although in this playthrough that you're watching now, we have had a big surge of barbarians at the start. This didn't happen in the last game. No, and we didn't okay. have two famines. And we didn't have two famines in the last game. These event cards are really shaking things up. So what's Ben doing? You've got three advance. I might. Let's think how bad my toys are. While Ben's thinking about that, just for you people watching, we have a special extra camera today, I'm gonna go for which is battle cam. So we can see here the detail, the the figures in in detail. So these are all the barbarians. Sanitation. Sanitation. Okay. And then over there we have. Happy. Happy. Okay. Over there we have we have Boudica, and we also over there we've got we've got Imhotep all the way over there. So yeah, we've got battle cam today. Right. What's next for the status phase then? We've done the free advance. Yeah. Uh, draw cards. Everybody gets an objective card. Thank you. And an action card. So there's a, there is a cycle of these going out as the game goes on. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. No limit to how many of these you can have in hand. Right. Now, everybody has the option at this point in the status phase of raising a size one city. So size one cities. You can each raise one of them, and if you do, you get one gold. Why would you want to raise a size one city? Well, as you capture the barbarian cities, for example, then you end up with a city that you prob you might not want, so you can always get rid of it to get a gold. Does anybody want to raise a size one city? No. Nope. I don't no, think so. No, I'm okay. The next thing is change government. We're not going to mention that yet. We will talk about governments when somebody changes to a government. And then the final thing is we determine the new first player. So we the highest total of culture and mood tokens chooses who is the first player. Okay, Rob. Rob has three. So Rob, who's going to be the first player? Be myself again. Okay, so we move on to age two. Uh, and off we go. All right. Interesting. So. What are you thinking? I am going to. First things first, I'm going to play Idea Synergy. Okay, so and we've I'm not seen action cards being played I'm before, so I'm just going to put it on screen. So this is an action card. You'll see it's divided into two halves. Uh, the top half is playing it as an action, some of them are free actions. And the bottom half, the tactic, that is used when you're in combat. So these cards have got two uses. The top use is what Rob's using it for now. But you can also play it in combat. Well, not also, but instead, you can play it in combat for the bottom half. So Rob's playing it for the top part, which is as an action, buys an additional advance. Cubes comes from the supply, not the event tracker. And you get two ideas. So yeah, so buy, buy in advance. I buy taxation. Okay, so you've bought taxation. And the cube for that came from the supply. supply. It cost me, still cost me two food. Still cost you two food, but, but you two get two ideas, ideas, which I can then use later on for another hmm. advance. Yeah. Advance. Yeah. 
So what does taxation do? Taxation, as an once 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 per, per turn. turn, as one of my three, I can pay a mood token to gain a food ore or wood from each city I have. Oh, yeah. nice. Three cities. So I pay one mood token to get something from that, something from that, and something from that. Do you have to take all wood or all food? Because mm-hmm. it says to gain one, one, or one per, per city. city. Yeah. I, so I, I go around each choose. city and choose. I think you can choose. That would yeah. make more sense. I think so. I was looking at that in the last one and couldn't quite work it out. Cool. Is that your free actions? No, that was my first. Okay, cool. So it was my second action. I'm going to use it. Use it. <laughs> okay, so as an action, Tax. pay a mood token. Yep. And off you go. And I'm going to take uh, one of each. And then... As and my... that doesn't activate the cities, it doesn't make them angry. Um, and then as my third action, I'm going to spend a wood, a stone, and an ore to build a building. Because each of my cities currently can have two buildings. So we are having our first building being built. So let's just go through this again. Rob is choosing the activate city action. Which city are you activating? I'm activating this one here. And he's going to choose to construct a building. So all the different buildings that you can construct, they're all printed here. But these ones require the advances that are shown. So what are you building? So I can build a port or a market. Because you have fishing. Because I have fishing and I have... Uh, economy, and you have bartering. bartering. Yeah. Okay. And then the cost to build them is here. And what the building does is printed here. So I choose to build a port in this location. Now, ports are special. I have to point them off the hex into the hex the ocean is. So I could not build a port if I was here. Yeah. Okay. And what ports allow me to do, apart from build ships, is when I take resources from this tile, I can take gold or happiness rather than food instead of instead of the food yeah and importantly this city is now size two so whenever this city collects resources it collects two plus one because it's happy and whenever this city recruits units it recruits two plus one because it's happy so the bigger a city is the more effective it is uh, whenever you recruit also it looks very cool so that was your second action yep Third action. Well, that was my third, wasn't it? Was that your third? That's why I played. I played the card. Oh yeah, that was as an that. action. And then I did my tax. Taxation was as an action. That, yeah. Right, so Egypt. I'm, I'm done. Cool. So I'm going to play a free action. Um, a one culture to play. So I'm just going to show this. This is a, another action card, but this time, unlike the one that Rob played, this is a free action. And as you might expect, free actions do not cost your actions to play. So you basically pay one culture and you place a free infantry unit in one of your cities. Doesn't activate the city. So yeah, cool. we've got another Egyptian infantry just appeared there at the cost of a culture. So I'm going And you've to... got tactics, so your yeah. army units can move. So I'm going to play uh, I'm gonna activate this city and do okay. a collection action. So you're collecting two. But I'm going to do this, play this card when collecting resources. You can collect two more resources than normal, but still from a single space. I'm collecting two resources from there. So you're getting four in total, but yeah. not more than one from a single space. Yeah. So I'm going to take uh, one metal, one metal, mm-hmm. um, and probably two food. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, two food. Okay. So is that just a one-off card? Yeah. Uh, play uh, when you discard. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. Just show that card that, uh, that Dan's just played. It goes in the bin once you've done yeah, it. Yeah, play this card when collecting resources. Nice. Yes. Um, so that's so my first action was activating that city and doing that. My second action is going to be to build a academy. Right. Now. Academy normally costs a food, a rock, and a wood. Uh-huh. But because of Imhotep, um, it costs no wood or no food, just a rock. So he's going to spend... Just a rock? Yeah. And you have the writing advance, so you are allowed to build an academy. So I'm going to spend the rock to 
building the academy. Where are you building the academy? Um, but it has to be where he is because right, he, yeah, because it's in his city. So it's that city you're activating. Yeah. Okay. Because I've already activated. Oh, you've already one. activated this city. Collect yeah. resources, didn't you? Um, I can never remember which one is the academy. Is it's it? the one that we thought looked like a temple. Little little square. This building. one. No, uh, so look. Yeah, that's yeah, the one. that's the one. Okay, so that's now got an academy. Um, so I've collected a built I've got one more action got one more action while Dan's thinking about that action I'm just going to show you these miniatures because they are very very cool mm. so this is Rob's uh, city that he's built with a port I need to do the end uh, of that and then over well. here let's have a look at Dan's so city so there's the academy these miniatures are really detailed I get, really good I get Imhotep's other abilities get one idea after the city's his city is activated which is what you did and, collect, get that. and because I built the academy I also get the two ideas give you two ideas. So Loads of ideas. ideas. Um, so the third action is to advance, and I'm going to advance on the um, where am I going to advance? Um, Peter in the chat has just offered to paint all my miniatures for me. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you. Peter. I'm going to get myths. I, th I think that's what he's saying. It sounds like it. Good man. So I've got myths, which gives me a happiness token. So you're taking myths. Yeah. So you get a, you get a mood token for taking it. And yeah. what does myths do? Um. So when we get a bad event, I c I may pay one mood token to avoid reducing a city's mood due to an event. Okay. And it also allows us to build temples. Right. Okay. And that's me done. Ben. So oh, first thing is I want to check on my trade routes. So start the turn I get one food per ship or settle up to follow the compare with a different non-enemy player city within two spaces. Right. Combined with tribal trade which allows me to establish trade routes with non-angry barbarian cities. Um, so you food. can establish a trade yeah. route here, but other players can't. Because yeah, I have that. you've so got I barbarian food, speak. One food for the one settler. Okay. okay. Oh, it is the settler that's doing the trading, yeah, not, not the, city. the city. Right, no. okay. As far as I'm aware. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um i would like to oh, was that? so yeah that was a start of turn thing yeah yeah which is nice because i want to get more settlers and if i recruit here is that just normal one one thing so whenever you recruit or collect yeah. in an angry city yeah it is always one no matter the size of the city. Oh, that's fine. So if that was a yeah. size five but it's, city, it's an angry city, so and he's angry, it's always one. That's fine. It's a one anyway, so that makes no difference. Here's a question: Can you activate an angry city a second time? I assume. I not. don't think you can. I assume not. No, you can't. The, yeah, the reduction thing. Um, so I want to get a settler, and I want to get morale up, and I want to build things. So what could I do? I love the fact that Boudicca's walking around Boudicca. with a settler with, with no other army units with it. <laughs> Just yeah, her I mean, that's, that's the reward with people who don't need all this extra. And over there, Imhotep's on his own. Meanwhile, Rob's got no army units whatsoever. Yeah, but thankfully, there's a wall of barbarians. There's, there's, there's oceans, mountains, and barbarians in between me okay. and everyone else. That so. should do. Uh, the Egyptians, though, are building a teleporter. Just to let you know. <laughs> one, 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 blip. Yep. Um, I think I might be able to get away with that, which is kind of fun. So, that works. Um, let's do a recruit action that's a little basic. So, recruit action, action here, you can recruit one unit. And I'll recruit a settler for the cost of a happy food. So, it's normally two food, but you food. have. Sanitation, which allows you to recruit a, recruit a settler for a mood token instead of two food. Okay. If you don't know this game, you've probably got the impression by now that the game has a load of rules, and then every single one of these changes the rules. Yeah. So normally settlers cost two food, but Ben's got sanitation, which allows him to recruit for differently. So yeah, this is how the game is. Yeah. All of these texts change the way that the game is played. Okay, second action is going to be um, I'll discard to bartering again. I'll get rid of this. So one. this is barter as a free action, once yep. per turn, throw a card away to get a gold. I'll get a gold. Um, and third action will be to 
move. And let's just move into some more interesting location. So that's going to move to there, and they're going to move to there. Okay, all done. Three actions done. End of turn, end of round. Rob. Okay. Uh, free action using bartering. Your bartering. Sorry, that for sorry a... don't go on. One mistake, apologies. Because that was a free action, the barter. So I've done... Uh, I've done a move. I've done a recruit. Is that it? Yeah, so it means I've done Okay, actions. you've got a third action. action. would be to get myself... Okay, I'll just pull that back. Yeah, I'll get from this. Pull that back. It's okay, that was, it doesn't... Oh, okay, me. right. Which grabs me. Um, you do that. Right, so Rob is bartering gold. away this card for one gold. One gold taken. Or, or a culture. I'm trying to work out if I'm missing a culture when I built the, when I learned writing. Oh gosh, I don't know. Because what would I have spent it on? <laughs> the only thing I've bought is a hero. You recruited in there, Ted. So if anybody wants to go back and watch the video, yeah. who is watching this live, did Dan. Oh yeah, I used it on the free action. Used it on the free action? Mm -hmm. Oh, you used yeah, it on the ocean card. Yeah. Yes. No, we're okay. No need to rewind. All good. Right. Okay. So my first action is going to be in advance, and it's going to be using two ideas. So you can use ideas instead of food when doing an advance. Yes. Take sanitation. Yep. Which gets me a happy. It gets you a mood More token. importantly, protects me from plague and epidemics. Yep. Second action, I'm going to boost the happiness of my cities. So okay. For one action. This is an action we've not seen yet, yep. but one of the actions you can do is increase happiness. And as Rob is saying, you this is something that you don't do on one city. When you increase happiness, you can increase it across all of your cities. Now, I have two happiness tokens, two level one cities that are currently neutral. So for one yep. action, I can make each of them. There you go. So the cost to change the level of happiness in a city is a number of mood tokens equal to the current city's size. So because these are only size one city, Rob can turn them both from neutral to happy by just one mood token. If it was a size four city, that would have cost four mood tokens. So you now have three happy cities. Yep. So first action. That was my second action. Second action. First action was the research. Oh yeah. Yeah. Second action boost the happy. Third action, I'm going to activate this city to gain resources. So you get three. Two for the size yep. of the city, plus one because they're happy. You can have three different resources. Now I'm going to use my port in the ocean to get a gold because gold is wild. Gold is a wild card, so. Then I'm going to get an ore and a wood. For the forest. Okay. Yeah. All done. I've got a question. Yeah. Uh, let's assume that this settler over here is actually an infantry. As my move, could I move that in and that in and have them both fight? Yes. Or would it be the first yeah. one in fights? The then fight happens afterwards. Okay. Thank you. Um, so my first action is to spend... Um, is to activate this city. Size 2. Yeah. Not happy. Not happy. And he's going to activate it to recruit. So you recruit two units. Yeah. And it's going to recruit a one and one for an infantry. So an ore and a food. I'm going to be short. I might have to do it the other way around. Sorry, guys. Okay. I might just gather first. So I'm going to uh, gather from here. Activate the city and gather. You get yeah. two resources. Yeah. Um, so I'll take uh, one of them and another one of them. That's right. One from that mountain, one from this mountain. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, so he's activated. Second action is to activate this area. And recruit. And recruit. Two infantry. Two infantry. So that goes down by two. Two food that goes two down by two. Rocks. Um, two infantry appear. Where so Imhotep has some backup. Backup. Um, and because I activated the city for purpose other than collect, Imhotep gets one idea. Right. Um, and then I'm going to take a move action. Um, <laughs> this settler's wandered off into the mountains, got his binoculars out and gone, um... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move... It's dangerous here. These, this group of units, one space. With Imhotep. Yeah, with Imhotep. Yeah. That's one group move. This settler, one space. Run away. Um, and my third 
action. My third movement will be... So they can't move again as part of this action. No. But if you chose another action, you could move them again. Yeah. You don't have any other actions left. Uh, I'm actually going to move here. Oh, sorry. So Chris, Christian has said that the battle starts immediately after a group enters a space with an enemy. Oh, so you can't do So apologies for that. I got, I got that wrong. Thank that. you, Christian. I thought you did the move. In that case, I would have moved him into You're going to move that one in yeah. as well. Right, okay. So I um, collected, I recruited, and I moved. Job done. Right. That is very useful to know. So what does that mean? Is if you moved that one into there, that would start a battle. Yeah. And you're still in the middle of your movement. Yeah. Right, okay. Because what I was going to do was spread them mm. out a bit and move them all in. But they... Yeah. Okay. So yeah, what we're saying is on Dan's next turn, if he wants to move those three into there and that one... Yeah. You can't. You can't. You'd, you'd have to move, move them those three in and be a battle. And then move them and in And then you'd fight. move the other one in. Right, okay. All done. Ben. Uh, so I do start of turn, I'll collect two trade routes this time, one for the Ooh. settler, one for the settler. So this settler is trading with this one or there, or, or times, there so, and yeah. this settler is trading yeah. with here. So you get two... Sure. Two food? It's food, is it? That they yeah. Have? Right. yeah. Okay. It's always food unless you get the currency. You you get currency. currency. Oh, which allows you to trade for Gold. money instead. Right, okay. That's one of the things that I love about this game, is that all of the advances thematically fit. Yeah, you know, they, they, they're all, I mean, it's fairly obvious. Oh, what does mining do? It allows you to collect rocks from the mountains. Oh, yeah, of course. But all of the other ones as well work in an extremely thematic way. Um, we would like to get stuff going. Um, Is your plan working? I made, I made one or two, again, critical logistical errors. Okay. One if I actually did better in the practice game earlier today. Um, but at least I did, at trade routes, I've managed to get up and running. You've got it up and running technically. early. Technically. Yeah. Um, so I was just trying to see if I can do all the other stuff without making too many mistakes. Um, what I think I would like to do... I'll just turn these infantry so that they're facing that settler. That, that yeah, getting angry is a problem. <laughs> um... That. Oh right, okay. So Douglas is saying to be clear, you do you do complete the move action before any battles, right? Oh, so you get you can move in as a group. So which is true. I don't know. Right. So you move everything. <laughs> you move then everything, you then you do the battle. No, I'm confused. Right. Okay. Apologies for the correction of the correcting. <laughs> I thought it was that. Yeah. Christian confused me. <laughs> So on my next turn, in theory, I could you do could move all, all four of that, in. and yes. there'd be a four, a four on one. There would be yeah. a four on one fight, which doesn't yeah. sound very fair. No. Um, oh, Christian's contradicting Douglas. Which one? Oh, which one? Would we have a gain say. Okay, right. Apologies for this. <laughs> <laughs> but Christian is the designer, so he's back to what Christian said. I oh, say so, so. Christian is the one who says Christian's the designer. He knows. It, okay. it is two That's separate cool. battles. Okay. Yeah. That's why that makes it sort of from doom stacking, just going oh, yeah. all the time. Yeah. So you but then again, you wouldn't be able to move them all in with more. Than I mean, to be fair, the rule book doesn't say you finish all of your movement. It just says whenever you move into a space yeah. with enemy units, there is a fight. So okay. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to actually get my resources going. Oh no no no! In fact, the rule book does say specifically before moving other units. Yeah. Okay. It would help if I learned to read. Yeah. <laughs> So apologies for all of the confusion, but the rules are clear. No pincer attacks. As soon as you move into an area with enemy units, a battle must be resolved immediately before moving other units. Thank you. Um, let's do a resource gain from here. So you get two. Uh, yeah, it will be um, one of those, one of those. Food and rocks. Oh, sorry, wooden rocks. Uh, let's... Yeah. A... Escape by the advances after getting hit by the, the random fan in the first time. Yeah. yeah. Is it going to happen again? Yeah. It's yeah. Happen again. <laughs> I've put that card to the top of the deck. Yeah, let's um, found a city here. Okay, you so spending your food to keep the settler. Yeah. So we have another city in the mountains. Mm -hmm. And then, Wait, sorry, another city in. Oh yes, well, and keeping the settler. Yeah, yeah. And we can now, can I construct on the same turn I founded? So founding a city, 
is not activating the city. Okay, so, could so you activating know. a city is a separate action. Therefore, yes. Okay, let's try that. I believe so you can case, activate that city even resources. though you've just built it. Let's build. A... I'm surprised that didn't come up in the last game. You can build a temple, a market, or a fortress. Yeah. Um. What are you going to build? I'm going to build a fortress. Well, it's in the mountains, so I'm just going to put it there That's cool. so I can take a photo. Because the fortress is a, probably my favourite miniature. Yeah, they're nice. Of all of them. So let's just, uh, let's just zoom in on that. There we go. So this is Ben's new city in the mountains uh, with a fortress next to it. So there you go. Okay. Is that the end of round two? Of the second age, yeah, my, um, I collected. You collected, you settled, and you built. That's settled, and that's your yeah. Round three. Is that a fortress you've built? Yeah. Yep. It is a fortress, and we know how they work. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Limited <laughs> effectiveness. <laughs> so start, start with this one. I'm going to activate this city and gather resources. So you get so it's three resources from this city. Gold and two food. Gold from here, food from there, food from great there. If you've got then I'm going to activate this there. region. Yeah, get two resources. Oh, no, I'm going to build. I'm oh, you're going to activate a bit. And I'm going to spend two food and two ore. For two infantry. Give myself two infantry because I don't trust either of these two. <laughs> but I don't like him having his leader close to me. So yeah. I think I'm there. Well, I suppose within strike distance of the. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So you've got two there. infantry here. Yeah. You don't have tactics yet, so you can't move them they yet. Can't move out. Yes, they're pretty defensive. And then. Third action. Third action. I'm going to activate. My last city, and I'm going to spend a wood, and then using this gold, a food and a stone, food and ore, build myself another harbour. Another harbour, or a port. Yeah. Port out here. Okay. Three actions. Yep. Three cities activated. All done. So this city is no longer Imhotep City, is it? Because he's left. Correct. Okay. It's the city formerly known as Imhotep City. Yeah. <laughs> So the pincer thing only inconveniences me since, slightly. Since Peter likes it. battle cam, <laughs> I'm going to show you now what the board looks like zoomed out. So that's the current situation on the board as to where everything stands right now. So if I was to attack this, I roll a dice, divide the attack by yes, five. I, I think the same thing. I'm hoping in this game at least one of you builds a wonder, because then for those people mm -hmm. who haven't yeah, seen yeah. the wonders, um, They're very nice. they, they are very nice. Yeah. Mm. It, it was all looking to... so easy two turns ago, yeah. and, and now it's like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to spend two, two ideas, ideas to do an advance. To do an advance, and I'm going to learn rituals. So that gets you a culture token. Gets me a culture and token. What does rituals, so rituals do? Um, lets you increase happiness. When when you increase happiness at a city. You, uh, resources may be used instead of mood tokens. Okay. Um, but because I'm Egypt, I also get embalming, which after fighting any battle, gain one culture if I have four or fewer culture. Right. And gain one if my leader dies. Right. Okay. Uh, so that's my first action. My second action is to... Um, move... I'm going to start off by moving this to here. Okay. So, it, no. no first can't first drown rule, me. the settler cannot drown. And that's the only way around it could go. Yeah. Oops, sorry. So, it's like so that. So, it's like that. So, that's my first move. My second move is going to be to 
gobble up this settler. Shocking. Shocking. So they can't run away. Yep. They so just die. Yeah, if a settler yeah. settler is a non army unit, if it's, it's ever fine. alone That's all right. with any army units. Fine. My poor settler. Third move is. Okay, the... so we are going to have our first battle in the game. Mm -hmm. Battle is a big part of this game. And by... Oh, I should have. Because I had a battle with the settler. Did you have a battle with the settler? Yeah, I, I think we looked it up somewhere in the last game. It counts as a battle. It's just I, an I think you're game. right as well. I'm just going to double check that. Um, settlers in combat. There is a section on that in the rule book. I just want to get that bit right. And I think it might also be in my appendix for um, Egypt, perhaps. Oh, okay. I can't, I can't quite remember. Uh, and settlers, settlers cannot fight if a settler is ever in a space alone with an enemy unit a battle occurs mm -hmm. there you go so it is a battle so I get for my embalming I had a battle. <laughs> so you're going to kill him yeah. and then wrap him in bandages yeah. I see how this works I see now. and then he's going to sell him back to you <laughs> and now we're fighting here and now we're fighting here so yeah. we're having our first combat in the game yeah. it's a big part of the game by this point in our test game we'd had about 8 combats this morning mm -hmm. um but yeah, we're going to do the combat and you're going to see how the combat differs from the first uh, edition of the game. Now you're fighting barbarians, so it's slightly different mm -hmm. um, because the barbarians don't act as another player. But do you have any pre-battle abilities you want to I use? I do not. Okay. Do you want to play an action card as the tactics? So at the start of each battle, the attacker and the defender, if the defender wasn't barbarians, can basically play one of the action cards from their hand face down i do not okay so i'm going to roll two dice one dice for my infantry one for my uh leader, leader and so every unit you have in there and it's a maximum of four there is a stacking limit of four um every unit you have allows you to roll a dice so dan's going to roll a dice uh these are d12s oh, but awful. the one is a leader one the it? numbers oh, yeah. on the dice are. let me just zoom in a bit can you just hold that there dan yeah i'm just going to zoom in uh, where's the fight taking place? There we go. Um, so yeah, the numbers on the dice are between 1 and 6. So although it's a 12-sided dice, it's got the numbers 1 to 6 on twice, but it's got icons on it. And the icons are what you use to match to the type of unit that is in the battle. Now, that is an elephant icon. Dan doesn't have any elephants in the game, so you can't assign that dice yeah. to a, a unit. So it just, just counts as 2. Yeah. This one is a 1, which is terrible, but it's got a leader icon. So this is the clash result. So yeah. because Dan has a leader in the battle, Dan can basically activate the clash effect of this die, which is to re-roll it. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a free or higher. And now that's not good because Awful. it's yeah. a two and a two. Yep. Yeah. What that means is there's no more dice rolling, oh, no that's more additions. So statistically unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> And you divide the result by five, and yeah. that is how many hits you score on your opponent. Rounding down. Rounding down. Yeah. So Dan has scored no hits on the Barbarians. The Barbarians, however... Roll a six. They come along, and the Barbarians roll a, a one. one. A one. <laughs> right. And the Barbarians don't have a leader. So there you go. So I can either retreat or continue the battle. Is that yes. right? So obviously, so we have another round of battle. We're going to another round of battle because I think statistically I should I have think statistically this. You have I, I think I think you got uh, got out of jail free there. Yeah, right. So I just need to get a five. Yeah, that's all you need. In total, yeah. there we go. Okay, so here's how this works. Dan's rolled a four and a three, but this dice has the infantry icon on, and therefore you can assign this dice to the infantry. And the clash effect is plus one. So you've actually rolled an eight. Eight, right. So I've got at least one hit you've scored on the a one hit. enemy. So he's definitely going to die. He's definitely going to die. But and really in return, I've got a two. And he didn't take me with him. Now, whenever you kill a barbarian unit or whenever you win a battle against the barbarians, you gain one gold. Yeah. So just to check, was all of that one battle? That was all one battle. That was one battle. So yeah. for my Egypt embalming ability, I get one. It was a battle that took place over yeah. two rounds. Yep. Yeah. So I got my gold for defeating gold. him. I got my embalming thing for um, nice. killing him off, and that was, I believe, my third action. Yeah, because you I... went move, move, and move. Yeah. Was that your third action? I learnt rituals to get embalming. I don't think I've done anything else. No, because I was thinking about settling. Yeah, that move was just like an action. That was his second action. Yeah. Okay, so you've got so one action left. I, I want to settle, but I'm concerned about Rob's ship ability. Can you explain to me your 
sh- teleporting ship ability. Well, Rob, Rob's got two abilities. First of all, he's got the Vikings have got ship craft, yeah. which means any infantry that moves onto a sea, yeah. does it have to be at a port? No. Nope. Settlers, settlers and infantry can move to adjacent sea spaces, and when they do, they go click, 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 click and they transform into, into a boat. A ship. Okay. Now, the way that boats move in this game, do you have navigation yet? Yes. He's yeah. got navigation. Navigation allows him to basically leave and go round the board. Yeah. But one move is to the next space, so he can't okay. go from there to there in one in one action. Oh, one as move. in cl- like. Clockwise, anti-clockwise. Yeah, so we go, go one to, to, there, to there, another then move to, to, there, there to there, then another move to there. But and a, it is... Yeah. Yeah. So in other words, I've got a bit of time but before you to be arriving. I can, I can land straight away. On the city. Yeah, the ships become attack. infantry. Hmm. When so they, when they so you could effectively... Imagine that's a ship. You can go at like that with yeah. one movement. Yeah, Bob is there. Yeah. yeah. But, but um, say you did loads of movement to arrive here, for example... So that's a ship. That's a ship. Your ships can move as many spaces as they want within this, right? Yes. So in, in other words, it could go one, two, three, four. Like if that was all connected, it mm-hmm. could, yeah, ship movement within a little bit of connected water is unlimited. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. But obviously you could also So build... I think if I've understood this, if this was a ship, and it just passes a ship. So <laughs> so if, if this was a ship and it was here, yeah. and Christian will confirm this. Yeah. Hopefully. When you move that ship, it can move and... No, it has to be to an adjacent. So I have to move it next to it for one action. Yeah. Oh, right. So that so, would be yeah. one move. Yeah. And then... And my next action, I can move again. Right. Okay. When, it, when it hits ground, it transforms into infantry again. Mm-hmm. Right. Got it. Cool. Um, so my third action, then, um, is probably going to be, yes, to settle... This settler here. We've got a bit of time for you. You're going to found another city. Yep. Okay, Ben. Oh, poor little settler getting munched. That's foolish of me. He was on a peaceful trading. Um, at least this one is still able literally. to do some kind of trading, so it will get a food. We get a food. Um, this city is not overwhelmed. Um, really happy, but it's going to do a basic um, purchasey thing. Um, it's going to collect a food and an ore. So it collects two, two resources because it's size two. Yep. Um, I'm going to barter as a free action to get rid of this one. Yeah, Christian has confirmed the Viking conversion ability. Oh, the Viking conversion ability cannot be an attack. Oh, okay. Okay, Excellent. thank you. I'm going to barter. You're bartering away a card for gold. Yep. Desperate times. But I could use long ships just to move troops over there. Yeah. They can launch yeah. an attack. Oh, he says empty space if he remembers. Empty space. So oh. I have two actions left. Uh, one is going to be. Well, a, yeah, Jason sees it with no enemy to convert to ships or vice versa. So yeah, that does imply that. Okay. Yeah. There's all of this as well. Also, yeah, that's why the so tax section gives me something every time you trade with me. If you have it's market places and oh, it's the market. Or you also trade, you can get gold. Yeah. Um, and then, so my second action is going to be to build a. Um, so this city's been activated. Yeah, I'm going to build a fortress on this one. Okay. Of course, the gold and a stone. The gold is the wood, stone and and food. food. We have another fortress. Mm-hmm. I'm not trusting my ability to build any defenses right now. Um, that's activated. But you built it there rather than here. Um, because if I build it there, then it's harder to get that one happy. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, and uh, yeah, I don't know, because it's like if he, if he attacks that, what changes? He gets it. And then I take it back. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I don't know. It's like, yeah. <laughs> doesn't really give me much right now. He ransacks the you gold, then you take it back and you ransack the gold. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. There's this never ending supply of gold underneath. Yeah. And then I have one last action, which will be um, just to take, I think, Single resource here. I'll take a wood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I messed up there. Yeah. Good point. Cool. Is that the end of the? Yeah. Fa- we're going to status phase now. I think we are in the status phase. So at the yeah. start of the status phase, objectives. Nope. Who wants to play any objectives? Well, that's a nope for me. I have no cards. <laughs> <laughs> Sold them all. Desperation. Dan. Um. 
Points mean prizes. Mm. Don't think so. I okay. won a battle, but didn't yet. Yeah, right. So everybody gets a free advance. Starting with Rob. Yep. I'm going to take uh, storage. That gets you a mood token. It means that your food is now limited to seven instead of two. Yep, so that's basically got rid of it. Yeah. Uh, Dan, free, free, free advance, advance for you. So I'm going to get an event. You're going to get an event. Um, I'm going to go on oh, choices. Um, probably, I need the. Mm, I think I'll go on. State religion gets you a mood token. Gets me a mood token. What does state religion do? Um, it lets me once per turn construct a temple without paying any food costs for the temple, so right. it just costs me a wood and a rock. Okay, and the event card that you've drawn is first of all, barbarian spawn, right? And then it's going to be all this extra stuff. So, first of all, barbarian spawn, I should have learned storage. So, it's that, yeah, and that, yeah. Where exactly it two spaces away from one of your cities mm -hmm. and at least two spaces away from every other one of your cities and everybody else's cities. I think so it can the, go yeah, there. I think it's that yeah, the is there any other spaces? <laughs> I don't think there is. Mm -hmm. spread what out. an odd game. That yeah. is the way that the board layout has gone. <laughs> yeah, just, just Definitely no spaces, is there? Is there? No, not that no. I can see nothing that doesn't. Also well, the chat will probably find year. one in five minutes' time. Yeah. But I think I think that's it. I think that's the space. Okay, and does that, does all the other and places? Then you can add an infantry to an existing one, yeah. and because every existing one has an infantry, it could be a cavalry or Evelyn. Yeah, I think we've got to put a barbarian, uh, normal infantry, on. Oh, it's difficult, isn't it? You get a gold for each one you kill. No, no just no. for beating the horde. And so, another one for the city. Yeah, put it at the back yeah. then, I Incre suppose. Increasing that does not make it more valuable. Let's, as let's change it to an elephant, just for the fun. Okay, mm -hmm. we have our first elephant miniature on the board, which means we're going to celebrate by getting battle cam out. So there we go. So the, yeah, as I say, these miniatures are really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is the uh, that is the elephant miniatures there. So. Okay. So that's Barbarian Spawns. What's my rest of my event? Suspended year, you get three food. What's the bit at the bottom? Then distribute three food among the other players as you see fit. That you can only have two yeah. food. Okay. If possible, you must select players for, who have room. Do you all have room? I want one room. Yeah, so but you, Matt, you have to give one to Benny and two for me. Who's going to... No, uh, no. You, know, you could give all three to me, because I no longer have a limit. So it's Who's going to be nice to me? <laughs> I, I haven't attacked you violently and murdered innocent civilians. You killed one of my settlers. <laughs> and that is true. I did kill <laughs> one of your settlers. You were the aggressor. I, mean, I fully yeah. supported your, you your, your one, military engagement. I'll give you so, two. Oh, thank you. Okay. Right. Yeah. You get three U cubes on your event tracker. Ben, would you like a free advance? Uh, yes, yes, please. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go for apart from the These barbarians in the middle, guys. Are we going to all we're, team up? We're going to have to deal with them because when they move out, they're yeah. going to move out in force. We need like some sort of I'm United about Nations that force. Right <laughs> it's like, oh lord, no. Um, I'm going to go for. Yeah, they're going to start. Causing mayhem. Oh, taxation. Oh, and that triggers another event. Yeah. So remind us what taxation does. This is the so as, as an action. action. Pay morale to gain a food. Tax each of your cities. Yeah, basically. Or, or right. Basically. The event okay. is pirates spawn oh. and raid. Oh wow! Now this didn't Gosh. happen in our test game this morning, so we're now just going to have to read the rules on pirates spawning and raiding. Now we know how pirates spawn because that did happen this morning. I can't remember though. So, been hiding away two, from the sea. Up to two spaces away. <laughs> You've got these two pirate ships that you must put on the board, and this is from the expansion. Okay. Um, so I guess it was one of them end. has to go in a sea space adjacent to one of your cities, if possible. Not possible. Okay. Um, so yeah, place two pirate ships on sea spaces without any player ships, if possible. One of the pirate ships must be placed adjacent to one of your cities, but that's not possible. No. So basically, put them on sea spaces that don't have any player ships in them, you may put them both on the same space. And then every player who has at least one city adjacent to at least one pirate ship... Oh, so it makes sense to spread them out then, doesn't it? does. Like that. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so here, oh, this is pirate spawn and raid. Okay, we did do it this morning. Um, so they they now raid and they now raid. Oh, um, and basically you lose one resource, one mood token, or one culture. Okay. And if you can't afford to pay, you must reduce the mood of one of your cities adjacent to a pirate, if possible. So you're spending a food. I'll spend a food. You're spending a food yeah. as well. Okay. So the pirates have raided. So what do these pirates do? While the pirates are here, they collect. They, they prevent the collection of resources from the sea spaces. Yeah. So Rob can no longer collect anything from this space here. They block trade routes. Sea trade routes. Sea trade routes. Uh, and player ships may not pass through the space with pirate ships and must stop moving when entering and start a battle. Yeah. So okay. they block the main thing that they're going to be causing us really is blocking of yeah. sea. And when you routes. want to attack them by either building a ship in the space or moving a ship oh, into the space, I can build ships there. You can build, build ships there because yeah. it says moving or recruiting your ships into a space with pirate ships starts a naval combat. Yeah. Okay. So as soon as you build the ship, and the other thing to say is that it's the blocking of the sea trade. It's, it's actually adjacent sea spaces as well. Them? Yes. After a battle, every pirate ship you eliminate, you gain a gold, and then you gain one mood token or one culture, regardless of who wins oh, the battle. That's actually quite good. They are quite good to fight and get, get sorry? But I missed that. You bit. get gold and either mood or culture. Oh, that's great. So that was your event. So you get free. So that was the event. Yep. But now we have a great athlete has turned up. Oh, yeah. So the player who got this card may pay one culture to keep the card. If Ben chooses not to, it goes round the table and every other player can pay two culture to take the card. Once you've got the card in your hand, you may, as an action, do what it says on the bottom of the card. So I'll take that. You are taking it. Ben, you have a great athlete. Yay. That's your event. You've refilled your event tracker. Okay. That is the free advances. Everybody draws a card. So one Dan, each. one Thank of you. each. Ben, one of each for you to throw away for gold. Yay. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. I keep this. Thank you. Okay, that's that done. Next, does anybody want to raise a size one city? I mean, it's yeah. tempting. Who goes first in the challenge? We'll do it in player order. Um, so, Rob? Do you want to burn any of your cities I'm down? I guess not. No. Dan? No. It's an interesting option, but no. I don't okay, think right. Change government. Nobody's got a government yet. Determine first player. Dan, I have. Mm -hmm. Yes, Dan. Dan has who is going to be the first player for the third age? Um, I can't see any reason why it wouldn't be me. Um, so I think probably me. Yeah. Okay. I think so you so. get the first player token. Thank you. And we move on to age three. Okay, I'm doing terribly with my cards. I mean, you're doing better than I. <laughs> so you keep selling yours. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a sign of me plundering the logistics even worse than the first game. Um, so, yeah, what am I trying to get here? Sorry, I just picked up new cards, so it's from Span and work. Yeah, people are asking when the game's going to be out. So October 13th, I think, is the official release date for the game. WizKids are very, um, very keen on people buying from their local game store. Um, okay. There is a link which I will dig out and I will put in the chat, uh, WizKids maintain a list of all local game stores on their website and they encourage you to buy locally if you can. Uh, but yeah, it'll be out in a couple of weeks' time. Right, so I'm going to do a move action. Uh, I've got this. Right, I'm just going to put a link in the chat now for the website which WizKids maintain of local game stores. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to do a move action. Or am I going to recruit first? That will change things a lot. Killing the Killing the things off. There you go. Get if you're interested in the game and want to pre order it, click on that link and it will take you to your local game stores. As far as I know. Right, what are you thinking, Dan? 
Um, it's tough. Can I take down a city with just one unit? As in, kill off that with one unit. It's, well, it's a two in three, uh, it's a two in six chance yeah. without modifiers. If I get steel well, weapons, right? If you get steel weapons, it increases it. Yeah. You're much safer to go in with two. Yeah, as well, there's one in three chance they'll stay over your head. So you yeah. kill them, you that don't would die. kill you, you wouldn't kill off their city if you yeah. were still going. I see, I see. Right. But if I get that, then it's better. Uh, yeah, I'm going to advance. Okay. I'm going to advance by buying... Steel, steel weapons. weapons for gold, gold and, and food. So and let food. us know what steel weapons does. So steel weapons. Before a land battle, I can pay one rock to add plus two to each combat round, plus two strength. Or if the other enemy, if the enemy's got steel weapons, then it's just plus one, okay. so it just makes my stuff. So at the start of every battle, you can spend yeah. minerals, rocks, a metal, whatever it is, yeah, to give you plus two for the whole combat. Mm -hmm. Right. So now I'm going to move. Um, do a movement action. So your first action was advance. So first one's this. Right. So we have a battle. Yeah. You win the battle. Yeah. That city converts to yours. So this is what happens when there's a battle with another player's mm -hmm. city. Is because there's no units, there is no actual fight. Mm -hmm. That gets replaced, and you get one gold because it was angry. Yeah. And it it then converts to angry if it wasn't already angry. Yeah. That's just the, just getting my gold back. That was what that was. But did I have an object? Uh, yeah, I did. Sorry, there okay. was a. So we have a, our first not objective, objective card. Sorry, no, not and objective. Uh, play I have this no card. Desire to put the boot in on you when Dan's a more serious threat. So don't worry about me stabbing you. If you need to go and counter. <laughs> okay, it's not an objective card. It's an action it's not, card. It's, not, it's yeah. not in my interest to see you destroyed. No, so. I didn't think so. <laughs> okay. So the action card says, play this card after capturing another player's city. So basically, Dan gets to play this at this point, and you duplicate one of that player's advances at no food cost. And I think it says it comes from the supply? It comes from the supply, not from the event tracker. So something that Ben knew how to do, you, you've learned. So it's bartering or sanitation, I believe. Yeah. yeah. The options, because I can't do taxation or trade routes. Um, bartering. Gets you a mood token. Okay. Okay. So that was your second action. First your first move. movement of the second action. Yeah. So I'm going to risk it. But I'm going to move him to there. Ooh. On his own? On his own. On his turn. And before the land battle, I'm going to spend a rock. So you've got plus two in this battle. Each combat round, yeah. If it goes on. Yeah. So you get to roll a dice. And I need a three. This is, this is for the punters. It's like, oh, he's, 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 great. he's grandstanding for the audience. This is Sparta. A three or higher to yeah. kill him off. You got the three. Well done. Plus one because it's an infantry. Yeah. Four. Plus your two for your steel six. weapons. Six. six. Nice. So you've done one hit on them. How However, nice. combat so nice. is simultaneous. And I got oh. six as well. Oh. Mutually assured destruction. Right. That's so they're, mad. they're both gone. Does Dan still get the gold for killing a barbarian unit? Is the question. Let me just have a look. Um, so combat against barbarians. You gain one gold when you win a battle against a group of one or more barbarian units. Did I win a battle? I don't think you won the battle. No, it's a tie, isn't it? So at the end of battle check, if mm. if one side has no remaining units, they lose, and the side with remaining units wins. If both sides have lost all of their units, combat ends, there's no winner or loser. So you did not win, but you also did not lose. Okay. So the question is, do I want to take it with my third move, with my, just get a free city with my hero? I really like it. The next card that comes up is Barbarian's move, and the entire horde descends yeah. on him. Oh. Imhotep is no more. <laughs> well, it'd have to be me oh, getting yes. the event, though, yes. wouldn't we it? Yes, we did forget something. We did forget something. Thank you very much, Christian. Whenever a player's city is eliminated, the player who lost the city gets a free settler. Oh, yeah. <gasps> That's in, huge. In one of their cities. Oh, thank you, observant person. Let's pop it into there. 
So I don't really Which is interesting because we didn't like forget we didn't forget that rule this morning, but we forgot it just now. So apologies for that. Mm. Really interesting. I can't use the food because I put the wrong measles because I forget what I'm planning. And why Dan didn't send the leader is known only to Dan. Well, because what I'm gonna was gonna do with the third action was go there and okay. use the leader ability. Right. But I'm just trying to debate whether to go there and carry on doing that or deal with the fact that I and just move him in and take the city over. But don't really I need another city. No. And it's in a precarious position. It is. Although the barbarians will only actually attack me if I trigger the event and I'm quite far away from it. Because if either of you trigger the event, it's got to go, they've got to run off that way. This has got to run off that way, right? They mm-hmm. won't run this way. Yeah. Um, but I just don't think I need the city. No. I was just trying go with, to farm go with the your resource, original really. plan. I was then. taking a bit of a... Yeah. I took a gamble, it didn't pay off. So Imhotep moves to the new Imhotep city. Yeah. So that's my mo- second action, which was the move action. Yes. And now you're activating Imhotep city, I guess. What I probably should have done was played this tactic. <laughs> I totally forgot about it. Which was what? Cancel the hit? Yeah. <sighs> silly. Silly, silly, silly. Um. So, yeah, so my third action was going to be to build, but I don't actually think I can do it. I, I can construct academy without paying. I just need a rock, and I'd have to use the gold for the rock. Um, and the academy will give me two stuff. So, okay, so you're activating this city. Yeah. You're constructing a building. Yeah. It's a lot cheaper because of Imhotep. Yeah. It, and it, it cost... gets you an idea afterwards because it's Imhotep city. Yeah. It should cost one rock, but I'm using gold instead. Using gold instead of the rock. And there's my gold. Oh, I need to zoom out. And because I activated City and didn't collect, I also get an idea. And because the Academy gives me two ideas... You've now got three ideas. Okay, Ben. Shake first. I'm going to take my puny puny sacrificial city. Your trade routes... Activate, but unfortunately... Not to Angry Cities. No, I should have taken... Currency instead of tax- taxation, because okay. I forgot that gold is wild, so I could have been getting gold from right. So, this stuff. settler trades okay. with either yeah, here list. or here and which gets, gets you a food, food, which I'm unable which to you take can't because have. I'm full because I again, made that mistake. Um, so, we want to try and clear off this annoying person from my area. Uh, if I wanted to I'll recruit, I would need to recruit anyway. an army. <laughs> yep. Which would be I need stone and I need uh, I'll food. Um, so what I could do is something like... Oh, you're fine. Yeah, easy. Um, so if I take resources here, I take a... I want to do something first with that. Um, let's research storage. So spend two food. Uh, research, research storage, storage which gets you a mood token. Thing. Okay. Um, get rid of the limit. And then second action can be. Oh no, because I can't do it, can I? So then I'd. Oh. Well, let's rewind that. Okay. I'll do that. that. Get your food back. So the last action has to be. So the last two actions would have to be. You want to get your, into your two food back as well. Oh, and I took a, I had a load of battles there. How many battles did I have? Yeah, just have okay. another. So I need to move into attack some and to recruit first. Actually, I should have had two battles. No, no, because no more than four with your embalming. Oh, yeah, of course. course. Yeah, you're right. Oh, Christian's disappearing for 30 minutes. So if you want to make loads of rule mistakes in the I next mean, 30 I'm minutes. I'm doing my best. <laughs> um, let us fling away um, another barter thing to get a gold. So you're bartering that away for a gold. So that was a free action. So the first action can be to do a recruit. Yeah. If I recruit... Here I can recruit two things. You can. So I can recruit a soldier person for a food and a stone which is gold. Yeah. Uh, and I can pay morale to get a settler using plantation. Okay. Yep. You've recruited two units. One of them is a settler. One of them is an infantry unit. That's your first action. Yep. Uh, no, let's recruit the second action is... Um, move and attack. So let's go in. 
with the dude and the settler and the fighter. Okay, the settler can go in there. He's not taking any part in the battle. Yeah, but he's just going in there. So we have an infantryman, we have a leader, we have a settler, and over the other side we have. <laughs> I'm not doing any before land. Battles. So are either of you doing any before land battle stuff? No. Okay, attacker. Would you like to play? No. Okay, no, defender. Would you like to play an action card? So these are placed face down. Um. Mm, what is it? Two military units. One military, one general, and well, one leader. And yeah, then two, army units, two army units. One, one leader and one um, infantry. Yeah, go on then. You playing it? Yeah. Okay, so Dan's playing an action card from his hand, face down. Uh, ben decided not to, so yeah. then the action cards get revealed. And what does it do? I've got a roll of dice equal to the number of units I've got, one. And if I roll five or six, I may cancel one hit during remove casualties. Okay. Okay. Uh, give it a roll. Do I do that now? Do yeah, I do yeah, that? No, you want it now. Oh, um, now. Then. If it works, you'll better cancel. Roll the three. No. So, no, no cancel. It didn't work. I thought I had bad luck oh, over there. It's great if you've got lots of army units. Yeah. Yeah, that's more chance of getting it. Yeah. Because yeah. you're firing so, lots of arrows. That goes. Yeah. Whatever it is. Right. So, Ben, you're rolling two dice. Two dice, and I get a Boudicca with plus two because you have more warfare advances than I do. Ooh. And I get an additional plus two because there are two barbarian armies nearby. Nice. Oh, hello. So plus four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two dice plus four with re rolls on a one. So you've rolled five plus three is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, plus the one for an infantry match, thirteen. So you've done two hits. So, can I take anyone with me? Can you take anybody with you? That is the question. No. No. Okay, so that dies. Yeah, the city goes. The city goes. You get a gold for that, Ben. Yeah. Uh, you get a gold you and you get a settler. Oh, you yeah. reloot your own people. Yeah. And I can put the settler anywhere. In any of your cities. And if I want to do some trading, then the settler needs to be near one of your cities. Um, I'm assuming the settler can't trade across water. You get to place a settler in one of your other cities. Yeah. Can the settler trade across water? Uh, I think trade routes can go across water. Get, get one yeah. per ship or settle up to four that can pair with a different non yeah. enemy planets, planet players any within two spaces. Yeah. 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 I don't think there is actually any set cities within two spaces of my city. Point. Doesn't look like it. Um. And then... place it someone else's city. <laughs> yeah, trade routes. At the beginning of your turn, a trade route is made between one of your settlers or ships and a non-angry enemy player city within two spaces without counting unrevealed regions. Each settler or ship can be paired with one enemy player city. Each enemy player city must be paired with a different settler. Um, yeah, so well, if you have two that. settlers, they can't trade mm -hmm. with the same city. Yeah. Um, um, but they can trade over that's yeah, I mean, in this case, you've got a ship trading with. So the way trade routes work is it's two spaces, irrespective of what land, yeah. sea, lava. That was, that was your thing, was it then? So that was first action was the recruit, yeah. second was the move in. So one is that on that space? space? Yeah, no. could be an advance. It is. No. Or something with this yeah. little bag. Yeah. It's, so it's, it's, this it's, isn't trading. Yeah, it's, is physically, it's physically on this hex, but you have to point it into the. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, the hex it. Hex it Add ships to his fixed. Yeah. Um, I think, I think I would move again. So after a battle, you can't move at all, or is it just for that movement? For, for the rest yeah. of the turn. So these okay. troops are done with okay. their movement. Yeah, fine. You can move this and this if you take. If you Why is he? He was doing some trading, wasn't he? No, that was the one that you got when Dan attacked your city. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I actually have three seconds. Nice. Yeah. So I, I did, so that was one movement. That was one movement. This guy could also move out. Yep. To trade range. Yeah, but one more movement. Um, I think the last will then be to take storage as an advance. Oh, the settler can just stand next to the thing. It doesn't. Yeah. Oh, I thought the settler had to be in the city. No, I can don't I so. can I put him there then? In that case. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Andre is asking, does the game come with a custom insert? Oh. So Andre, if you want to just check my unboxing oh. video that I did a few days ago, uh, I show off the insert and everything else. 
Okay, so first action is I'm activating this one. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing mass collections so where I get to collect five resources. Five resources. Two normally, plus one for yep. the happy, and plus two because of the so mass one collection. One gold, one ore, three food. The food, most like food, food, or gold. gold. Yep. Then I'm playing a happy to tax my people. Three cities, three resources. Three action or not? Is it, is it, it's an action. Yep, an action. And I take three wood. Okay, nice. Then my final action, I'm going to spend two food to research, yeah, advance warships. Warships, yeah, because there's a pirate yeah. So what do they do? Killing. So warships uh, mean I, I ignore the first hit in the first round of combat, and also when I'm landing troops, they ignore the first hit. Nice for my for my aquatic assault, amphibious assault. Okay, and that triggers an event. Does trigger an event for me. So the event is famine. Pests. So this is an all players one. All right. So players with irrigation are immune to it, as you can yeah. see at the top. Uh, all players with, st with storage lose one food. That's me. Oh, so this is a penalty if you have storage. Yeah, you lose a food. Um, if a player has no food to lose, yeah, okay, and gold no, may not be so. Yeah, so you lose. Ben's got storage and he's got no. And he's got no irrigation. Yeah, and he's got no food, so he so gets the. So he effect. loses a food. He can't lose a food, so he must reduce the mood of one of his cities directly to angry. It'll be the one in the mountain. But yeah, we'll, we'll bring him when he comes back. back. And what's yeah. the last bit on the card? Uh, gold may not be substituted to, for food in this instance. I mean, he's got. Um, I think he's got myths. Yeah. yeah. So. So yeah. he can he can afford to. So, there's been some pests. There's a famine caused by pests. Mm -hmm. If you had storage, yeah. you lose a food. If I had storage. If you have storage, you yeah. lose a food. Oh, after I bought it. If you don't have food, don't one have of your cities goes directly to angry. Oh, no. But you have myths, so but, you can use your... Okay, okay, so that works. <laughs> Oof. That works. I didn't know you could get negative effects for having positive things. That's horrible. Things like irrigation. It's, well, it's, like, it's like roads. Thing. If you've got roads, when the plague comes out... No, I understand the justification. It's more like, I didn't have the thing. I then got punished for it. I bought the thing to protect myself. Glad you get punished again. Punished again. It's like, oh. Well, welcome to the painful vagaries That is a life. life. <laughs> yes. Okay, so okay. My, that was my three. That was your three. That was nice. That is it. We move on to round two. And that two. affects everyone, that one. That was, that was in affecting everybody. Lovely. Rob had the food and Dan didn't have I've got irrigation. Storage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start killing storage. my priests because at the moment they're not doing irrigation. You ignore of, it, right? Keeping the gods in line. Oh, yeah. Irrigation, Shocking. you ignore it. Yeah. But it only affected you if you had storage. Right. So my go is it. Um, ah, the storage nerf is new. Okay. There you go. That's nice to know. Uh, so I need to... I think I played the entire last game without it. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, might as well get it. This <laughs> I time. might as well get Bam! it. It's really good. Suffer. Ouchy face. Um, what did um, Rob do yet? Um, Crazy ship things. Yeah, he's built warships. Okay, so he's going to be able to build the yeah. thing, which is nice. And that triggered the event. So, oh, he also gets long ships. Which I'll do when he gets back. Uh, I'm going to collect. So his ships city. may move even if they have battled this turn. Mm -hmm. Nice. So what's it got there? An academy. That is an academy. And the other thing that I could build there for cheap is an observatory, but I haven't learned the observatory thing yet. Observatories give you action cards when constructed. Right, so I'm going to collect here, which is one, two, three. Just one for happy, yep. Yeah. Um, what three resources would you like? The three resources I could discard a card over there, which might actually be cheap, better thing to do. Um, what's your default influencing range? So the, the size of the city, yeah. plus including the happiness. So yeah, is that the size three? of the city? Okay, okay so that is the effect that. Yeah. Oh, it's long ships. Difficult decisions to be made. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to do a collect action here. So you get three goods. Three things. So I'm going to take one rock.
one of them and one of them. Uh, so that's my first action. My second action is to spend two ideas to learn arts. So arts is, gets you a culture, and this is a new one that we haven't had yet. Yeah. So what does this do? So it lets you, uh, once per turn, as a free action, you can pay a culture to do the influence culture action. So this is a, an action we've not seen yet. We haven't explained it. For those people who don't know this game, who've been watching from the start, we haven't mm -hmm. seen the influence culture part of the game yet. Mm -hmm. um, and it also allows you to build obelisks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then for my third action, I'm going to recruit. No, I'm not. My brains aren't moving very much. Mm -hmm. They don't move very much, apparently, in this game. No. That one's been sat there for a while. Getting no, I mean... Quite a few. So we, we had a move at the start, but there was none on the board, so they spawned. Then mm. there was a spawn. Then there was a move where one moved towards Dan. But that's only for the players. Then there's a spawn. It. It's not for all of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I guess it's, yeah, you at least have the rhythm of your three events to determine when they're going to start to do good stuff for Dungeon. So that's not so bad. Okay. Um, sorry, I've got one more action. Just trying to figure it out. Um, too many choices. Uh, I need to do that, but I need to do that. He can still have another thing built there, can't it? Because it's not... Because You've got three cities, yeah. so each of your cities can be size yeah. three. So I'll build an obelisk there, which costs uh, one food, one rock, and one wood. Um, and an obelisk looks like... So we've got a new type of building. This... We, we need to celebrate the new type of building it's by standing on it. <laughs> and it doesn't very, get me anything to me that protects that from being robbed. So I mean, it's like yeah. So if you do buy the game, be very very careful about the obelisk. Don't don't put it on the floor and Ow. stand on it because it it is quite pointy. So what does an obelisk do, Dan? Um, it lets it protects your so when someone tries to culturally influence my cities and turn my pieces into their own color, the obelisk prevents that from happening. No, it in doesn't. That city. You can't to itself. No, it's itself is immune. But it it is immune to it. Okay, yeah. And now it's yeah. been built. The obelisk will for for all it's the game always remain mine. yellow color, yeah. regardless of who controls the city and what other influence attacks happen. Sure. If somebody attacks that city, it still stays yellow. And sure. yeah. is it's yellow. Always, yellow. Ah. always be yellow. So as a free oh, action, just to explain it, I'm going to take oh, my. I'm going to pay one to take the influence. We're doing it right. So this is an action we've not seen yet, and in fact, this might be the only action we've not seen yet. Hmm. This is the influence. Yeah, we've seen that. The influence yeah. culture action. So. With this action, what you do is, this is a very cool part of the game, which I've not seen in any other Civ game. Um, you basically try and spread your culture mm. to other cities without without attacking those other cities. So, Dan, which city are you doing the influence culture from? Has anyone got any publicly visible bonuses against this action? No. No. No, so it's even, Steven. So I'm probably going to have to boost it, but from there to there okay so the default range is the size of the city so if Dan wants to influence oh, culture so that could go that, that could, could go get three. to there for free yeah all right well I'll do that one then oh. yeah okay so this is this is a size three city so it's it's base range is three one two three this is within range three because you can pay culture to boost the range mm -hmm. okay so you don't have to pay to boost the range then what happens is you roll the die yeah uh, you need a five or a six <laughs> Have you got any modifiers to this? No, but I can boost the roll. But you can boost the roll with culture. by spending culture. So let's see what you roll. Come on, five or six. You've rolled a six. Lovely. So it has been successful. Really? Now it must be said about this action, the influence culture action. You may take this action as many times as you want on your turn. However, you can only ever succeed once. 
So as soon as you have succeeded at the influence culture action, uh, you can't do it again for the rest of the turn. So what happens is very simply, we take off the red piece and we replace it with a yellow piece. Okay, so let's just have a look at that. What's happened is this city down here, is it still Rob's city? It is still a red city and this is still Rob's harbour in terms of the city still has a port, you can still build in this port, it works as if it's yours. However, did we mention this earlier? I think we did. Every city piece is worth one point at the end of the game for the colour of the piece. So at the end of the game, Dan is getting the one point for this instead of Rob. But other than that, it is still yeah, it's still Rob's. Really. Mm -hmm. It's not your port. No. So yeah, that's how cultural influence works. The other thing about uh, influence culture is this city can now not do influence culture on anybody else other than itself. It, it can try to do it on itself to get its own city back. You activate the city twice, Egypt, to build that obelisk. Yeah, okay. Good no, 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 no. Yeah, when I... Oh, I'm gathering resources. Yeah, I gathered and I built a thing, so that You're should okay be... with that? Okay, thank you for spotting that. Yeah, well, I could have put it there, right? Yeah. Yeah, but Maybe then you wouldn't that. have been able to... No, but you that. could do that. Oh, you could do this one instead, couldn't you? I'm happy to do that if you'd rather switch this one instead because that would have been the same. Okay, we're we happy with that. Yeah, yeah that keeps So we're just going to slightly undo yeah. that. So Dan didn't activate that city twice. He did it once. Yeah. Good. Then spot. he activated that Thanks. city to build the obelisk, and then he did cultural influence that there. Transforms. So there we go. There we go. Thank you, chat. Yeah. It's something. Okay. So Dan has a fortress. <laughs> well, he doesn't have a fortress. <laughs> But the fortress is painted it yellow. Like the people in the fortress are wearing Dan style hats. Why is yeah. it painted it yellow? I told That's you blue. Yeah, that was Dan's tree. Yeah, yeah so, that was my free yeah. action at the end. Right. Yeah. So my okay. trade routes kick into action. Settler number one links to there. Settler number two links to there. Settler number three links to so there. So you get three food. Three food. And I have oh, yes, for storage. Yeah. Nice. Right, now let's see if we can keep this engine going. Three free food. Um, I want to spend two of that food to learn rituals. So rituals get you a culture token. Mm -hmm. And what does rituals do? I can resource, use resources of happy. During the increased Right, happiness. okay. Yeah, just during the, yes, yeah, so not, not all times, just during the increased happiness phase. Okay, oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, or during the increased happiness action. Yeah. Act. Interesting, is that changing? Very precise. Um, I think I'll probably still go through that same cycle again. Um, does that make a difference? <laughs> yeah, because I thought it was for everything. Um, oh, I don't know. I'm just my head's getting all muddled up all over with the rules. That's one reason why I've never been very good at this game. Um, so we have that. We could get a wild card. We've got a big city which could do maybe a big collect. Um, maybe we just do that then. So we'll collect resources from this one. So it's size two and happy, so you get three resources. I'll get um, stone and food and wood. Okay, so that city's been activated. Yeah, and then last one, let us uh, we can use the dice. There we go. Yeah, that works. It's been activated. Nice. Um, let's get <laughs> let's get currency. So you're doing another another advance. Trigger another event. Nice. Do I wonder what's the same? You're going very economic. Mm, not sure. No. Just that. Just so after all the bad luck I've had with these things, I might need to do something else first. And the event card is if you have currency. Yeah, like you just <laughs> go really sad face. Um, no, let's um, let's do a. What can I afford? I can recruit some stuff. Yeah, I'm just feeling like I'd be happy if I just got some recruits going. So let's do a, um, barter away this one. Barter away a card. Gold. You get a gold or a culture. Okay, the gold. And then let's recruit here. So you're activating this city. Yeah. So I'm recruiting. You get two things. So I'll recruit a um, two army dudes. Two okay. Stone and two food. Yep. Two infantry. 
I feel a bit more comfortable when there are people standing. We haven't seen any cavalry or elephants yet. Well, we've seen an elephant, but we've not seen it in action, as it were. Okay, done. Okay. End of the round. That was your three actions? No, not yet. Uh, No, Rob. Activating this city, and I'm building units. You're activating that city, you can build three units. Here comes the ship. So, yep. Is it? Four, three wood and a gold for four wood, which drops two ships. So we have a fight. Sea yeah. fight. We have a sea fight. We have a naval battle. Now, we didn't have a naval battle in our practice game this morning. Right. But I think they're resolved in a similar way. Two gold. And then one gold and one food to build myself a settler. Right. Naval battles, then. Okay, so there's no clash symbols, it's just straight dice roll. Yeah, a naval battle occurs if you move or recruit ships into a sea space with at least one enemy ship. It's resolved the same as land combat, and ships may also retreat and move back to the space they came from. But if they were recruited, they can't retreat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ships have no clash ability, so that's that's the difference. Um, and land units can be transported by ships, which is a part of the game we've not seen. Yeah. Are you playing any pre-battle effects? No. Are you playing a card? No. Two dice for you. Oh, it's a four. One dice for the parrots. It's a six. Well, it's safe warship. because I have warships. Yeah, warships. So warships says cancel. block the first. Cancel one hit in the first round of naval battles. Yep. Right. Re- you can't retreat, so I guess you're going to carry on. Yep. There's a yep, nine, which good. is a hit. That's good. And they got a five. That's not one of each. Yeah. That's some sort of win. That's now you do get a gold for defeating a pirate and also. One culture or mood token. Mm. Take a mood. Sweet. First action. That was my first action. Okay. Yep. okay. So you're going to put cavalry and elephants where you have markets. Uh, two separate battles or two ships attack. I think two ships attack because you recruit two ships at the same time. Yeah. You're not. So you're not moving. You're otherwise, yeah. you. you, you yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you have to yeah, finish yeah. the recruit action. It's a good question, though. But I think that's right. Right, second action. Right. Yes, second action. Uh, we are going to. That is clear. I'm going to use this. To, no, I want to use one. I'll use, use it again if one. you want to. I'll use no. that one to gain resources. So, how many? What? I'm going to take a gold. Gold. And two food. Two food. So, you couldn't take two gold, is what we're saying. Yep. So, it's only this space that you can get gold from. That's correct. Right, okay. And then my third. Action will be to declare a move. Mm-hmm. The Clice's activation is nice, actually, it helps. So this one begins to move to here. Okay. Now so that has to go there, but this can't stay there. Bounces back. Oh, but you could turn it. No, you can't do it during expiration. No, right. Okay. Says. My ship goes back. So. Okay. Yep. And then right. we'll move to there. Nice little safe peninsula sticking mm-hmm. out here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. A little question mark for the Riddler. Uh, you do have one more movement point left if you wanted it. Uh, no, because I, I don't have tactics, so I can't move my infantry. Oh, you still can't? Right, okay. Your armies are still standing no, armies. I'm still, I'm still defensive. I've been going, oh, he might attack me. It's like, <laughs> okay, end sense. of the but round. You yeah. can move ships? Yeah, ships, because ships aren't army units. Uh, aren't they? No, it specifically states that they're, these are army units. Yeah. Those are ships. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's what I was checking in the rulebook. If you can do peaceful... Barbarian units, army units, or infantry units in the base game. Right, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. So you could always get ships going. So move this along? Yeah, because they never attack. Yeah. Yeah. But yours do. <laughs> <laughs> the constructing a temple. Ah. So we've got our first government yeah. advance. So I'm just going to zoom in on Rob's player board for a minute. Uh, is the stream stuck? Is the stream stuck? No, it looks okay. Looks okay. Right, we're going to zoom in on Rob's playable because these three categories down here are government. In order to 
take a government one. Again, as normal, you have to start with the top, but you can only take it if you've got the one directly above it. So Dan has got state, state religion, religion, which means Dan can get theocracy. Yeah. So Dan has now just gained that, which works as normal, mm -hmm. but you can only ever be one government at any time. Yeah. This is where the change in government comes in that we've not looked at yet, but mm -hmm. you can only have one of these three at any one time. So Dan has just got this because he had yeah. that. So second action is to uh, activate this city for collection. So that city is being activated. Yeah, so it's got three stuff. <clears throat> um, yeah, because it's size three. Yeah, and I need one of each, I think. Uh, one, one, and one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, third action is to build a temple, which looks like this. Here? Yeah. And okay. it can go there, can't it? Yeah. yeah. Can it go there? No. Well, you've already activated that city. Yeah, so. I'm just checking the size. So it can go oh, right, there. Yeah. So that costs the three things that I just got. Yeah. Um, because I activated that city for any purpose other than collect, you get an idea. gives me that. Um, building the temple itself gives me one happiness thing or one cultural... One moon thing. token or a culture when you construct it. Yeah. So I think I want a mood token. So that's my free actions, and as, as my as my free action at the end, I'm going to do an, uh, use arts pay one. Do some more cultural influence. To take an influence culture action, and this should now be able to reach that. Yes. Yep. Um, so again, we're doing the roll. What did we need again? Fives and sixes. Fives and sixes. It's a six. Nice. So as we were. Dan has taken the port culturally the port right just for those people watching you have seen me returning cards to the bottom of these decks I am not returning them face down to the bottom of the deck what I'm doing is I'm putting them face up on the bottom so effectively it's a discard pile I'm just saving space just to let you know that I'm I haven't that. quite finished sorry after constructing a temple so first of all I shouldn't have paid the food for the temple because mm -hmm. construct a temple without paying any food okay um Secondly, uh, after constructing a temple, gain a. Fr fr oh, I've got an event as well, Paul. So I don't know when we were supposed to do that. Okay. Yeah. So, so it was as soon as I researched that. Yeah. So, so this should have happened after your first thing. But what yeah. else are you doing after that? Uh, I should get a free theocracy. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so get your free the theocracy. Oh, no, because. Oh, yeah. So this would have happened first. Yeah. So you gain two gold. Well, that's nice, but then there's a revolution. Okay. So you've got to both lose an action this turn. Ah, oh, no. hang on. So you can't do that. So we are undoing it again, believe it or yeah. not. Transfer oh. all advances from go. Let's go back to the beginning. The so that's the. Yeah. yeah. So the first thing I did. Yeah, swap that back. The first thing I did <laughs> was collect. Um, that wasn't on there. Sorry, everyone. So the first thing I did was collect, which got me that, that, and that. Was that the first thing you did? Uh, yeah. the, the first sorry, thing you did I had was... a free action, which was to burn a card yeah, to get a gold. a free action to collect from there. No, ignore all that. The first thing I did... Was research. Was use those two to research. to research. The first thing you did was research, yeah. which triggered this. Yeah. So you gain two gold, Yeah. and then you lose an action this turn. Right. So you've now only got one, one action, action left, left this turn. So then and I... you must transfer all of your advances yeah. from one government category to another government category oh, that you have access to if possible. Yeah. You don't have access to another government category, right. so you don't have to do that. So You may ignore one of the above effects for each of your army units that you choose to eliminate. Oh. So if you wanted to, you could eliminate that army unit and we'll just do it as we, as yeah, we did it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we are back as we were. Yeah, so that's there, except I've got two more gold. Yes. And... The and you've lost bit, an army unit. Yeah, and the last bit that I was going to do... Oh, I should have the food, because I didn't have to pay the food. There we go. So the last bit that I was going to do is, because I constructed a temple, I gain a, fe a free theocracy advance. So I, I would, so would you should have three tubes back. And I'm going to get a theocracy advance, which is, take. I'm guessing, putting that on there um, is the one. Or oh, actually, cultural... This is quite good. Yeah. We're all good though, aren't so, we? We are all. So actually, then when I would, when I then, because I did the thingy last, I should have then got an extra plus one. Yeah. But you didn't need the plus one. 
No, I should have I get a free one of oh, these. Oh, after succeed. Okay. Yeah, after being successful. Right, okay, gotcha. Sorry. We are bit all now order, good. Bit of an order thing. But by how often these are triggering. Yeah. <laughs> when they're like... Mm, I don't nothing. think I revealed any information there that meant I cheated. No, no, no. It. it was just a, no. an ordering. Me get confused. With the order. It was the fact that you could lose an infantry unit to ignore the effect. Yeah. Right. right. Ben. Ben. Okay. Um, Monica's in the joint. Hi, Monica. Thank you for joining us. Out of turn again, I do settler, settler. Three settlers. Three food. Three food. Um, I'm going to use rituals. Take my first action, increase happiness. I'm going to increase this one up to happy, which is two. So it's currently size two, so yep. that will cost you two mood tokens, but you can spend resources instead. Yep. And I'll do the same this. So that's two more. Drop it down to one to get that up to happy as well. Okay. So, happy, happy. so you've got three happy cities. Cool. And then second action. Um, We're not happy. We're not happy. Here's loads of free stuff. Okay, we're happy now. Oh, I should have one then because I imitate. Yeah. Uh, let's take some resources from. This so, one, if you want to so switch you leaders, three. you need to kill off the old so one. Food yeah, the, old, the, old, the old one is removed from food play. And then let's take um, currency. So you're researching currency. Yeah, which is like the trigger an event. You've gone maxed out economy. So what does currency... You get a culture token for doing that. Yeah. And what does currency do? Uh, I can take gold from taxation and trade routes instead of other resources. I, I still can only get food from barbarians, but from other cities I can get gold. Nice. Right. Okay. So, you'll like this. The event is... Oh, no. It doesn't look good. That's fine. It's the name of a rock band that shows up uh -huh. and plays gigs. Oh, look, it's nasty again. <laughs> and it only affects me. All players <laughs> with four or more units. I'm not impressed, just for the record. Lose one unit for every four units you have rounded down. Okay. So you lose well, one I've unit. got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. Yeah. So I use two. Is that right? No. One for every four rounding down. Okay, so I use the one. If lose I one. lose one, which one do I lose? Lose an extra three? unit if you have roads, navigation, or trade routes. Got trade routes. I have trade routes. So you lose two. Oh. <laughs> I don't have navigation. I have navigation, but I don't, I don't have, have trade routes or roads. So I'm getting rid of two. I've not got any units. So you're getting rid of two. Okay. But you uh, have. No, lose. all players with four more units. mean you aren't affected? No, these these are units. you got four. I've oh, got you've four. got four. And then number two is... You've only got two, Dan. Yeah. So, so I'm you're not, not affected. But number one, but step two. Oh no! So yeah, all players four, all players four units. units. So do, Ben, you're losing two. I think so. Rob, yeah. you're losing one for that. And are you losing for one this for as well? Navigation, yeah. It's, it's so you lose two as well. Rose navigation or trade routes. Okay. Players place a cube from the supply in their color on this card for each unit lost. It's worth a point at the end of the game. That's not yeah. obvious to each or each cube. Two Everything that dies. Oh, ships controlled by Carthage are not counted and cannot be used as lost. Right. Oh, okay. Carthage. So this card is going to go here. And you need to give me cues. I'm losing two units. And you're losing... Two two units. Yeah, I mean, two I units. lost a unit last turn and didn't get a point for it. Yeah. So probably bad. So basically, because. points at the end of the yeah, game but because of the story. So which two units are you removing? Ship and man. What about you? Ben? Ben's lost his... Two, two armies. Uh, so one right, so that was the event triggered by your third action. Yeah. So you need to refill your event tracker. Mm -hmm. Rob. My go. Oof. Okay. For, for, that's made things a bit more I think it's time we have Battle Camp because we've got a few new people watching in the chat. Mm. So let's put Battle Camp on and show you what's going on. We have some barbarians in the middle of the board. This is the board at the moment. So yeah, we've got all sorts of things going on. we got Ben here with his city in the mountains. Okay. So I'm moving him to there. La Montagne. Action one. Uh, Turning him to a city. Action two. Yeah. There we go. And then for my new third city action, new city, new city. This is your fourth city. Fourth city. But they're all. Oh no, that size two. That size two. Yeah, but not, not, not two size one. There. <laughs> you just don't have any defense. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, technically, I've got technically a huge, huge amount of defense yeah. over there. <laughs> they're sort of acting as a middle ground. And aren't then they? I will. Um, yeah, third action is to build. It's going to be a food, a minerals, and a wood using the gold to build a market to building 
It's trying to parasitize off my trade. And you're allowed to build a market because you've got bargain. Change my little port. Another one. You're building a port. Okay. So that was my three. End of round. End of round. Yeah. End of age. End of age. Status phase. Right. We're halfway through the game. Anybody want to complete an objective? Do you internal? I don't have any cards again. Yes, I mean, please. I don't think I've ever been able to complete any of those. So okay, let's have a look at your cards. So Dan's going to complete first of all this one. Uh, in the status phase, you have cultural influence oh, nice. in at least two different enemy cities. Done. Yeah. That's so Dan's going to get two points for this at the end of the game. Nice. He's also playing this one. Uh, legacy. You have more obelisks in your colour on the board than any other player. One. Get that card. one. But I, I had to do a lot of work yeah. to get to mm. it. Yeah, that, <laughs> so two points. Points. It was two, that was two ages worth of planning, so I'm not yeah, sure if it's worth it. Face up or face down, you know, face up with your hand. Face up. Face up. Yeah, so, so you know you've scored them. Yeah, they can be off camera if you want, mm. but face up. Right, receive a free advance. Me first, is it? You first. Um, I had a plan. It was priesthood. When I get priesthood, I get you also get man god. man god. So priesthood is quite unique. It lets me um, every uh, research that I've done in theocracy. I also get the power of the. That's man god. Yeah, man god. What does priesthood do first? Priesthood. Oh, sorry. Priesthood just lets me once per turn um, ad, uh, get a science advance for no food. Oh, okay, right. And Mangod, which is unique Mangod, to Egypt. Which means that for every um, theocracy that I've learned, I get the uh, power of the autocracy one to As the left well. of it. So I've now got the power of nationalism and the power of absolute power. That's a lot of power. I have the power of absolute power. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great and power. It, it corrupts absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Ben, your free advance. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go for. Do, do, do. That looks fun. I'm just going to go for protect religion. Get okay, that gets you a mood token. Get access to that. I'm going to go for writing, which immediately gets me an action and an objective. So card. you get an action on an objective card and, the... and gets you a culture token. Yep. yep and yep. then everybody gets more burning things. Have two gold, Ben. Yay! <laughs> oh, with actions. That's kind of it. I might have a good objective with that. Thank you. Oops. Oh, God. Um, Anybody want to raise a size one city? Where was that? No, that's it. No, thank you. Citation. I'm assuming none of you want to raise a size one city. No, thank you. Right, changing government. No, thank you. So th th this is how it works. If Dan wanted to, Dan could spend one culture and one mood token to move those cubes across from one of their government categories to another government category as long as you are able to and have unlocked it. Then we determine first player, which is Dan. You are choosing, found it? Yes. You are choosing who is the first player. I'll go first again. Okay, right. So we're going into round uh, age four, round one. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got I can't build the cities up anymore, um, so I'm going to uh, research. Um, I'm yeah. The cost, the science advances can be bought at no cost. So it's still an action to yeah. do it, but it just it's free. Okay, so I'm gonna do an action. I'm gonna unlock an event if I do this. Mm -hmm. Oh no! What's the event going to be? Um, I've tried to take all the bad ones through, Dan. Yeah, I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> running into the cooperative game. Face first. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. Ha you. I'm gonna harvest here. Because that would be four stuff. No. Yeah, three plus one for the happiness. So okay. you get four resources from there. Yeah, so, and I, I've not got enough storage. Um, but I can be building... Can I only build normal troops? Do a market. 
No, I, I don't think I have. No. You, need to, you need to buy a market in order to have, yeah. in order to recruit cavalry and okay. elephants. I'm, I'm, under, I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm, going, I'm going to um, uh, spend a gold and a food. No, sorry, I'm going to spend a food and a idea idea to um, research. Okay, and I'm going to research. Um, medicine after after a crew action can't have medicine you need to get mouth oh, first got to get mouth first okay in that case I'll do storage okay which uh, gets you no a, I'll do yeah. draft okay which gets you a culture token culture token and what does draft do um, when I a uh, single infantry may be bought for a uh, mood token rather than the normal cost yeah you haven't any plague events have you but several so that was my first action. I've revealed Don't an event now. Step, we haven't had a plague. Event. We haven't had a plague. No, we had a black death. I think, I think black death is, is yeah, it's, it's it's too severe. It, it it's overrides not really. minor minor. So right. Are we ready for an event? Yeah. Pirates spawn and raid. Uh oh. And then there's a solar eclipse. <laughs> so first of all, oh, where have I got to put them again? So. C spaces, yeah. if possible, yeah. one of them has to go adjacent to one of your cities. Okay. And then the other one can go wherever. Can you double stack this one? Yeah. Okay. But you don't want to put one in your cities because they hurt you. Yeah, but you've got yes, to put one. One of them has to, yeah. And the other one, yeah. All there. Okay. Pirates, pirates, so many pirates. Uh, every player who has at least one city adjacent to at least one pirate ship must now, must now lose one resource. So yeah. every player who has at least one city adjacent to at least one pirate ship. So Dan, you don't lose two. Yeah. Right. You just lose one resource, one mood token, or one culture. If you can't pay, bad stuff happens. Can't pay, take it away. Yeah, I um, lose culture instead. Yeah, I'm going to lose culture as okay. well. Okay, right. Uh, and then... We have a solar eclipse. So put this card on the table. The next player versus player battle with armies on both sides only last one round. Mm. If the attacker wins, they keep this card and it's worth a point. If not, they must retreat and the defender gets the card, which is worth a point. Interesting. Right, so I'm just going to put that here. Yeah. We are having a solar eclipse. Very cool. So that was my first Very action. Cool. My second action is to... Um, Collect from here. Blue has a lot of cities. No, blue's got blue's got three cities. Yep. Red's got four. Yellow's got three. This dude is a settler. That is a settler. Yeah. He's sitting yeah. there and doing tradey stuff. Yeah, we can zoom in a little bit just to show you. So blue has settlement here, settlement here, settlement here. There we go. So normally they can build three things. This can build three things. Yep. So I'd need uh, two, three, yeah. So I'm gonna activate this city, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna collect. So you get four resources. Two food. Food from there and there, or, yeah, or yeah. there and there. Um, oh yeah, that's true. And two mountains. So that's my four. Yep. Uh, so my third and final action is to do a recruit action. There. Here. You can recruit three things. Yeah. So the first, I'm going to use uh, spend one of these with Brilliant my retreat. draft action to recruit a uh, infantry. Yeah. Second one, I'm going to spend. Uh, well, I'm going to do this twice, that and that. Right. Which gets For me two, two more infantry. infantry. Nice. Infantry. Okay. All done. Yeah, I'm going to just do a free action. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to pay to reach somewhere. He's doing the influence culture actually. Is there anywhere yeah. that's actually got anything that I can reach? No. Is that what was there? That it's needs a four, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, I, yeah. it's four away. Oh, so you can you have to spend tokens to boost. <coughs> yeah, all right. So I'm going to do my free action, which spends that. So you've got to spend one culture to boost it. Yeah, so what's its range now four. then? Four. Yeah, three so one, four. two, three, four. So you can spend another one to actually boost it. 
The first well, one was to do the free action. Oh yeah. The second one second was to, to boost to boost the range, and then yeah. you roll and you add any. Are you at any pluses? Them. He's got a plus one. I don't. Know. Not at the moment. No. Okay. So influence Lame culture. Here we go. Pass aggressive culture to the... It's a five. It has succeeded. So the fortress is now yellow. Fortress. And I can add, I'll add one to it, and if successful, gain that back. Yeah. So we need a yellow fortress yeah. in here. Okay. They're all going in there. Yellow. Yeah. What is a yellow? Wow. So annoying. Okay. Spread in. All done? Yeah. Ben? Um, top turn trade routes. Gold. Gold. Fruit. Nice. Not going to do it. Um, all the guys are happy now, which is nice. Um. Hmm. Let's some kind of Has anybody got a wonder in hand yet? Nobody's nobody's no. gone down that no, part no, of the game. Okay. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Too expensive. <laughs> More monuments and traditions. Yeah, but they're worth loads of points. I'm too frivolous with my resources. Uh, and they've made them more powerful in this version of the game as well. Yeah. Uh, let's get a. Yeah, they are good though. Mm. I think I, I think I prefer with things like that uh, deck of them, uh, offer when you choose right, one okay. from the offer because I feel like you're you, not sure what you're going to get and it yeah, could, could be absolutely I nasty. need to play this game a hundred times before I know what all the mm. whether they suit my strategy mm. if you had an offer of them I'd, yeah that'd be cool um, I want to build some stuff what can I build? I'm sure there's a good reason why that's not the case uh, let's build a, a fortress here. To activate. So activate there. Let's go Spend the resources. Food and stone and wood. Build a fortress. Oops. There's so much replayability in this game, isn't there? Because yeah, the next has different ways of playing. It's so different. Oh, yeah. This game, especially from the with previous the, game with the factions. Oh, you mean yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because the board layout. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, so different already because of the board layer, and we're still using the same factions. Yeah. Second it, one, let us um, farm from, from here. So okay, three is it? You're activating here, so size two, food, and it's happy, food, so you get three resources. Food, food, or yeah, okay, so or food, food. Can't believe that they still got this. Unknown area right behind them. What's over there? Don't know. No, don't ask. <laughs> Third action. Let's recruit. You're activating your third city. I'm sending because I get three things if I yeah do that as well. So let's do a pre-action bar to get rid of this one. Okay. Get a gold. Get a gold for that. Let's activate the third city. Yeah, so you can recruit, recruit three, three things. Let's get um, three armies. That's right. Uh, one, two, three food. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Suddenly everybody's buying lots of armies. It's the style of militarization. Right. Okay. Christian's back. All done. Welcome back, Christian. But right, first action is I'm going to tax, so now I get four resources. Four cities? Yep, two wood, two stone. Second action, I'm going to activate this one. Yep, to do... And I'm going to build a building, so I'm going to pay one food, one wood, one stone to build an academy. Okay, what does the academy do? That gets me two uh, ideas. ideas. Two ideas when you build it, right? Yep, and then I'm going to do the same for the other building. Down here? Yep. And also build an academy for another two ideas. Cool, nice, easy round. Mm -hmm. What was it? Tax, tax, build, build academy, build academy. Yep. End of the round. Yeah. Round two, done. Um. So I want to do some advancing. Uh. So I'm going to spend two to. Two gold oh, as I food. Have yeah. there because we already did the event. We did the there. event. Yeah. Um, two gold to learn maths. Yeah. Which gives you a culture token. 
culture token. And means that you can now build observatories and you can build engineering, you can research engineering and roads at no cost. Yeah. Because you can add up. Yeah. Um, second action is to collect from, from this one. So you get four things. Yeah. And those, no, sorry, from this one, three things. Three things. Um, and those three things will be uh, a rock. Yeah. Um, no, sorry, I am doing that one. Okay, so, uh, so four things. Two rocks. Two rocks, one from there, one from there. Food. Food from there. Probably two food. food. Okay. So that's my second action. And my third action is to uh, learn roads for free. So it costs you an action, doesn't cost you any food, gets yeah. you a culture marker. Yeah. End of turn. I will do an influence. Are you doing a free thing? Yeah. Here we go again. Uh, so range is free, one, two, three. Um, I have to pay one to actually do the free action. Mm -hmm. And then I'm rolling. Where are the dice over there? Cool, thank you. So three. Uh, so I get plus one. Four. And I'm gonna boost it. Five. Five, and if successful I get that. That academy back. is now a yellow academy. I'm of the opinion that yellow looks better when it's burning. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Rob? Yeah, I think what are your thoughts? I think we should deal with this. Where? It's just a guy there in his radio shack, just going, and everybody's like, oh, what was that? That's fascinating. Eat, Tell eat me at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, we'll do that. Paint our houses yellow. Oh, sure. That's Sounds great. great. But yes, the yellow, the yellow culture mm. is really... And what is it that's allowing you to do that? The um, arts. That's it. The arts is giving you a free one. But something has given well, you all well, of these. Well, he's getting lucky on the roll. He's not failing the he's, rolls. He's been lucky on the rolls. And, he, and he's got one that gets him a constant supply of the uh, influence. We can keep drinking the Yeah, and I know, but I mean, I was unlucky earlier on when I you was did. statistically... Yeah. But as long as you've got enough of these, you're going to succeed yeah. and then you get yeah. one back. And so I get, it's... I get them from fighting. It's working out quite well. And actually, I I'm yeah. still not using any of my abilities. I think that so no, no, might be... Better not being too passive as well. So I mean, I'm working on that. <laughs> he's over there, so he's he's romping it again. So right, mm -hmm. give, give, give. you all done? Yeah, I'm done. Right, Ben. Right, um, uh, Dead Omen is in the chat and wants to know when we will see and read the first reviews of the game. You will see them in about two hours' time when we finish playing because I will do a round the table Sweet. discussion and get everybody's opinions on it. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, so I'm doing my tr uh, trade routes again. So I'm getting. Gold, gold. Purple is barbarians. Food. Yes. For the purposes of the stream, uh, we found that the purple showed up better on yeah. the camera. Normally, you would use grey pieces. Let us move. I'm doing a quick again. While well, Ben's thinking, move. let's have battle cam again. Right. Let's see what we've got going on here. So Dan's got a little city down here on its own, not Do, really doing, doing very much with some, with some pirates <laughs> nearby. And right. we have a big city here. We have a really big city over there full of people. And that's the one that's spreading the cultural influence. We've got the barbarians in the middle of the board, just from the way it came out. Over here we have the blue empire, the Celts. Yeah, not but, very Celtic. But, but the yellow influence is spreading. Yeah. And then down here we have the Vikings with their ports. But again... Yellow influence has been spreading into this, which, believe it or not, is still a Viking city. They're very happy, but yeah, they're starting to be taken over culturally by by the Egyptians. Um, yeah, and this is the importance of blocking access to places now. Uh, I wonder if I should be doing more of that. Um, yeah, and we haven't had any fun. barbarian spawning events for it's ages. Three at the start, and then, yeah, and then it's, it's, it's just slowed down. Then we have plagues. Yeah. They form a little cluster in the middle, and they sort of just left us alone. After yeah. Uh, I'm going to try that, because I think it'll be more fun. It's something more in Boudicca's style. I feel annoyed that I haven't been able to get her abilities to the table often enough. Um, so I'm going to... 
do a gather action or gather here. So you're going to activate this city and you're yeah. going to gather size two plus one for happiness three resources. So I'll get a, um, a food and two stone. And then we have two more. You did your trade routes. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah that's okay. that's right. And then I'm going to do a um, take draft. Cost me two food. Two food to learn draft, which gets you a culture. Which I'm not actually able to use it. Let me find out why. Uh, which also gets me tribal allies. Which do as well. Um, I will do it now. Oh, right, okay. Um, I'm going to, as an action, spawn barbarians like the event card icon. Oh, no. So I spawn barbarians. Oh, right, okay. So you get in the spawn barbarian. You get event. one of them and one of them. Yeah. Now where can I put these? Exactly two spaces of this is this is a, a puzzle. This is a puzzle for the chat to work out where one goes. I mean I think it has to go in close to one of mine. So it's exactly two spaces away from one of your cities. Yeah. That is at least two spaces away from all of your other cities yeah. and at least two spaces away from every other player's cities. Can it go if here? Can't That's not it, possible. It goes adjacent to one of yours. Can it go here? As long as it is two spaces away from everything else. And that there isn't a better space for it. Can it go in a barren location? Can it go in a barren location? That's a good question. That is a critical one. No, I don't it think can. it did because I had to non put barren. it on the thing before, didn't I? Non barren space. Uh, there. Oh, uh, it's next or it's cause... here? No, because it's. Uh, no. Because no, that's adjacent to two of them. Is that a problem? It is adjacent to one of them, but it isn't at least two away from all of your other ones. Okay, so it needs to try to be separate from cities yeah. as well. Yeah. Fine. In that case, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't work. But well. undo it if you don't want to, because yeah, don't do it if you don't want like, to. you've not revealed well, any new information. Because you, you need yeah. to get placed. Yeah. Sort of thing. Okay, so yeah. it's not doing that. So I have, I still have the placement action. I think do. when it comes to placing the barbarian stuff, it's good to talk it through. It's, it's yeah. such a puzzle, isn't it? Like, yeah. Um, let's do another. Explore here. There might be there might be other places. I think you want to be placing it there. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to put it there because it, it can start to block off access. But unfortunately, it, I can't. It I would have put it there. The but and... it's yeah. This thing about it can't go next to two of my cities is a bit of a weird one. So yeah. that makes it even more awkward. So yeah, it's just very hard to use that at the moment from where I've been. So I will do another recruit action. I will spend. Um, I'll recruit here. I'll spend um, two ore and two gold as food and I'll spend the morale to get an extra settler. Oh no, I've got drafts so I can get an infantry so I'll get three infantry in total. Yeah so the the barbarian city being at least two spaces away from all of the player cities is a in any case. So that yeah. rule always applies. That's fine that's a bit unsense the bit about your own apparently which is annoying. You don't realize it had to be away from your own as well. Yeah, they can be close to one of them, but not all of them. But not all of them. I think it's a sort of stop, stop encampments appearing in the middle of your heartland sort of thing. Mm. You yeah. Any directions? Yeah. Well okay. Let's just read this again. The space must be exactly two land spaces away from one of your cities and at least two spaces away from the rest of your cities. That was one sentence. Yeah. Full stop. If that's not possible, it must be placed adjacent to your cities. So but then it doesn't have that restriction. So, so I think you can. Okay, but okay. Not, not on. But in not any on, case, but it wouldn't be able to go on the baron. No, in any case, it has to be two at least two spaces away from everybody else's cities. But the baron is a fundamental rule. Really baron is, baron. is can't yeah. be placed. But on you baron. could put it there. But then it would kill my dude. Which you is could put it there. You could put it there. That is not doing what I wanted to. Achieve. Okay, it could, right. it could start like trying to block off things, but I can't block off those. It's basically would be doing shenanigans here, but it doesn't matter. I just right. Okay, I'll keep trying to work out pieces okay. for this. Yeah, that's right. probably really good earlier I'm on when a... it's not as compact. Yeah, maybe. Right? I'm yeah. advancing. I'm going to just take a card. Or just that's just that one space has messed you up. Then I'm going so to cartography, we have the time rules. Just just so when, when, when I move my fleets around, when I move my fleets around, I gain information and also culture if I use navigation. That's nice. Okay, right. Um, then I will advance again using two more ideas to take. I think I picked that up from my. Supply. I think you did. Yeah, because I knew I was going to trigger an event this turn. Two more to do philosophy, immediately gaining me one. One mood. Yep, and one mood. And, and an event. We have an event. 
So this is which action was that? Your second action. Second action. Okay, so Rob's getting an event. Uh, you can place it adjacent to barbarian cities. Yes. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, it's just other the player world. cities that it can't be next to. Barbarian spawn. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. More barbarians. There you go, Rob. Okay, so it's got to be it's those followed by another one. Okay, well, they've actually got an easy placement. It's going to go out here. Yeah. So that is two spaces away from your city and at least two yeah, spaces away from everyone everything. Right. Yes. Now, what do you want to add to somewhere else? Uh, let's add another guy Probably to... Probably the empty one, uh, It's there, actually. So if you, add, there. If you yeah. add to here, it has to be... There, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep that, keep that central mob building up. And then what do I get, please? It's a fine year. You get one food... Select another player who also gets one food. That's yes. it. Uh, one food for you and somebody else. It has to be Ben because Dan, you haven't got storage yet, have you? No. So yeah, so it has to be somebody who can oh, take it. Yeah. Thank you. Just... Right, you've got one action left. Yep. And this is the second of second of three, isn't it? Uh, no, you've done two actions. Yeah, then, no, sorry, the second of three turns for this year. Oh right, yeah. Uh, you want three event cubes back? Oh yes. Uh, I am going to spend that to tax and take four wood. Give me all of your wood. Right. Over to Dan. Um, uh, so yep. we're now moving on to round three. So the yep. final round of age four. Mm -hmm. Something's going to kick off soon. I can feel it. Armies are building on both sides. We're, what we're going to do at the end of this round, at the end of this round, we're going to do a points check. Okay. Just to show yeah. where we're up to. Imagine. So there are no surprises. Difficult one. Difficult one because that you you changed what I was going to do there. Um, so what have we got? You have to do that and be more friendly. <laughs> friendly. Um, yeah, probably. I'll do this. I need to make them do that. Yeah. I'm going to do a. The road. The road is still quite expensive, isn't it? It is. But it's a powerful. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, so I'm going to do a move action. So first action, move. Yeah. Move three groups of units. So the first thing I'm going to do is pay one food and one ore, or metal, metal or bricks. Rocks, whatever. To allow this group of units to move two spaces. From one of your cities. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you build some roads here quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he runs along the roads. Yeah. I've got two more move actions. You do, yeah. But I don't have the bonus of the roads. Yeah, you have to pay the bonus for each group you're moving that you want to do the increased move for. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move him there. Actually, I can move two of them, can't I? Yeah, that is a group. Based on what happened to his predecessor, this settler here is saying, mm, I'm a little bit nervous about uh, yeah. just sitting here. I mean, I'd have to pay to another one over. and a one to attack it for one gold because yeah. of the roads, right? I'd need to build roads again. Yeah. The roads are too expensive. I'm going to stop there. So okay. that, that's your first action. <laughs> my first action was moving. My second action I think is. I defeat you with economic superiority. <laughs> My second action is to build um, uh, an academy here. Here. Yeah. So you're activating this city. Yeah. And you are building an academy. And yeah. because it's Imhotep City, you get a discount of the food and the wood. So just so you only have to pay the rocks. That's good. <laughs> you get an academy, what? which gives you two ideas. 
what? Two ideas. And you're limited to two ideas because of theocracy. Because of um, yep. oh, dogma. Yeah, I forgot about that. You can't have more than two ideas. Because I'm supposed to get another idea here. Yeah. Oh, in fact, the whole turn's messed up then. Oops, because oh. I was about to get a load more... Um, a load more f uh, ideas, but that's yeah. yeah. Oh no! Can you spend them and then get more? Or is that, is no, you can't the same spend time? them until the next turn. Um, so maybe he, instead of building that, then he'll build an observatory. Yeah, yeah. yeah same price. Just would have done things in a slightly different okay, order. So you built an observatory. So instead of getting the two ideas, yeah, I get one idea. You get one action card. Yeah. And then you get one idea for Imhotep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I've got one action left. Um, and that will be to... Is there any chance for you guys getting over here? Maybe with ships. It's a long shot. I think I'm going to settle this city here. I found another city. Okay. Yeah. Go on. Done. So Dan's line of cities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, three I actions done. I might as well do my three actions. Might as well do your three things. Is there anything in range? Yes, this is now in range. Oh, you're a spoiling for a bruising, my friend. <laughs> it is in range three. So, so you're doing cultural influence from here yeah. to here. Yeah. You any bonuses? No, no. We, took, we took the dice out just to... <laughs> Reduce your chances of rolling a success. <laughs> it's all good. And we took all the ones out of the dice last game. It's a one. Oh no, there's right. one left. So plus one makes it two. two. So I need to spend all so you spend my spend three culture. Yeah. But you get one back. And you'll get one back if you do it. I need my culture. Um Yeah, I'll do it. So you spend three. So would you like to convert the it's a fortress, isn't it's it? It's a fortress. Yeah. Okay, so the yellow influence spreads, and then you get one culture back, okay. and that's your go done. Yeah. Okay. Ben. Yeah. Um, gold, food, trade, trade, trade. Gold. I don't know if I can sneak into there and just beat him up. Looks kind of squishy. You no got roads. No, but I could buy roads. Yeah, or you could do a double move action, I suppose. Yeah. We didn't triple move. <laughs> Except we have to stop and eat the mountains. What do you mean? You oh, can't, yeah. You can't walk You move the into mountains, they can't move they again can't that move turn. They can't move again that turn. That is a new thing for me. No, so that's. No, we said it. I have ne I've never had, had this. So yeah. this is yeah. like, this is why roads are useful. Cause yeah. You, yeah, and the right. same for forests, but forests. Forests, you can move again on the, the same. So I was imagining going roads and then in that way. But it's not in that That will work fine. Yeah. That's fine. If right. you get roads, then eat anything goes. Think it. Can we get that to work? Um, it is soft and squishy. It's... So, the two food I can take the roads, trigger an event, which will be disaster. <laughs> yeah, because right now I think he's getting as many points from your buildings as you are. So. Yeah. Yes. Can't you culturally convert them back? You yeah, can, but it, but actually, yeah, they have to do their own one. Or we can go over there and beat you up and take your stuff. So yeah, yeah. I think that sounds quite interesting. Um, you know what's going to happen? You're going to get a bad event. If, yes, if I know. But then roads. I will know because it'll have happened already. So let's do that. So I pay. So you're spending two, two food, food to research roads. Research roads to an event, which gets you a culture. Yeah. Civil war. Do you have any neutral or angry cities? No, they're all very happy. Reduce the happiness one step in any one of your cities. That I can live with. So, that's not reduced. not that bad of a civil war then. Yeah, that's reduce. Or a sort of civil civil rather aggressive disagreement. Yeah. Yes, so neutral. Yeah. We don't agree with what he said. So we do. Uh, so your first action was to right we need three more event this. cubes yeah second action is to do a move okay here we go I'm um, zooming because this is this might get messy if we did pay, you pay your stuff if we pay the two gold yeah for the roads so if you can this move stack one two, space. two three four can go two yeah so for those people watching roads works if you are moving to or from one of your cities. 
And then I can so also then move. Just move from there. To I can there. also move other stuff a little bit. That was one group. Yeah. You've got two other groups moving if you want to. So let's put a person into there. Get that defended. Uh, and a person into. Is that right? Yeah. Save safe. Okay, and that was the second move done. And then third move would be. No, you've, you've done three moves, haven't you? One. Yeah, but that, two, that's the second action. Three. Sorry, done. Second action. Third yeah, action yeah. Is, is move to move. And Attack. Attack. Your first move is you have to go in. this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just to go in there. So all of these are going in there, and we are having one big fight. Right. So this is the biggest fight we've seen in the game so far. And remember, it's a solar eclipse. Right. What does that mean? This card is still in play. Yeah. So oh, yes, I forgot about that. The next player versus player battle with armies on both sides is only going to last one round. Still exciting. If the attacker wins after the first round, they get this card. Mm -hmm. If not, they must retreat and the defender gets this card. Okay. Okay? So because it's a solar eclipse, there's only one I'm round. I'm I'll give it a go. Now, let's have a look what we've got in the battle. We have three infantry on the Celts yeah. with Boudicca, Boudicca. And on the defence, we have... Two infantry. Yeah. Do either of you have any techs which are going to affect this battle? Yes. What have you got? Um, uh, I've got my tribal warfare, which is giving me plus one from having this guy nearby. Right. And I have Brudica, who is giving plus two against players with more warfare advances than I do. And because Dan has more warfare advances than you, yeah. you're getting plus two for so that. I get plus three total. Plus okay. three. Dan, what are you getting? I don't think I've got anything. Um, have you got I, any buildings? Steel there? weapons, no? Or? I don't have the. Thing not got the metal. And I'm not allowed to use my um, conversion, am I? Or the gold, because you don't have gold. Okay. No. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. So this is what's going on. If you can, if you can see, we have a very big battle taking place here, uh, with Boudicca charging in. Vengeance for yellow paint. Yeah. <laughs> The city. We come for you. So it's cards now, right? So yeah. it is now cards. So the attacker first. Do you want to play a card no. from your hand? No cards. Defender, do you want to play a card from your hand? So you're getting plus three. It's yep. going to be four dice. Yeah. Plus three. Yeah. And I'm going to get two dice. You're going to get two dice <laughs> plus zero. Um. Ben just needs to roll enough to win the battle in one round. Yeah. If it weren't for the solar eclipse. You'd, 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 yeah, you'd but this makes it yeah, a card. You're playing a card, right? Yeah. Cards are revealed. Yeah, I Plus one to your combat roll. Then, after removing casualties, if you eliminate at least one enemy unit this combat round, you may draw an action card. Okay. So this is the card that, that Dan's just played, and he's using the bit at the bottom. Can only be played if you're playing with an army fortress or ship. Okay. Right. So off we go then. Ben, four dice. Uh oh. Three, three infantry. Uh, we're trying to get to ten, aren't we? Yeah. Just telling you've done it. Four, eight. Right. Well, first eight. of all, thirteen plus a leader. Clash icon, no effect. Eleven. Clash icon, no effect. Clash icon, no effect. Clash icon, leader. leader. So you can assign that dice to the leader Which and re-roll it. If you've already done yeah. it, I think. Yeah. So it's 10, 10, 18, 18 plus your 21. 21. Yeah. The cats have come. So if I get if I kill one unit here, I will get a new card. It's a weird ability. Yes, that's a kill. Six. Uh, so that's six plus, plus one because of the clash icon plus one, so it's seven. Yeah. Which plus is, one here. So eight. Yeah. Isn't it one, nine? Enough six, still seven. Enough. If it isn't oh, sorry, six, matter. seven, eight, nine. Yeah, doesn't make any difference. No. But it kills a guy. Um, so. These are dead. These are dead. After removing casualties. Yeah, so let's get this all right. Uh, you may draw an action card. So you get an action card. Then you win the fight. Yay. So you get this. Huzzah, which point is point worth point. a point. And we replace this entire lot yeah. with Ben and stuff. With far more stylish blue, blue paint. Manages to get it all. And it is all it blue. is now unhappy. What and you get it. Oh, it is a no. neutral city um, of size my three. Obelisk days. Yeah. Oh sorry, the oh, obelisk yeah. days. And yes. Three gold. Because because um, it's a size building, three city. Academy, academy, city academy and the settlement and the settlement academy academy and the, and the central city. settlement so size three, three things were it just neutral three? city you get three gold yeah because so, because it's an obelisk it never changes color that obelisk so was it just those three things yes it's those three okay yeah. and did you do your um 
eclipse thing. Yeah, he, he, got, he got the point. Great. Three gold for you, Ben. That's it. And it's now angry. Oh. Okay. I'll have to feed them something to make them stop doing it. Crappy people they are. That was my third. Oh, that was the first bit of my third. So the, that, that was the moment. first movement of three of your third action. So these two can move and stop in the mountain. Mm-hmm. And I'd like the satellite to explore here and see. Hey! What's going on? <laughs> He's finally. He's been given the green light. Finally decided to look over the hill and see what's there. Yeah, that's the other way around. <laughs> yeah. I found the beach. It's a nice bit of water for you to go. explore there, Rob. Well done. Right, Rob, finish off age four for us. Yep. So first things first, activating this city. We're doing another two boats. Activating this city here. Yep. To build two boats. Two boats at a cost of? Uh, forward. Oh, you spent the forward. Yep. Right. So we have a bi- battle. Yep. Straight in. Any? Cards. No. Any, just, no. Just straight nothing in. Nothing fancy. Yes. Yeah, I can't. You, I can't not, have, can't not have killed him with that. Four. Yep, just missed by I one. Soaked it anyway. So he goes oh, down. Oh yeah, because you warships. So you get yep. a gold. Yep. And either a culture or a move token. Or oh, happy, happy. So that's your first action. Yep. City has been activated. Yeah, that's right. Pirates have gone. Second action, I'm going to use a navigation move to move my fleet to here. Nice. Which gets me one of these. So you're using and one of these. You're moving with navigation. Yep, using navigation. With navigation. The ships may move around the board, and because I have cartography, doing that gets me ideas and uh, culture. Right. Now you can move other things while you're doing that if you wanted to. No. no, no, I can't because otherwise I've got his military and I still can't. Oh, you still haven't got tactics. Yeah. Wow. And then my th- uh, so that was my and my third action. I'm getting tactics. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, let's get you a culture. Enough badness. Okay, all done. Yeah. Right. Let's do the status phase. Completed objectives. Anybody want to play the you then? No, from not me. not for me. Okay, I get two of them. Two objectives for Rob. Let's have a look what you got. Yep. So the first one is coastal culture. You own more cities with ports than any other player. Yep. And you've also got seafarer. You have all four maritime advances. Boom. Which you do. I do indeed. So they are yours. Four points at the end of the game. Next, receive a free advance. Dan first. Uh, right. Have an second. advance, which is an event. Think about what this is going to do. Um... Let's do Just put the balls with you. Thank you. What are you gonna take? Um Ooh. Use steel weapons versus enemies without steel weapons for free. So you're taking metallurgy, yeah. which gets you a culture and causes an event to happen. Yeah. More pirates. Yay. Pirates, pirates. Same rules as before. Everywhere. One of them's got to go na- next to one of your cities, and the other one can go wherever you want. Um. Mm. Ben's already getting hurt by that. Oh, is he? Yeah. All right. More ships don't matter. Oh, I see. It's just all the old trigger. Yeah. Can I? I can't put it there, right? That would be probably suicide. Okay. I think two And then there is a great architect who's turned up. Yay. Would you like to buy this card, Dan? Have we done the everyone losing their stuff on the pirates? Oh no, pirates, yeah, everybody loses their stuff. Pirates lost their culture. Yeah, I lost food. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't it? really understand it, but I have a read of it. Right. So that was Dan's free advance. Place this card in front of you and put three 
things on it. Ooh. Um, you can disregard the prerequisite advance when constructing a wonder and spend the free on this towards... So it just makes building wonders cheaper. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay. You want three more event cubes, Ben? You get a free advance, and then Rob, you get a free advance. I'm going to go for the arts and go for the culture. You get a culture. You can now start doing influencing. Yeah, try and put my things back to blue. <laughs> Insult after injury. Well, that's interesting. This city can't do no, influence culture. That's interesting. So it, well, I can't uh, shine uh, through. Except on itself, but it can't, can't do it on itself because, because the obelisk yeah. is always yellow. So it's yeah, it's kind of locked by the obelisk, which is nice. Mm. I think that's cool. What do we do in the event of a tie on this? I will take. Uh, I, I look in the rule book. Okay. Conditions. <laughs> no, it, it, I think it's first player breaks ties. Yeah, it says um, current first player or next player to left ties wins ties. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's drawing cards. Anybody want to raise a size one city? Um, Not on either at the moment. To get a gold. Interesting. He's probably just going to take that city, so I might as well raise it. You thinking of raising it? Yeah, I'll raise it. Into place. That's gone. You it's get a gold. Be uh, anybody want to change government? No. no. Determine first player. We've both got four. I got five. Oh, you're yeah, five. So, so there you go. There is a tie. Okay. Before we go into age five, we're going to do a score. Yeah. Just so people watching can see how the scoring works, but also so we all know where we are. We'll do. We'll do Rob first. Are you choosing yourself as first player? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So, one point per settlement. And building, which is in your colour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven. Half a point per advance. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Two points per objective. Seventeen, nineteen. Four points per wonder. No. Nope. Special events. No. Nope. Enemy leaders captured. No. Nope. So what you want? Nineteen. Dan. Uh, buildings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty one. Twenty one and a half. Twenty one and a half. Objectives? Twenty five, I think. Four there. Uh twenty five and a half. Events and Emma leaders, so it's 25 and a half. Yeah. So 19, 25 and a half. Ben? Um, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yes. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. 13, 14. Objectives? Just one, 15. So 15. So 15, 19, 25 and a half. Okay, that's where we are at the end of age four. We are now moving into age five, which if you're playing the short version of the game, you can play a short version which ends in round five. We didn't say we were doing that, even though I'm getting very hungry. Hmm. So off we go. All right. Uh, did you count the card with the cubes? Didn't count the card with the cubes. Thank you very much. Oh, well, a couple more so it was 17 for you, 21, yeah. 25 and a half. It's a little bit closer than we yeah. thought. Yes. Yeah. I did forget yeah, about that. Not much Thank you. At all, really, is there? Right. Yeah, makes sense. A couple of influence. No, but 21, 25 and a half sounds better than 19, 25 yeah. and a half. <laughs> okay, right. Yes. Uh, where are we? I'm just going to pop to the comfort break. I will leave you to talk to the audience okay. while I'm gone. Oh, gone. Ah, there we go. Right. Sorry, folks. I'm going to gather resources here. Yeah. And I'm going to choose to take. So I've got level four city. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to take one happiness, two food. And an ore. 
How do you get the happiness? I can choose to take happiness rather than... Is that your special yeah, ability? No, that's, that... that's, that's what ports do. Oh, is that just a normal port? Yeah, you can collect gold or morale mm. instead of food from that's one great. location. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know that. Mm, okay, then my second action will be to tax my settlements. And I'm just going to take... Um, so it's going to be... Okay, four in total, two more food, two more ore. And then I am going to activate this location and produce some troops. And it is going to be... Um, I can produce four units. It's going to be one, two, three, and one, two, three, to get me three infantry. And influence and happiness to bring on a leader. Said Ooh, leader. We have our first Viking Ragnar leader. Ragnar Lodbrok. Right. Ransacker and mm, all around nerd. naughty chappy. So he gets me extra gold whenever I capture non unhappy cities. And he gets uh, plus two in battle when I launch attacks and for BS assaults. Right. But when he actually needs to go on the board. So you recruited. Yep. Three infantry. Yep. I recruit. And the leader. Yeah, I gathered resources, taxed my people, and raised an army. Three actions. Done. Done. Um, Interesting that Dan's still got that many points, despite... Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like these these are all points taken off. Yeah, but I mean, change. now I've oh, yeah, yeah, to take over yeah. cities, and I'm yeah. out of the game. <laughs> there is a... Yeah, it's it, 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 very it, soft it, underbelly combat. Yeah. So no prizes. Me, the, what this I'm guy's just had a phone call. He's like, <laughs> "What? It's just me. <laughs> there's, there's only me in the army. That's Is that idea. right? Imhotep's over here, lounging around, <laughs> having a bath." Um, <laughs> Slave. So do I the think thing. I'm going to do the collect from this place, which is four stuff. So I'm going to put a dice. So you activate there, so it's yeah. happy. So you get four resources from there. So I need. I can't because I haven't got the storage yet. So you can take one food. One food. I'd get. Oh, I can two go rocks. again. You can get wood. Or oh, you no. can't get more than two rocks. Um, you can get wood though. Yeah, but I can't build anything with the wood, right? Wood builds ships and. No, but you can use it to cavalry whenever you need to lose resources. And buildings, in fact. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that was the first action. Second action is to recruit there. So I'm going to make it normal. Yeah. So you're exactly you're that activating the city a second time. Yeah. And I'm going to recruit a single <laughs> infantry, maybe bought with that. Yeah. Um, That's the settler. Oh. You don't want any. Uh, that one. Yeah. Uh, it can get three things, right? Four. Four? Because it was happy when you did it, but right. then I think it goes down afterwards. Okay. I'll just double check that. Um, the rules. I think the uh, the changing of the status okay, happens so afterwards. So one of them and one of them for another one of them. Uh, same again to get another one. And... That's all I can. After the action is resolved, you reduce its mood. Yeah. Okay. That's all I can actually afford to do there. Um, I think. Yeah, because that happens afterwards. Desperate times. Yeah. Oh, I could discard a card. Yeah, I'll discard a card. Um, to get the fourth man, I'll discard this one. Using your bartering. Yeah, as my free action to get a. Gold, which you then use oh, yeah. two golds. for the fourth. So I've got my four men in there. So four infantry in there. Um, after recruiting, gain one influence or one happy face. I have the happy gain, face. gain a culture or a mood token. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Um, so that's my second action. Uh -huh. My third action is to recruit here. Uh, hang on, I've just got to work this out. No, my third action is to collect here. You get two things. Two things. 
and I can only get one food and I need one food and one rock. Where can you get the food from? The Baron. Oh, oak, yes. So my special ability. Oh, I should have had, after that battle, I should have had one of these. You should. And a settler? Oh, and a, oh, settler. And a settler. We forgot that. All these things. Thank you. All these things. Where would you have put it? Well, if it's there, I might get some trade income. But I think probably safer to go over there. Okay. Yeah, we did forget that. Yeah, no, I'll leave it in there. If it gets lost, it's game over. Trade yeah. income? I uh, wouldn't have got it, but yeah, uh, some sort of thing. Um, sorry, so I'm just deciding what my third action is because my first was to recruit. No, my first was collect. Like, my second, second was to recruit. recruit. My third action. I am actually going to buy another action. So I've got I've got two actions left, mm -hmm. but I'll do that. Oh, you're buying an action using absolute, absolute power. power. Uh, I'm just two happiness, two moods, two mood tokens to take an extra action. Okay, I'm just calculating it. So if I was to recruit there, I can recruit two, two things. things. Um, but I've only got the resources to recruit one. To get another one, I need two food. No, food and a rock. Mm -hmm. and if I activate this, what's going to happen again? Activate so you'll make, another. So you'll go yourself, angry. Then you'll make. Then it'll go angry. Yeah, I think we might have to do the angriness because I need the troops. Just a bad bit of positioning. Because uh, I've got plenty of that. Yeah. I'm going angry. Have you ever seen this before? Somebody activates the same city three times yeah, in a turn. Because I don't think I ever different. have. So what, what can it re get? Three. So it's, it's not angry yet. Three. So you collect three resources. So it should be. And then it becomes angry. I think it's two food and a rock, but I'm, I'm just going to put that there and come back to it. Mm -hmm. So that so that was my third action. Yeah. Now you're using free your action is to use absolute, absolute power. power to spend two mood tokens yeah. to buy a fourth action. Fourth action is to recruit there. <laughs> yeah, two units. I spend one to draft an infantry. Yeah. Uh, so I can build one more thing, which is one of them and one, one of, of them. them. For another infantry. For another infantry. Yeah. And then I've got loads of bonuses. So. There you go. Yeah. Question for the live chat. Have you ever seen a city activated three times? Right. So I've recruited in one turn. I've recruited an army. So I gain another one of them back. Um, right. So first of all, I score this. Okay. So okay. Dan's scoring an objective. Draft. Draft. Immediately after doing the recruit action twice in a turn, and using the draft action in both times to grab, right, okay, yeah, two points. It's two points. So that goes there. <laughs> it's huge. That's nice. Did you have, did you power your happiness? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah you got one back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so that's the first thing. Second thing is, um, uh, oh, I should have done this at the beginning of the turn. Does it, would anyone mind if I played this? Is it too late? What's it do? All it does is stop us from attacking each other. I don't mind if you play that because I wasn't probably going to attack you immediately anyway. Yeah, free action, beginning of your turn. Yeah, choose a player. Pay one of them. Yeah, because nothing, I had, nothing's had been all revealed. The resources yeah. and stuff. So. Cool. so choose a player, then, I guess, or Rob. Well, I don't. Can you explain how these ships might get to me? <laughs> yeah, do you want to explain how those ships might get to me? I think he can totally get to me. And sorry, just before we do that, I just got to make sure I've done the last bit over here because I've got the recruiting. <laughs> thing there I did that I think I there was one other thing but I can't remember what it was now no yeah so yeah go on go ahead so Rob do you want to explain how yeah because so can... if I understood it these can be loaded onto the ships yep. yeah and then you move the ships to there oh my God, and then they it. unload yeah but how does that happen I, is it one move or... it's it's I don't think I could do it in with one in one action but I could probably do it in a set of three so I can move each each lot once. So I know I can move them onto the ships for one, moving the group onto the ships. There's enough space for them. I believe with the same set of three actions, I can move the ships. Yeah, I think I've got to pick you, really. So they can load and move, and then with my next move action, I can then unload them. So what's the reading on the card, Paul? It says, choose a player. You may not start a battle against that player this turn. That player may not start one against you on their next turn. Yeah. I think I'll pick Rob as Okay, that. so there's negotiations between you two. Yeah. Okay. 
Right, and then you're done. Yeah, I could do the free action of influencing to try and get this academy. That sounds mm-hmm. like a good one. Um, yeah. Extra points. But, I mean, we might have a battle in a minute, so mm, yeah. it could flip anyway. just capture it back. <laughs> yeah, we could just be swapping it around. Yeah. Uh, so I'll keep hold of that for now. Okay, Ben. Okay, um, start of turn, taxation, so trade routes, um, one gold, one food, one food, so two food and one gold. Um, hmm. And I should I should actually have, um, from my metallurgy, I, no, it's not metal it's, it's Covid late. gets armour. Too late, too late. <laughs> huh. We did one... Take that second, take that third, take that. I'll just go straight for that. Um, it's an expensive round, but I felt like I had to spend all the stuff just to defend myself, otherwise, it could have mm. been game over this turn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to do that. And you've yeah. done very well. I think you've suddenly come up with a very solid army out of nowhere, which is impressive. So. Yeah, but not sure cost the downside is the city is unhappy. Yeah, it's a town. Yeah. It's next to it, it can collect one yeah. thing. Yeah, it's so a bad it's like, city. Well, we yeah. just hold space now and capitalise on our own advantage. But you can do rituals to get it back up. And you can do all sorts of stuff. But it's costly, stuff. yeah. Um, okay. Let's do a free action influence with my arts. Let's just try to influence this one. So using cultural influence on itself yeah. can't be boosted. Okay, so it's just a it's just a five or six, is it? Yeah, an influenced city can only target right. itself and may not boost the roll. So is it worth trying to go for conversion first? It's easier to use your other cities to get your influence back, but you can't because all of your cities oh, have I got see. other people in I them. didn't realise. Okay, mm. but if another one did, it that would be, that could be boosted. Okay, so it's a critical one to get yeah. one going on. Um, okay, let's just go for a random five or six for this one and see because it doesn't cost me too much if it doesn't work. Four. Close. All right, and then... So, question yeah, for the designer. Yeah. Question for Christian. In one move action... Can I load units onto a ship and move the ship? Yes. Okay. Even though I'm not Christian. Because okay. <laughs> I, I just read that. And there's an example in the book. Excellent. But I couldn't unload them with the same movement because then the so blocks move three times. You may move it onto a ship in an adjacent space, or if it was already on a ship, have it disembark. Um, yeah, you may also move land units and ships during the same move action, as long as you move normal and three different. So the example here is, you move the infantry onto the ship in adjacent sea space, then you move the ship, and then you could still do a third movement, but then on the next move action, you, you can unload. unload. Fantastic. So you can't load, move the ship, and, and unload, unload in the same yeah, move That's action. brilliant. Thank yeah. you. Okay, let's go... Um... First action then will be build a fortress. It's another fortress. Do you want to keep it? I think we want to keep the gold, so maybe we do a harvest first. Let's do a happy harvest somewhere. Um, let's happy harvest here for so uh, three, two stone three resources. And or food. Uh, that can't get stone from here. So I thought I'd do that one. It doesn't matter. Oh, you do this I'll, one. I'll do and that's fine. I'll do that one because okay. that gets me. Um, one stone, one wood, and one food, and that's still fine. Okay. Uh, second action, let's build a fortress here. So you're activating this city? Yeah, which is uh, you can't, it's unhappy. Doesn't stop you activating it. You cannot build buildings in an unhappy city. I thought you couldn't even build one thing. No, no, no. You can recruit one thing, you can gain one resource, but you can't build. It was mentioned this morning, but this morning was five hours of rules. So right. No, okay I'm sure I did this last game. This is why. Okay. So oh, okay. We must. We might have missed it then. Yeah. Um, can't can build buildings in unhappy cities. Let's rewind that slightly then. Okay. Um, so instead, let's spend um, three resources to make that neutral. Using, using your 
These rituals as an action. It's increased happiness. Oh, so when you do the increased happiness action. Yeah. So, instead of spending three mood tokens, you're spending three resources. Okay. So, yeah. Did well, you want to spend three more to make it happy? Um, I think neutral is fine because I was going to make it happy at another okay, yeah. point. So one, two, three. Uh, so that's now not... Why does it cost three? Because it's size three. Yeah. Oh. And then the second one will be to s harvest... Uh, what? Second one is harvest year for three. Yeah. That's the same same deal, isn't it? Really? So one, 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 one. And third action will be to construct here. To activate that city and construct a fortress. Oops. Just to make it a little bit harder to take back. Mm -hmm. spell yeah. it, which it may not be. I'd have to land siegecraft. Which well, you get around fortresses. Yeah, but you also need a lot of, you also need a lot yeah. of resources. Yeah. Yeah. Ben, could you get the little green worm with the Scottish hat from the thing? So we're ne we're ending the round. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Get, get, get. Oh, there. Oh. There we go. There you go. That's, that's, that's why they've not explored monsters in this, this area. Ah, oh, yes, it's too scary. Beasties be there. Yeah, they're, they're they're beasties. So we're on round two now of age five. We are. Yep, I can't attack Dan, he can't attack me. So I will activate this location to gather resources. It's going to be... Uh, not quite. You can't attack Dan. Dan couldn't attack you last turn. But he can. When That's he now gone. Him. Oh, yep, sorry, yeah. And his so next Dan attack. can attack you on his next turn. I can get fine. to you. Yeah, but he's not... Well, yeah, he's no. in, he, has, he has no harbours. No, no. He's meant, he, he can always meant to swim, of course. Yeah, but I'll get you mean in terms of rules. Yeah. yeah. Activating here. So, one gold, one ore. We're two activating food. here to do what? Gathering. Gathering. Collecting, yeah. Yep. Then I'm activating here to build. And we're going to spend three food. Oh, recruiting. Yep. Yep. Two gold and an ore to recruit three more units. Three more infantry. To protect my other flank, sort of. Your infantry can move now, can't they? Yes. <laughs> They've learned how to move. Oh, I put one foot in front of the other and repeat. Ah, <laughs> got it. And then Anybody tuning into the stream now will be like, "What? why is there a green fluffy thing on that tile? <laughs> uh, final action. Let us... There we go. That's why you don't want to explore that tile. Uh, yep, I'm going to activate this location to gather food, ore, and wood. I didn't think he's in the tip last time. I keep missing little things. Okay. That's all me done. Over to you, Dan. Okay. Um, Is this the second or the third cycle? Second. Second, second or three. Just to start the second cycle. Um, so I'm going to play as an action. Uh, buy two advances in the ca same category using cubes from the supply rather than your event. Yeah. Oh no, I need to do that later because I haven't got the stuff yet. The negotiations has gone. Yeah. Uh, so, oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. So I need um, food to be able to buy that stuff. Uh, science advance, six or three. Food costs. I can only get one thing from there now, right? Yeah, no, not happy. No, and the thing that I want to get, I haven't got the food for. So what can we do then? Um, uh, I need to make that town happy, and it's going to cost how much? Size three. So, I need so to pay three, three mood tokens or resources three to turn it neutral. Can or you make the match? If you have circus and sports, which you don't get. No, that was what I was going to get. Hmm. Uh, Alright, we'll do a collect action here and we'll get. Um, two things. I can only I can only get a wood and a food. Or two wood. Yeah, I need the food. Uh, second action is to. Spend two food to learn circus and sports, which is yellow, so that gets you a mood token. Yeah, what does circus and sports do? And um, you can spend mood tokens 
Uh, no, you can spend you can pay info, info, uh, culture, culture, culture to make it, make places happy. Yeah. Okay. As an action. Yeah. But is it very efficient? Because one one culture, it's one, it's, it's, yeah, one it's, level. It's, it's, it's better for larger cities. Oh, okay, right. Oh, right. Yeah, good point. I've done it around the wrong way. Um, so I want to get that city to neutral, yep. which is going to cost me free stuff. Um, so it'd be one, two, three. Can you make some much? Says resources may be used as okay. Yeah, resources. Yeah, so yeah, he, he, he can't use circus and sports as it's a separate action to use circus so and sport. It's now neutral. Yeah, he can now use circus and sport to make it happy. So collect so one. happy increase happy. happiness. Third action, I can make that happy, or I can collect from it and get three things. Yeah, three things. Uh, so I'll have two food and a. Rock. Done. Done. Not very exciting. No. I can manage. Gold, food, food. That's three seconds. Trade routes. Um, okay. These barbarians, like, you know, 200 years after they were due to survive. To they're they're yeah. like, we've been here forever. <laughs> Let's go... Um, Priesthood for two food. So two food to learn priesthood. Is that an advance we've seen before? Yes, it is. Yeah, which is me druidic. Um, so what does your druidic? Uh, I can attempt to influence culture on barbarian cities. On success, place a culture from the supply underneath that city. It's worth a fifty point maximum per city remove if captured. So, so it stays as a barbarian city, but. Yeah, you've but if, influenced it. But if it stays alive, nobody kills it. The problem is people will kill it if you influence it. So it's a real weird one here where everyone can grab it. So I don't know. It's, yeah. It's okay. Not great. Um, and then second action will be to use uh, and trigger an event. I'm going to take math and get a culture. Oh, because that's free because it a priesthood card we've not seen before. Exhausted land. Oh dear. Doesn't sound good. I'll add it to my list. So you need to place that on an empty, no units, no cities, non barren land space adjacent to one of your cities. It's not so bad, actually. Um, And that hex then becomes dead. Yeah, that's okay. I can work with that. Um, Where am I never going to be doing stuff? Let's burn this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then there's a great discoverer. Do you want to pay a culture? It sounds like candy. Uh, yes. <laughs> They're all good, aren't they? You go. They do funky things. And then you get three more cubes. Mm-hmm. And is that it for you? Uh, that was my second. And then the third will be to then in advance engineering for free. Ooh. Because that's a science. It's Which means we've got our first wonder. Yeah. So just before we give you a wonder, I'm just going to show the audience the wonder cards. So, what you so there are eight. Uh, maths gets engineering for free. Oh, yes. There are eight wonders in the game, and basically these get shuffled at the start of the game. Ben's going to draw one, uh, which will go into his hand and it'll be secret. And the wonders can be constructed by paying the cost printed at the top. You also need that advancement there. Uh, when you build it, you put it in a city. There are little little tokens for them. They, they, are, they go in a city, um, and they've got really powerful abilities, and they're worth four points at the end of the game. So let's give these a shuffle. I'm going to try to build a one <laughs> desperately looking for points somewhere in the game. Um, it's the Great Gardens, which means irrigation, which I. Well, it's secret. Oh, it's all right. I'll do that. Right, okay. Uh, so that was what you get for taking the engineering advance. Mm-hmm. All done? Yep. Right, we go into the third round. Okay, of oh, five. So, movement. I'm doing a movement action. Attack time. First one is this lot bundle into the ships. Yeah. And the ships do a navigation move to here. Yeah. Hopefully smack that pirate at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I did a navigation move. So I get one of them and one of them. Every time I move my ships, I get stuff. Yeah. And then I have to fight my way through the pirates. Okay. Okay. 
Yep. Pirates are dead. Okay, I get to roll for the pirates. Yep. Uh, roll the 10. You're both dead. Doesn't matter, I soak. <laughs> I've rolled a 15. Yeah. Still <laughs> soak. <laughs> so, all well, that means I get a gold and either an influence or a happy. So, what That's I get happy. So, that was move number one. Second action. Oh, these are on the boats. These are on the boats. Okay. So second action, I'm moving again. First yeah. moving point, we're disembarking and launching an assault. Yeah. Oh, it's going so well done. I know, right? If only I hadn't have read the points out at the end of round four, mm-hmm. and right. they realised that they needed to attack. No, you. I knew it was. I, yeah, I think they knew. It was both benefit of the audience, okay. really. Charging in. So Ragnar log rock because I'm charging off ships. So I'm going to get additional attack. Okay. So. Yeah, I've so got steel weapons. It's all getting a bit okay, messy. I think your, your steel will basically counter it. Yeah, yeah, you've got steel, I've got Ragnar. Um, and then what do you want me to do? Look at the So now we can each secretly pick a card. So are you activating the steel weapons or is it free? It's free. Oh, right, okay. Because he hasn't got steel weapons. So, attacker. Is attacker playing a card? Let's, let's keep the zoom in, actually. Yes, I'm playing this card. Okay, so that card is being played by the attacker. Is the defender playing the card? Yeah, just trying to figure out which one. Um, the Vikings are coming, yes. It's interesting, actually. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to play a card. Okay. Right, so the cards Which get revealed. Sure put the right one down, yeah. Cards get revealed simultaneously. Yeah. Any on-reveal abilities? No. Yeah. So Rob's card is... I've got an on-reveal. Uh, oh, it is on-reveal. Okay. Yeah. Roll a die. If you roll five or six, the enemy loses... One. An army unit. Yeah. Okay. Because he's got archers. So six. Nice. Course it is. Who gets to pick? Me. Yeah. You Your just enemy just removes just an army unit. Kill my leader. <laughs> okay, so that's that done. Mm-hmm. Uh, One second. Um, honors. So is that before the first round starts? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's an unrevealed power. Okay. So then we have the siege. If attacking a city, yes. Yep. You get plus one to your combat roll. No clash abilities activate on your enemy's combat roll. Your enemy can pay two food prior to their combat roll to cancel the second effect. What was the second effect? No clash abilities activate on your things. So if you pay two food, your clash abilities will work. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you right. pay your ore for your... It's free. It's free for him. It's free now. Yeah. Oh, because I haven't got it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Are we ready then? Yeah. Yeah. So, so what's the deal now? We've both got plus one. I've got plus two. I've got plus three. You've got plus three, I've got plus two. Two because of Ragnar. And one because of the first effect of the card still works. Is plus one. Yeah. Right. Okay, so you're rolling... that with uh, spending no. stuff? No. Right. So you're rolling three dice. Right. Oh, oh my that's gosh. 21. That's mad. It's not 21. Uh, it's more than it doesn't matter. He's it's 23. All, he's all dead. That's absolutely mad. <laughs> so for those people who can't see, <laughs> that's, sixes. that's three sixes. <laughs> that's mad. <laughs> Right, it's completely over. He only needed fifteen, so your clash abilities do work. Yeah, you got two infantry and a leader. It's still pretty good. It's six plus one is seven, plus five is twelve, plus one is thirteen, plus seventeen. Two over here. Nineteen. 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 Eleven. He rolled. He rolled fifteen. So we're all dead. With two clash abilities and plus two for steel weapons. He rolled three sixes. Oh, no. Yeah, but then you rolled the six, four, and a five. Yeah. So, is, we're, yeah. so we're all dead. No, you're not, because my ability kicks in. Which, which is? Uh, I get to soak the first hit. From? The first round of combat, using Oh, isn't that ships. just for ships? No, and in the first round, when armies attack from ships. Oh, so yeah, cancel nice. one hit in the first round of naval battles, Very and in good. land battles, so when that's armies one attack one from ships. City. So, so you yeah. rolled 19, yeah. which is just three hits. Yeah, and just, one so Ragnar just about survives him. So Ragnar's on his own. Yeah, yeah. and everybody else is dead. Wow. So I get wow. Two. What an epic battle! There's no scrounging an extra. <laughs> just like needed that. Okay, him getting those, getting that initial kill at the start. Wasn't yeah. it? That initial kill followed by two massive rolls. 
That's mad. So I get two um, that, that is uh, culture for that. Mad. So that was a bloodbath. Yeah. Who, who so gets what from rolled maximum? They get two culture. So, um, because. Because uh, of embalming, because my leader died, I got one, and I got one. Your leader because... dead, you say? Yeah. So if your leader dies in combat, the other player gets the leader, yeah. which is worth two points at the end of the game. Yeah. Yes. Ugh. And um, I think that's it for Are we replacing the bases? city? Technically, yes. So yeah. let's replace oh, the get. city. You get a settler. I get... You get a settlement and an observatory. Two gold. So I get two gold. Two gold. I get two more because Ragnar Lodbrok. So I get four gold. Triple sixes. I can't five. believe it. Mm. Bloodthirsty. And well, but I think it was still pretty fair. I was going to wipe you out. So yeah, it, was, it wasn't. Yeah, the fact, the fact that it was. You only, you only needed fifteen, and he got twenty-three. Yeah, yeah but I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you need those, and you've got your settler. Yeah. And yeah. we need unhappy. Wow. Mad, huh? Epic. Okay. Epic mag battling. So. I kind of just want the game to end quick before I get <laughs> wiped out. Yeah, I mean, your yes. apogee is like up and down. If he goes for me. Yeah, I thought yeah. we were playing the four round game. So, <laughs> um, so I'm finished going to move. My ships are going to move in and take off the next pirate as well. This is part of my second movement. Can you action. move them if they've already attacked? No, no, because this is they last haven't turn. attacked. Yeah. They attacked the pirate no, ship. That was last, that was last movement last action. action. Yeah, but I thought if oh, so you mean fight, they've had a battle. If you've had a battle, you can't then move again at all. That is a good point. Uh, I can because I'm Vikings. Let's say ship ships may move even after they battle this turn. <laughs> what? So I'm, they I'm, plow I'm, into I'm that. It's weird. Extra like one. everyone else's abilities seem to be triggering, and it's like I can so make again, barbarians appear. Just try and slap. I clearly, don't have the advanced skills needed to make this. So they try to not kill. Work very well. And you can't hurt me. Awkward. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> So another gold Boom. and another happy. Why didn't I play on the blue mine? Why mm. am I playing on the green mine? Should be playing on the blue mm. one. For the ocean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have one action left. Ragnar can't move, now he's fought someone. No, he can't. Yeah. But these guys can move. Yeah. They're not the they're not the problem. I can't by recruiting there I can only recruit one unit. Yeah, it's just a case of do I want to try and hold or do I want to basically abandon it and say well, the problem yeah. is Dan can't leave there and come here because then he'll lose that He's... but he could kill my leader so I'll see two VPs yeah. yeah but Ragnar doesn't get me victory points that was the one major thing I wanted to do hmm. so um, my other action that I could have chose is mad but I'll tell you what it is a <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do I want? it was a really interesting one mm. I, I really had to think about it now I wish, wish I'd have played you it, wish you'd have played it but I couldn't have known at the time hmm. yeah actually that <laughs> uh oh I've heard that laugh before <laughs> <laughs> right so Paul Rag could you Ragnar, just... Ragnar's headed off and, and won stupendous and glorious victory yeah is he, um, is he an old man now but he's an old man and needs to retire so I'm recruiting a new leader you are activating this city oh to move him yep oh. so he, he disappears you're recruiting oh no you're not activating that city my, my other capital yeah nice. so I'm going to actually recruit um, so does each player only have one leader figure then yeah yeah because you need right. more than one in a yeah. place so Ragnar is retiring Ragnar retires Glo and a new leader arrives fully, yeah, blood splattered and glorious Paul, um, can you explain how quick, how the game ends if I was to lose my city? Right, yeah. In the status phase... Is it in the status in phase? In the status phase, no. The game ends after age six, or if one player has no cities. Right. So if I was to lose my city n then... A the game would have we, ended. Yeah. 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 If it, between so basically, if Ben destroys this city, yeah, the game yeah. will end this round. And so I don't think I'd win. <laughs> it's time to go so I do a recruit there. I pay... Culture and happiness to get King Knut the Great. I don't think Ben wants it to end. Be very no. careful, Be very careful <laughs> when, when pronouncing that. I just haven't got many points. I'm trying, but it's like... And then I'm also going to recruit... So what does he do? The settlement, city piece, uh, the his city. He, 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 that city is more valuable to me because it's further away from my okay. original okay. capital. Mm -hmm. And he can activate effectively the taxation ability without having to pay the happiness cost. Okay, nice. Um... So that for that, and I recruit three infant. So I can recruit four units in there. I recruit three more infantry, which is one. All the gold I used, sort of, winning from that mission, replaces my army. 
Oh, right, boom. Yeah, it just comes back. Back here. <laughs> and then finally, as a free action. How did you get them back with the recruit? Just recruited. Just recruited, just recruited yeah. Your oh, gold is How many you. actions is that then? That's the, that was my three. Oh. Oh. Two lots of move actions to get yeah. me out there, and yeah. then one, recruit. one basic recruit, which also got, got rid of Longrock at the same yeah, time. Yeah. Sweet, so you got can't it. assassinate him. <laughs> I was expecting to have a few men with him, and then I was going to recruit there to get a strength. I do this moment of high voltage. Happy passive. in my victory is it's like I'm doing a swine. quick action to do a um, come back and die influence culture, and I'm going to try and get some of my units back. So you're going to try and influence culture from here, from here to, to here. Yep. The range is three. He's yeah. within range three. Have you got anything to boost? No standard boost, but I, I do have. Have you got anything to protect against cultural influence, Dan? Um, no. Devotion or anything like that? Uh, no. Nothing. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to bother with two. Okay. Done? Yep. Done. Right. How can I recover from this, then? <laughs> I mean... If I recover, you mean gain some points. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, I also moved my ships again, so I've got another idea. Every time you every move time, ships? Every time, I, every time I move ships, I get an idea. It's the uh, cartography. Yeah. Well, yeah after every move action in which ships move, yeah. right, with every ship I move. So right. I took two move yeah, actions yeah. and ships move, so nice. I've got two ideas. Nice engines. Yeah. Okay, we'll try something. Got a plan? Different. Yeah, we'll try something a bit mad. Well, I'm going to go for an all or nothing, I think. Um, so I think I'm going to do a... Hmm. I've got five army units. I can get that city if I get roads. Um, or you just spend two actions moving. Or two actions moving. But you can only attack with a cap of four, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You can Let's only take this one. Yeah, just, that is an easy yeah, one. Just anyone, yeah. Just, just walk in, got it. You can only, what was it that you said? Four, four stacking limit, yeah. four on oh, the right, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 sorry, one second. Uh, Unless you have cheaty pants. So. Yeah, I thought you might have something. Before that, mm -hmm. Immediately after capturing a split play a city with an army taken from a ship. Yeah, so Rob had a had an objective card that he could have played in previous assault. Nice. That probably so, yeah. puts Rob in the lead now. Probably, I think. Yeah, because he's took he's taken uh, two points from there, two points from the leader, and he's just got two points. Yeah. So that yeah. makes Rob new new chip leader. Plus, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to I haven't qualified yeah. for a single another. another I know I burned the first two, but I still went, actually one of them as I would have qualified. But yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, ex I'm yeah. expecting to lose that settlement. It wasn't really. It was never really about. Um, but you got your four points. Yeah. Yeah, but you're gonna lo you're gonna That's lose huge. it at the expense of me having to do yeah, actions exactly. I don't yeah, want to do. Right. Yeah. And you'll you'll get one goal for retaking it rather than the four gold I got from nicking it. So. Mm. Uh, I think I need to do rogue, so I need that. So I'll do a move action. I'm probably gonna do a move action. I'm probably gonna do a collect action, and I'm probably gonna do a recruit action. Yeah, but I also need to do that. How many turns have we got? We've got that many turns left. Um, right, so I'm going to do a move, recruit, collect, move, recruit, collect, move, recruit, collect. So I need to do the collect first on here. So you're activating this city, you get to collect yeah. three things, yeah. size three. So I'm going to take two rocks, but because of metallurgy, one of the rocks can be a gold. Okay. Um, and the next one is going to be a food. So two rocks and a food yep. is three. Then I'm going to move. And I'm going to move with roads. Um, and the roads, so I'm spending one of them and one of them to move a unit there. Right, with roads. Yeah. So... There's a battle. Just to, just to check before I do that, there's no way you can win this battle. <laughs> there's no yeah, mysterious yeah, no, rule. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So you get a goal. Well, oh. just, just, are you definitely committing? Yeah. 
committee. Yeah, yeah, so you got it this back now. Yeah. Good. Now I guess I'm playing this card. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> so you get a gold. So mean. All right, so get a gold. That switches back. Mean. Oh, did you get a settler when you lost it? Yeah. You Ooh, get a settler. I get a settler. What was it for? What buildings are they? The big tower thing, the astronomy. And a normal and city. And a normal settlement. Okay, it's still unhappy. Hmm. Right, so that was my first move action. That goes back to your gold there, did you? Yeah, I got my you gold. Got your gold. And don't you get an uh, embalming thing? Oh yeah, I had a battle. So get one of these. Yep. Um, right, second move is going to be... Well, you're still in your move. Yeah. Right, yeah. So that was your first move so I've done, three I've done a your second I've action. done a pick-up. Yeah, recruit. I've done a move. Mm-hmm. I'm still doing the move. Still doing the move. Oh, so I'll have another action after this. So the question is, do I try and go for an attack on Ben? Charge. It'll be fun, <coughs> but it could wipe me out. Do you think that you're losing on points, or do you think that you need to gain more points without attacking me? I think that I'm I need sure. the points to get... Back at attacking him would be the best thing, but I don't think you can I can't charge, reach so, him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I just ask a question? Yeah. If if I wanted to use a road and move these troops there, could they pick him up on the way? So it would be roads like this. Well, the, the, One, yeah. two. But as they go through, they pick up that chat. I don't think you can because it's the groups. But the heat. But I've got two move actions. I know. I know. Definitely not. Well, couldn't one move action be to move him into there, and then oh yeah, second yeah, but then a in. single. No. So if as part of the action, yeah. that moves into there, that one then can't move again. You can't use a move action to move. No, his, but he said he had two move actions. If you've got two move actions, you're fine. No, you not two move actions. There, sorry, and then next move action. Okay. Okay. Then you so don't one move action. I've got two got moves got left. Two yeah. moves. And yes. what I'm saying is, I want to do. I see. Yeah, I don't think you can. No, that, on the, I didn't see any rules about picking up units on the way. And as you've established, they fight mm -hmm. the second they arrive, so it will be... on there, is there? Yeah, I mean, if Christian's in the chat, which he is, because he's saying he likes the game, um, <laughs> okay, then if so you can I'm... let us know if that's possible, but I don't think it is possible. So I'm either attacking with all three, or I'm going to have to spend another action to do it. Um, and actually, you were right not to buy it years ago, because there's a new version now, with everything included and all tweaked and that's better. So, I mean, what does Rhodes say? It says, may ignore, ignore terrain and or move yeah, two so. spaces if moving two from your city. So, Rhodes is mentioned more in the rule book at the back, I think. Was it under? Construction. When moving land units to or from your cities, pay one food and one rock to allow that unit to both ignore terrain penalties and move up to two spaces. You must pay for each unit or group that takes advantage of this ability. Um, it does no. It does actually affect what I'm going to do next. Yeah. I, I don't think you can, Yeah. because you pick up a group and you move that group, two spaces. and that group moves two spaces. All right, so you, you move the so, whole group. Yeah, thematically, it should be able to pick something up on the way, but I don't think it can. Yeah. Uh, Christian says you can't pick up units. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Don't say. Um, so if we were to attack here, you've got the fortress. Fortress. Two you, it's an general. extra dying combat and it soaks a hit, but it only fights in the first round of combat. Yeah. And your hero does anything special? Um, she gets plus two if you have more warfare advances. If you do. And uh, I'm getting plus one for there being a barbarian. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be really plus hard three. to do mm -hmm. the damage there. Um... Ooh, tricky one, isn't it? Yeah, so depending on your cards you've got in your hand, three units is risky, four <laughs> units is still risky, but it's possible. And we've not seen any cavalry or, or elephants, no, no, really. Yeah, disappointing, isn't it? I mean, who's got a market on the board? Has anybody got a market? I, I have the option to, but I don't know. I have yeah, no, nobody's built a market. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, okay. We're going to be boring, I think, and do something else. So no other movement 
from that movement. Yeah, I am. I am. Oh, you are. Yeah, right, I'm just okay. working. I've got to work out the next action to work out this action. Um, so if I, if I fight the battle, I get stuff. Uh, discard a card to get the gold. I need. Hmm. So I'm probably going to move Yeah, I'm going to move him back there, be boring, and I'm going to move him. There. Okay. So that's my move action. I've got one final action left, which is um, to recruit here. So you get one unit. Let me just check. Uh, He's angry. Yeah, I'm going to recruit my leader using one of them and one of them. Okay. Uh, which so your is, second leader comes into play. Yeah. And who would that be then? I think it's going to be Cleopatra. Um, she has to go there. So Cleopatra. <laughs> She's like, what's what's happened here then? Yeah. Maybe always... she'd like to take a little little you know rest of the beach while so the Vikings are just swimming her around. Has an extra who's, range. who's in those boats over there? <laughs> I see it is an extra range. So the Egyptians need to stop their seaside. Is it cast seaside counted as one? Is that's not good for their health. No. Because of the unhappiness. One what? It's still size range. two city. Okay, so it's currently got a free range then. Free space yeah. range. Um, but, she, but what I'm really going to do with her is for free action, I'm going to pay one um, culture token, Put to it place in it in her city. Um, anyone who wants to attack that city needs to pay culture tokens to remove the, my culture tokens first of all. Those right. those um, those ships those can turn into attackers, can't yes. they? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they can land. They can't directly attack. Right. So that's a free action, and then I'm probably going to try and do an influence. But is there anywhere in range? Well, this one, I think, isn't it? Of that one. Yeah. That's the way yeah, it seems to be going. My culture yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. All right, so I'm so going to spend one spend to... Spend the culture to do a free action to in cultural influence there yeah. and there. To four, you get plus one, don't you? Yeah. So it's a success and you get a mm -hmm. culture back. Looks like I'm not uh, going to have any fortresses in my own car. Oh, no way. But I mean... It, I mean he's still not having any fortresses of his own. But, but you, you've something. still got that fortress. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just don't have the, in points, terms of the points. Which is the critical factor right now. Oh, uh, so that so makes you win. Points for the winning of the game. Okay, right, done. Last okay. turn of this of this age. Yeah, so getting, so getting close. Uh, gold, food, food, and then we'll do a points check at the end of this age as well because really? things, things have changed. Yeah. I don't like the points check. <laughs> um, does that help? I'm not sure it does. Racking my brain in ways to get this. Oh no, that that could work. So oh. Maybe we do them like that then. Does that count an army? Can I recruit an army with that? Is she an army, Cleopatra? She is. Mm. I think the leaders are army units. Yeah. So after recruiting at least one army or ship, gain. Uh, let's try a. Free, because a I forgot last time. A free action, trying to influence. Right. Uh, this. So you spend a culture to activate it. Yeah. Roll the dice. Let's see if we can get a lucky one. Yes, Five. we do. I cleanse it. So that fortress goes back to blue. Huzzah. Which allows me to make easy attempts to get near this. Dead. So just cleansed your yellow paint from my building, rid of scraping it. Nice. All right, so I have three options now. Mm -hmm. um, let us go for... Okay, it's time for a bit more battle camp. Hmm. Um, See what's going on on this board then. All very busy over here. It's going on a bit So I've got Viking ships off the coast. Cleopatra's just arrived. So we've got a nice big yellow city here. 
uh, and lots of blue yellow cultural influence here the barbarians are still here they've been here since the start they don't know what's going on <laughs> <It's a simple. laughs> uh, and then we got the vikings down here let's do a move quite strong. let's move a troop into there and do we'll walk that way and do we'll walk it's going to be awkward anyway, isn't it? No, that's fine. Okay, and one more troop. No, that's fine. Uh, and then we have two more actions to do, one of which will be... Let's take resources from here. So you're activating that city. You get size four. Lumber, lumber, stone and food. Okay. Lumber, lumber, stone and food. Come on, and you can build that wonder. Do we have enough? Go on. We need to put one or short with three, short with two, food, and we need three more. It's like a lot to go. Um, so we have to keep tapping places for resources until we get there. Um, oh, that's, that's worth doing. We've got quite a lot of those cards. Reaction bartering. Yeah, we've not seen much trading between the players, have we? I don't think we keep getting it sort of an option. Mm. Yeah. Slash slash resolve H as a structure. Hard to see when exactly. You know, it's I don't want to give you the resources yeah, exactly. you need yeah. to win yeah. to get your. Um, in a full play, you might see a sort. Of so we don't yeah. move. We don't yeah, collect. Yeah. Let's do another collect and let's grab. Um, Unhappy cities can't build. Correct. Not build, build, they can be crude. We'll grab um, lumber, ore, and food. From there? Yep. All done? Yeah. Right. So, status phase. Objectives. Who can play objectives? Uh, nope. No. Still don't qualify for anything. No objectives? Right. Everybody receives a free advance. Cool. Oh, I'm actually going to advance <coughs> engineering and take a wonder. Let's see if in the last turn I can get something out. There you go. Have a wonder. It's the Great Statue. Nice. Oh wow, discard an objective card from your hand to take an extra action once per turn. Nice. Very nice, so I need 5, 4, 3, 5. Okay, Dan, free advance. Oh, did that trigger an event? Oh, that does trigger it does trigger an event. We have an event, it is... My god, the barbarians move. Put They've been listening. Place a free settling one of your city also. Yep, so... Okay, so first of all, barbarians move. Yep, so... So, we have multiple barbarians moving here. Yep. So they have to go towards your city. Yeah, yep. so basically... So that one all barbarian armies within two land spaces of your cities must move one space yep. towards your cities. That one must move to there because it's within two spaces of that one. Mm -hmm. That one I can choose. I'm choosing this city and I'm choosing to move it there. Yeah. It does put it ex okay. close to... Yeah. And then I think we and get... then you place one barbarian infantry in all barbarian cities within two land spaces yep. of your so city. Two centre ones again. So one they've finally there. woken up. The hordes have marched out. Mongers in there. Okay. okay. And what and was then... There? The bottom part is place a free settler in one of your cities mm -hmm. and then select an enemy player who also gets to place a free settler in one of their cities. You must select a player who has a settler in their supply. Uh, so you and somebody else. I'm going to give it to Dan because I don't want Ben getting in more trade. <laughs> Dan. Uh, so where does it go, sorry? In, in one of your cities. cities. I'm going to put it over there. Right. So Dan, you get a free advance. Yeah. I'm just trying to work out which one's best. Yeah. The wonders are secret. Um, yeah. you, you don't you don't have to but yeah we, we're sharing it for the audience but you are you are allowed to keep them secret um sorry guys this is it's okay a few different choices here let me Quite a critical yeah. one, isn't it? Um, I think probably drama and music. Okay, so that gets you a mood token. And what does drama and music do? Um, there's a free action you can exchange mu mood for culture and culture for mood. One once one. per turn is a free action. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ben, free action, uh, free advance for I'll you. Take monuments, which gets you another wonder. And a yeah. Okay. Right. Cards. Two cards for you. Thank you. Two cards for you. 
Two cards for you. Thank you. Anybody want to raise a size one city? No, thank you. Anyone want to change government? No, thank you. Determine first player. I've got three. Dan, you choose. Why? Because it's choose. tied and you're closer to oh, Okay, so it moves. Oh, I'll go first then. Okay, so let's tot up the scores for the end of age five. Dan, I'll do yours first. All right. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two and a half. Twenty-two and a half. Twenty-eight and a half. Done? Done. Twenty-eight and a half. Ben. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and a half. 17 and a half. 18 and a half. 19, 20 and a half. 20 and a half. So what was yours done? 28 and a half. 28 and a half, 20 and a half. Rob? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 25 and a half. Counted them. 25 and a half. Yeah, so Dan's still winning. By three points. By three points. That surprises me. Yeah, why? I don't know. He's, well, he's, got a, he's still got a lot of yellow buildings. He's still got a lot of... Uh, I, yeah, research. I think the board situation when I looked at the points yeah. and then it changed back. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that, yeah, that's, I that's, that's, that's I two points. good for yeah, you, yeah, but it's actually yeah, not yeah, her. Two, two, point, two, yeah, two, point, two points for him, which is me and Dan. Right, Dan. we are going into the last age of the game. Thank you to everybody for, for bearing with us. Can the Celt still spawn and move barbarians? I don't know. Yes. Uh, we can, but I'm not quite clear as how useful that will be. But can you move those barbarians? Uh, how would I move them? I don't know. I don't think you spawn and move them, do you? No, because no, they move I towards I spawn here. like the event card oh, okay. icon. I can prevent armies from moving, but there's nothing I can do to make them go where I want, unfortunately. Again, I may have misunderstood stuff, but yeah, I'm, right. I'm confessed to struggling to get the most out of the Celtic abilities. Imagine a, a better player would see. And slightly off topic, but the food order has gone in and will be here in about 45 minutes' time. So, so we should be finishing if, up. if we can play fast for this last age, because we're all hungry. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so uh, for my first action, I'm going to spend. Um, oh, this is really. The ordering now is it really integral, mm. isn't it? Um, I need to. I need to get stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to culture is a critical limiter. Move units. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. That's madness. Absolute madness. I'm going to. Uh, I need to do a collect action. I need to do an improvement action to make that less. And I need to do that as well. Right. I'm going to settle a city here. Okay. So first action, found a new city. Yeah. You're allowed to do that on Baron because you're Egypt and yeah. you've got floodplains. Right. Yeah. First action done. Second uh, action. Second action is to... use circus and sports to pay one... How much do I need to do here to convert that to... I want to make that neutral. One. Just one to make it neutral, two to make it happy. Right. So circus and sports, I'm going to pay mm -hmm. one of them to make it neutral. So that's second action, yeah. that is now neutral. Third action is to play... So I can build a building in there now, you right? Can. And. The building that I want to build is. I can build pretty much anything. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, play this spending one. So this just lets me. Cover. As an action, you may construct a building at no cost. Yeah. No cost. Right. Okay. So the building is going to be an academy. There's the academy pieces, there's an academy. Which gets you two ideas. Which gets me two ideas. And I'm actually going to 
um, use this free action. Free action, exchange mood tokens for culture and vice versa. Yeah. So I'm going to change that <coughs> mood into culture. Uh, culture. Yeah. And then I'm going to spend... Wow. Um, I'm going to spend that yeah. uh, to play this, which gives me another action. Leadership, gain an extra action this turn. Okay. Yeah. So we've got one more wow. action left. And I'm going to... Uh, so that city was activated. Yeah. Because <clears throat> you built build. on it. Yeah. I'm going to spend the last uh, action to uh, use my two ideas to get an advance to learn monuments which gets you a culture token which gets me a culture token and a wonder and a wonder i trigger an event right uh, and also an objective card okay which do i do first do the objective card no i don't sorry no. ignore right. that barbarians move towards me yeah yep okay everyone that's within two range of me just those far two these two yeah so one there and one yeah, there. And then there's a great philosopher. If Does you want. two come on there? Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, can I have a look at the great philosopher? Yeah. See what he does. Uh, yeah, I've got to take that. You're going to take it? Yeah. Okay. Your go is done. Yeah. Ben. All right. Um, gold. Food. Food. Trade routes. Nice. Look at all their resources. I'm starting to trade routes. Really, really quite impressive. Yeah. But I yeah, it's like I can't convert them into points. Yeah. yeah. Like a waste of. Um, I want to recruit that kind of stuff. Let's do a. It's interesting because you need the culture to build the walls, but you want to use the culture yeah, for the culture. Yeah, it's hard to get hold of the culture. I can maybe do bartering, but then that's just a couple of advances place. in the blue spaces. Yeah, because there's a science I can yeah. get one on. So let's do an advance for free. Okay. And that's that trick is an event, and let's go for hmm, medicine, which gets you. Uh, after a crude action, I can get back a spent resource. Okay, so the event is Barbarian Spawn. Wow. See, they're at it now. Look at this. Anywhere it can go? Well, I think in terms of legal placements, it has to go somewhere near to one of mine. That, can definitely that go is there. Legal this place. In fact, yeah, that's one of the last ones because it has. You have to try and make it make it two away from you. Yeah, and it can't be too near <coughs> us. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. I'll give them then. Okay. And then one extra. And then on. you add one extra infantry to, or you could add a cavalry or a, an elephant, to, to what? Any uh, settlement. A barbarian settlement somewhere on the board. Um, Which one? Elephant. Another elephant. Okay. And then yes. it is a great diplomat. Would you like a great diplomat? Uh, what does a great diplomat do? Place this card in front of you and put an advance cube from another player's supply on the card. If you or that player attack each other, the attacker must pay each other, must pay the other to culture, or they can't attack. Hmm. Basically, you make a deal with somebody. Well, I think he kind of, he kind of enforces a deal on someone. Hmm. Um. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a crit yeah, it's a critical resource now. Um, yeah, so you just say no. Yeah, I'll pass it to you. Do you want it? Because you're too strong. No, thanks. So you, you want it? Can you normally only build Dan, Dan one? Dan can't have it. No. Can you normally only build wonders in happy cities? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, they have to be happy. Oh, it says make construct a wonder in happy cities. Okay. So I think the one is. You have to have engineering to build them at all. Yeah. Right. And monuments then give them additional abilities. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Start of my turn. You done, sweet. So that was my first action okay, doing the advance. Just... So second, yeah, wonders are constructed using the engineering advance by activating a happy city, choosing a wonder card from your hand, paying the resource cost. Got yeah. Yeah. So it's constructed building actually. How do, you, and, how do stacking and, limits work with? Um, so I can't recruit any more here because no. no, you, you have to okay, move them out first, fine. then recruit them. Fine. Um, let's recruit here. I'd like to recruit. Oh, so we need to do that first. Activating. 
Ah, oh, sorry, the order is all screwed up. So we need to do a build a marketplace first. So marketplace costs me they can, one, two, three. So what's this for? Marketplace. Whereabouts? Uh, let's put it in the middle. So you're activating that city and building a market. Yep. Okay. Market has been built. So the first action was advance. Second was build market. Yep. You need Third. three more event cubes. Um, third is going to be um, let's do a I can't yeah I can't get you in that um, tick tock third let's take resources from this one Okay, so it's size one, two, three, four. So yeah. four resources. Wood, wood, ore, and food. And then last action. Have I done three actions now? Yeah. Okay, then it's free action. Free action time. In the arts. Let's try to. So you're spending it? Yeah, convert that one. So cultural influence from there into here. Let's see what happens. This one I can adjust. Yeah. It's normal. Five, it's there you go. Oh, it's all gone wrong, Dan. Yeah. <coughs> it's bloody being pushed out again. Yeah. Hold well on, Rob. I've got okay. one, so one more free will be bartering and I'll chuck away oh, okay. an action card to get a culture. I think. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll barter away that one. For a gold or a culture? For a culture. Yep. And then first action is going to be to advance, spending two information to move that to there, which gets me another culture. Getting you another monument. Suddenly there's a there's a run on monuments. There we go. Ooh. That one needs that, which I have. So that's your first action? Yes. Okay. So many irrigation. Damn it. Second action, I'm going to <laughs> gather resources from this city. It is size three and it's happy. Yep, so, okay. two ore, one wood, and gold. Because gold still can Gold's be used. Gold's wild. And it can, even, even for these, yeah. it's still wild. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a gold. Yep. So, two, one, one. Yep. Next action will be um, going to activate that city and also gather. Four things. Yep, so it's going to be an ore, another gold, two food. Check. Check. Okay. Yep. Done. Done. Round two. Off we go. How are we doing yeah. the time? 1921. Um, so I'm going to build a an academy here, which costs me uh, uh, one, one, and one. So I put the academy. I've actually got a spare academy piece. Cause you should have five of each. Have I captured? You've got three on the board. Okay, so I should have one. There's one. Right, so academy there. Yep. Uh, that gets me two ideas. Uh, second action is to. It's just racking up the little points, isn't he? Just um, a point here and a point there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Second action That's is to take. Um, is to use the great philosopher to get a free education advance. Use cube from supply. So he's going to go on the. Uh, Let's just have a look at the Great Philosopher. Yeah. As an action, do one or both of the following. Get a free education advance using a cube from the supply yeah. and get two ideas. So he's remember, getting public education. Remember, edu you can't have more than two ideas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not getting them now, though, am I? Yeah. No, I'm just doing one of them. 
Oh, you, can you do both? You can do one or both of the following. Oh, I'll do it the other way around. Yeah. Then. So, a uh, second action. So, Spend first the two action ideas to, to get an advance. Second action is to do that and to put that on. That comes from your event tracker. That comes from the event tracker, and that's going to go on devotion. Okay. Uh, then you play the great philosopher. Then I play great philosopher. Which, getting a free education advance and two, two ideas. Yeah. Um, so there's my two ideas. My free education is probably going to go on that. Let's get you a mood token. Mm. Christian's saying an hour per player once you have it all down. I think that's about right. This is going to have been a five hour game and I think would be four once you play quick, once you know a bit more of what okay, you're doing, yeah. it's. A, I think this is a four-hour yeah. game. I know. I'm. I, I know. I'm struggling with just the sheer number of actions yeah. and interactions yeah. and everything is. Still depend, it would have been on the players as well. Yeah. 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 Um, and uh, I'm probably going to burn this wonder. Burn. I'm burning the wonder. Oh, no, I find too easy, but this is like for a culture or. No. Um, there are more oh, actions culture, in this than there are for a culture. Yeah. Yeah. I could try and get point back. There's, yeah, there's a more, um, more limited number of actions you can yeah, take. Yeah, I'll take yeah. the culture. Whereas then. this is lots of fairly little um, actions. Okay. Base of six. I and could do my free action of trying to convert one of these. Mm. Hang on, let's just... Um, yeah. Have you got anything to protect against it? Against what? I kind of need to take it off. What well, though? Um, I'm gonna do my free action, spending this culture to do some cultural, to do influence. cultural influence, and I've got a range of three, four there, four because it's Cleopatra. Yeah, so there's nothing in range of that one. Um, three. That's a range there. of three. Nothing in range. So it's only this, That's right? It. That's a range of four. From there to there, I mean. Oh, from there to there. Yeah. Is a range of that's the only one. Yeah, one, yeah. one, two, three, four. Oh, because that's not yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, because this is only a level three city. It's, it's, okay. The colouring is. So I have to attack that. Okay. So. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, you could just not. Well, he took my fortress. <laughs> Six. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Oh. And I get one of those back. <laughs> it's another academy, it's though. Yeah, well, never mind. It was always his, I think. Academy. Another academy. Oh. You do have one. Well, I do own the city, but it looks it's like I never took it. To yeah. Yeah. You, you own yeah. the town hall, yeah. and I everybody in the city. You know, the thing that the yeah. governor he lives, in a, in a, lives in a fortified compound with <laughs> a small army around him. <laughs> they all speak Egyptian. Yeah, yeah. technically he's in control, but. Right. I think that's me done. Okay. Ben, so this is number two or number three? This is round two. Oh, two this okay. is your penultimate turn. Okay. Um, so I get one gold, one food, and then I'm capped at seven, I guess. Yeah. So I discard one. If I want to build something, I need well, to also get build the wonder. prerequisites. Get the wonder. This is so difficult. So, okay, I need to build irrigation. So I spend two food to advance irrigation. Uh huh. Which gets you a mood token. Gets me a mood token. Uh, I need to. Okay, so it means I, I can potentially build that if I put it into a city where that is good. I have several cities that could do that. So the next thing is resources. I've got the ore. I'm short one on the wood. But you've got gold. Got the food. I'm short two on the culture. Um, and the gold can do that. Okay, so I could do it this turn. So what I need to do is... Um, Get myself more culture, which I have to burn more stuff. Burn cards or so get bar, advances, yeah, get blue advances. I think I have to do both. So <clears throat> maybe we just do that this round and we stall around. Um, just put battle cam on while Ben's thinking. Yeah, let's take another advance and go for mm -hmm. so what it looks like above. astronomy. It's very busy board. And take that for free because of priesthood. Which gets me another culture. Gets your culture. And then side uh, as like side <laughs> uh, as a free action, I will discard an action card. For a culture. Yeah. Which gets me the five culture. So I've got one action left. Do Are I do we it? building a wonder? Let's build a what? No, we can't because we're in the happy city. I could do. It's something there's a target on it for everyone else. Ah, uh, can we keep it safe? There's some mountains there. Yeah. I don't know, because like, 
<laughs> Where do you build the one that on its own space? Or That's the thing. I think I think I might just build it in the city, next. just like the rest. Right. I might just build it next round. Why don't you build it here? <laughs> That's not a bad place to build it, actually. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, because yeah, because he's got a fortress the, there. He's got the ability that then means you can't. If he retakes those areas, you can't yeah. take them back. Yeah, but can I take the one that... But that's barren, isn't it? That's not a plains. Yeah. So you can always just go around the outside, which is not... Um, I think I'd probably prefer to build at the back, so I might just do an increased happiness move now and go for um, two resources to make that happy. Oh, using your um, priesthood? Uh, not priesthood, rituals. rituals. So two, two will make so that that's happy. That's happy. And I can do four for making that happy. Yeah, we'll take four to make that one happy. I think I can still... What's the benefit of you making that happy? Um, you need it happy to build the... End oh, if that's where you're going to build yeah. the thing. Yeah, because yeah, you go after Dan. I, could so do, I guess I could do it afterwards. But I think food-wise, it's like I'm, I'm getting more food anyway, I think. So I think mm -hmm. I can afford to spend some of this gold because I've got excess. So one, two, three, four. Let's happy if I have that as well. Yeah, that's okay. a good point, Andre. We have been teaching people yeah. how to play and interrupting cool. the game with explanations. Yeah, that's me done. Three right, options. Dan, uh, Rob, your penultimate three turn. Options. Sell that, which gets me culture. That. First action is going to be activate here to generate resources. It's going to be a gold, a wood, an ore, and a food. Yep. Second action, activate here and build a wonder. Hey. I'm building the great oh. statue. <clears throat> Could you pass me the great statue? So, Five or yeah. four wood, one, two, three, four, three food, one, two, three, five culture. Let's just have a look at the card. So Rob has just spent all of those resources at the top. And when you construct this wonder, you get an objective card. Nice. And you have an ability to discard an objective card from your hand to take an extra action once per turn. So that wonder goes in front of you and is worth five points. And the wonder, unlike the previous four version points. of the game, sorry, four points. Uh, unlike the previous version of the game, the wonder is actually part of the city. City. So there you go. You can see there is the wonder that has been built. It has been built. Yeah, the wonders are very cool miniatures. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to burn that card so I get a fourth action this turn using the ability. Okay. Using the ability of the, of the great, great statue, statue you just built. Yeah, yeah sorry, I can actually think four. Yeah. So my next action will be uh, to activate here. Okay. And gain stone, wood. Actually, no, I don't need to. Um, instead, I'm going to spend two gold for wooden, uh, wooden ore and food to upgrade this. And uh, we'll build an obelisk. Okay. Done. Right. So we're moving into... Oh, no, no, that's my... No, no, no. Okay. That was my third action. Oh, right. You got an extra one. I've now got a fourth action. And the fourth action will be... Uh, I'll bring the ships back to here. So, oh. so to here. So you move and they That's go. That's foreboding, they go here. isn't it? No, because it gives me this. Gives me that oh. and a knowledge. Going to be bringing back the bringing a load of troops my way again. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if he's just shoring up. Oh, navigation! Because you use navigation, that's how yeah, you get yeah, culture. Because you know, I guess, I guess if you go first, you, you have to be afraid of okay. yeah. potentially last strikes or something. Yeah. But he doesn't have Hold to worry about it. He's going last. Yeah. Right. So we are moving into the last round of the game. Exciting. Off we go then. Damn. Final turn of the game. So in theory, you could just steamroll in there with all those troops like you did before. No. Why? Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yes. When, when I, I said also, no, I meant yes. I can also leap around, so. Because I have four actions in my last turn if I throw another objective card away. Yeah. So if I want to be safe, I've got to for fortify that area. Um, it can have any more buildings in it? Nope. 
Uh, you've got four cities. Three cities. So three cities. You've got three cities, so the maximum size the city can be is three. Yeah. Um, so I think I probably want to keep it destroy buildings. Uh, voluntarily, yeah. I don't believe so. No, the, the only option you have is, is raising a city, which is size one. So. Yeah, you can't just burn down a building. You've got to burn yeah. down the whole city. Um, don't do anything by halves. Ah, oh, this is a difficult one, isn't it? Uh, I need to get that. I need to collect that. Um, so that can collect three things, and there's only three spaces available. Um, because of the barbarians. What right? are we doing with events? Doing attack. Then I leave myself open. Depends what vendors. We're doing yeah. recruit. You might trigger another event. You might. You, might. you don't need to. There. Yeah. So I'm going to collect here. Uh, so I'm activating that city pool. Um, so and I'm, activated. Yeah, and we're going to get one food. Yeah. One rock. And uh, one wood using my special ability. Yeah. Um, so that's my first action. My second action is to uh, recruit. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, um, my second action is going to be to build a temple in there. Something there just to get a point. Oh, sorry. When I collected, <clears throat> I should have gained that. So I just need to do this the other way around. So actually, what I'm going to do first is research. So the first action is to advance. Yeah, it's to research down here. Okay. Second action is... To activate and collect. Yeah, and that would have given me one of them. Okay. And your third action? My third action is to build in here. I'm going to leave it to the gods of fate, I think. Uh, I think Gods of Fate are out on a Saturday. Yeah, they're they're really off down the cinema watching the new Bond film. Far too busy. Far too no, third action is going to be to recruit. Mm, make it safe. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to spend one happiness for an infantry. For an infantry. And then a food and a. A food and a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, a food and a. For the other one. Is it a rock? Yeah. And a rock for the other one. And then you're done. And then I get, uh, after recruiting, I get one of these back. No, I've got three actions yet. Right. Um, yeah, it's got three actions. Uh, so one of the three actions is going to be to... Put the culture in the city? Yeah, I could put the culture in the city or I could try and steal something again. But I don't think there's anything in range. No, nothing news appeared. Yeah. Um, so I'll, always, shore yeah, always can be I'll shore up that using the free action. Yeah. Um, and then nothing else I can do. I've got free action to discard cards. No good. Got. Yeah, I think that's me done. We are guys. done. Yep. So Ben, your final turn of the game. Sweet. Um, gold, food, and food. Are you going to go exploring over there and wake up Hamish? Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm going to build a wonder, finally. Hey, which one? Uh, go for the Great Gardens. Which one is that's the Great Gardens? Two or... I think that's that one. Five, so four plus one. Where's it going? Gold. You decided. Yeah, five foods. It's going down, isn't it? And five pots. Oh, yeah, that's put on there. Seems appropriate. So that's a five, size five city, which you can have. Uh, no, you can't. I can't task go somewhere else. Okay. I can't go there. That's after all that. Didn't go somewhere else. After all that. <laughs> That's always some, some annoying thing. Um, let's pop it into... Um, I don't know. Maybe here then? That's valid, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, after all that, I can't even go where I wanted. Okay, so nice. we have the Hanging Gardens yeah. there, part of that city. Okay, um, nice. Is that worth doing? No, I think we just do the last. And what's the ability of the Great Gardens? 
Um, the city with this one that may collect any resource from plane spaces. And enemy player units that move into a plane space cannot attack the city with this monument in the same turn. Roads can't negate it. So if, there's, if, if it's in the middle of loads of planes, it's, oh, like, right, it's like okay. a mountain blocker or something. Right. That can't move. So that, that's, that means that's okay. useful. Uh, and then we have two actions left. Um, what can we afford to do? I want to try and get some more points. So let's do a. Uh, that city's been activated, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think on the moment. Um, let's build a. Let's recruit here. Uh huh. Why could we from there? Or build. Because yeah, because there's not too much coming from that direction now. Let's recruit here. Um, and that's going to be um, thousand market. Oh wait, some where's the market? Your yeah. market's here. Ah oh, no! <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It does matter. Does it? Everything I've been planning is all screwed. But does it need to be happy? That city at the end of the game. Um, yes, it does. It does. Okay, right. <laughs> let's put it. No, let's put it here. That will be fine. Okay, so that the Great Gardens has moved. Ah, yes. Right. Okay, so go there. And now you're activating. Then this we city. can activate this one to recruit, and we because we want to recruit an elephant. So we'll okay. An elephant, and that costs me two. Finally, we got an elephant. Two, and I can get a resource back that I hey. spent. So I'll get back one of the golds using medicine. Uh, you're not going to see them in action in this game, but we, we have actually got one on the board. Why not? Oh, you're going to My attack. third action is going to attack. Oh, right. And I spend two on rows to get these two dudes. So we are seeing it. Charging into here. Right. I suppose if you capture it, it's another point. Yep. Yeah. Not to mention uh, rewards that you might have in your. So Ben's got roads and gone from here to here. So we are seeing elephants in attack. Yeah. Did you have to? Did you pay for your roads? Uh, I paid. I did, I did, I did three. Oh, yeah. Down to two. Nice. Down to zero. Right. So, uh, are you using any cards or anything like that? Um, I am not. So you're rolling two dice. Two dice. And the elephant's ability is that you can, if you roll their symbol, I must. Use it. I think it's one yeah, of the weird things about elephants. Yeah, you must use it. It seems strange. To yeah, me you ignore doesn't. the number on the dice. Yeah, which is a yeah. bit annoying. Um, so, so you've I've got four and three, so I've got a negate hit. And and is it a must then? I, I, it says. According to the rules. Yeah, yeah. So, so that you it, you it's... ignore the three, but it negates a hit. Oh, I suppose well, you don't have to actually assign that dice to the. So the, yeah, there's there's a question. We we. I guess because if you assign it to the elephant, you must. But I don't. While well, you wait, you, you want to roll the barbarians? Yeah, things. I'll, I'll roll if... the barbarians. Barbarians have rolled a four. Yeah, I, I don't think it. Yeah. So you could just do it again because the round, no one was hurt yeah, in the so round. Yeah, so you do it again. But, but it's the point is, is, if I had the choice, I would have won. And because I didn't, I, ha I have to do it again. So yeah. it's like, so yeah, you've it would either, be better you've either won. Do you want to roll for that while I look it up in the rulebook? You've either sure. won or it's round two. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to round two. Or Christian, if he's still there. Oh, wow. This is what I mean. If it's if it's a must, it seems really bad. Combat roll. All die faces have a clash icon. When these icons are rolled, the clash ability of matching, I think there should be a matching unit in the army, must be activated. Must be, yeah. So again, it's so so they can't hurt you. Ignore any clash right, icons. This, this, is, this is what makes, I think this is this is like not a good thing. Because look, I've just... I've the value your die does not but add. you're not going to get hurt here. You but, just keep going till you kill him. Yeah, but the point of the game is not to spend ages rolling dice. In the no, 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 I'm true. Not. It's like this is true. But that really might just be bad, like some dodgy rolls, right? Yeah, but maybe. But it's like, okay, so then now, now I, you've I, I, I'm allowed to win now because maybe. my elephant is not they doing don't hurt you. They don't hurt you. So there you go. So that's gone. That's what makes it really You good. get a gold and you get another gold for the settlement. Okay. Okay. Cool. And which I play an objective. Hey. After winning a battle, I started against an army, including barbarians with at least one cavalry elephant in my army surviving. Nice. That was so hard for me to do. I think I was the easy one, actually. But it's like... So you got Stampede. After winning so a battle, you started against an army with at least one cavalry or elephant in your army surviving. Yeah, done. Two points. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> right. Okay. My last turn. Your last turn of the game. Okay, free action. I burn that for a culture. <laughs> okay. So the elephant had to survive. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like yeah. yeah so you've got three. I don't think there should ever be Black. something like that. You know, I need to spend two culture to try and yeah, take you out. Doesn't make sense. Yes. Yeah, Apply an equal amount to remove the tokens present. 
Okay. And try and go for the city. Well, it's, I get another one of, his, one of his leaders, is the thing. Yeah, another one of his leaders. Yeah, but you I get could. three points, takes three points off Dan. It's a massive move if you do it. Yeah. But and the dice have not been kind can, to I've me. got two action cards in hand, Dan. How many have you got? None. None. Have you got enough to trigger the iron? Yeah, iron's free. Oh, yeah. And that's. Can it, I do yeah. one? Like, there's a couple of free actions. I just want to. Do. You won't have anything here, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Because I can discard that to barter to get a culture and then use the culture to do a free action to try and convert. Yeah, sure. So there's a chance to try and wipe this one and off. And obviously, if you yeah. say, if your leader dies in the battle, yeah. it's, in the, it's two points Worth back my way. Yeah, but at the same time, it's. So you could just send one like three units, but then you've got less chance. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth taking. So we are having a final big swing, big swing finish. Battle so I think this is probably going to decide the game. To be honest, they might. Yeah. These boys load up, including the settler. So you're moving them. Four units. Units. ships. It's two two units per ship. Three because I have warships. Oh. Pesky Vikings. Then, as part of the same movement, Ooh, they ships. end up long, long ships. Yeah. Long yep. ships. Shipcraft and long ships. Yeah, yeah. sure. Right. Okay. Second movement. He hops out to here. Yeah. And they bundle into your city. They pay two of two culture. Yeah. Two Does break, that get rid of that culture? Yeah. Which breaks his culture shield. Yeah. And yeah. um, right. And now we have a big fight. Yeah. The Keep last the big fight of the game. Keep so the playing of cards. Yep. So I will play. We have a leader in three infantry versus yep. a leader in two infantry. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to play a card. You haven't got any cards. No. Today, so it's just add an attack to your roll. Yeah. Add one die to your combat yeah. roll. So wow. I'm rolling five dice. I think dice. you've probably done this. Unless you roll horribly. So five dice. Five dice. Got three three grunts and a leader. So, so the leader re rolls. Leader re rolls. Oh, easily. Leader, leader re rolls. Yeah, six, <laughs> yeah, 10, 20. So yeah, you're wiped out. Yeah, so I need to get how many? Are you rolling three dice? Yeah. And uh, I you need to get twenty. And I'm get No, you need to get twenty five. Why? Long ships. I've got plus two here. So long ships. Oh, because they so they cancel a hit. Yeah. No chance. Well you got a leader. We roll the, the one. So oh, wow. six. You've rolled a six, six and a five. Nineteen. Yeah. And I've got plus two. I can't I counted that. Okay. So I've got twenty one. Seven, fourteen. No, I, I counted your oh, no, that's mm. seven. That's seven. And that's five. So that's fourteen. Sorry, that's 19. Yeah, that's it. Oh, of course, the clash symbols. Yeah. So plus two is 21. Okay. Okay. Which is four hits. Long ship shirk sucks one. Cancel one hit, three die. Okay. God, so wow. I'm guessing, I'm guessing so you want to keep your leader I'll in keep there. my leader. So I've done all your leaders in. <laughs> yeah. So another like leader captured by the Vikings. A ton of gold. So that's another, what size was that? Uh, three. It was, you've got about to neutral, hadn't you? It was neutral. Yeah, so three gold. Me. That's another captured leader. You get a settler. So that is a one, two, three, and we need four, an academy. Five point swing. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, uh, no three. more. You lost three. Rob gained five. Oh, one second. Yeah. Need so that was my point second action. Which anyone's leaders. Uh, Ouch. Third and final oh, action of the game. Founder city. Is going to be <laughs> yes, actually, because I have a new founder. Immediately after founding a city, <laughs> two points. Two what? points. There you go. Because it's at least five nice. spaces away from. Oh, it's got my. To be... That's why I had to run them all the way out oh, there. No. So was it five, at least five spaces away from my where? starting city? Yeah, there wasn't anything else right. I could have done about it. I, no. you, you I wanted as, you to build as best you could. I wanted to build my temple in there, which would have given me. It was a plus bloody two. pattern. Fine, um, wasn't it? And I'm not going to spend this card to take a final action. Right, we are. Done. So status phase in rounds in H six. Objective cards. You got two. Yeah. Oh. I managed to complete one. So you've got what? Oh, I might have lost that one. <laughs> I've now only got two academies. I've got. Because uh, no, these aren't mine. Are yeah, they? You yeah, own mine. more cities with academies. Yeah, no, I own three cities with academies. Yeah, I haven't got that one. Anymore. Yeah, I haven't got that one anymore. So it's a ten point. Oh, but you do have this. 
Yeah. You have all four traditions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Two points. I think that was yeah, good. I managed to get scientists because there, there was only one academy on the, on the map and I stopped. You were in more cities with observatories than other players. Yeah, sorry, observatories. You yeah, were the, the one observatory. The, there was one because we nicked it and wow. we're mainly using it as a. So it's a 12 point swing. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep, keep racking them so up, atta- babies. Attacking Gosh. that city got you 12, 12 yeah, points. Yeah, Gosh. that was definitely worth it's it. So impressed. I almost it's... lost it, but yeah. Well, no, it was. To get it was it those, was those, five those points. Of me it was five like points off of me. That's why you and did it. Yeah, it was like these. It was so hard for me to find ones I could do this game. I think I'm four points for happy cities. Seven so points to, to you. Like, looking more carefully. That's time. mad. Well, well. So it was, a, it was a thirteen point. Twelve <laughs> it's points. Getting more. Yeah. Are we going to add up the points? Yes, for sure. Who do we think has got the least points? I don't know. Dan, I don't know. Probably Dan me now. Okay. Well, let's let's add let's add Dan's up. Eight in the last. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. That's mm-hmm. constant. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and a half. Okay, plus objectives. That's it, isn't it? Oh, so you... 30 and a half. I should have one more objective here. Where was that one we just did? Tradition, so it is. 32 and a half. Yeah. Okay, so remember that. 32 and a half. Yeah, Dan put the last objective down. Thank you. So 32 and a half. Then do we think Ben second? Yeah. I think so. Let's see. Okay. Who's doing it? We'll do it in order anyway. Yeah. One, One, two, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight. Eight Eight from buildings. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah. 26, 27. Yeah. 28, 29. 30, 31, 32. What were you undone? 32 and a half. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right. Wrong. I'm okay with that. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. 21. Right. Uh, a billion over there. I mean, the yeah. pillaging was effective. 23, 25, yeah. 27, 29, That's what they do, right? 31, yeah. 33, 35. Two captured leaders. 35, 37, 41 for the wonder. Yeah. Uh, 41 and then 41, two and a half. So 43 and a half. What's this one, two and a half? Canute gets me one VP. For his half of EP for his city for each hex where he is from a starting location. Forty two and a half. Forty two and a half. So thirty two. Yeah. Thirty two and a half. Yeah. Forty two and a half. Massive. All on the last turn. That was a big. Because I'd have had another four points in that last turn, and you'd have had a seven points less. Yeah, it was down close. But so I, I, I would have. Yeah. Would I have won? Forty two yeah. and a half minus seven. It's thirty five and a half. And thirty two and a half plus four. Thirty six and a so half. So I would have won. So that that did no, it. I that move. <clears throat> I mean you would have been able to do other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll take four, I'll yeah. Take more points. Right. So. Yeah, yeah. Epic yeah. game. Food has arrived and is downstairs. We'll, so we'll, we we are gonna disappear. Battle cam. Yeah, battle cam for the final well, if you want to see Battle Cam of the City, what's left of it at the end. Yeah, because we're frankly it's basically it was, it was a bloodbath. Knut yeah. the Great. On his own, yep. yeah, doing nothing else. But this is this is the board at the end of the game. So obviously you you've seen the overhead camera today, but this is our view of the game. It is pretty easy to see what's where. Yeah, I think it might look really messy, but I was able to see what what was in each place at each time. Yeah. I think they made the hexes bigger. Yeah, between nice. the last version and, and, and this version. I had two ages of trying to just hold this area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Constant attack I mean, from all like, sides. It worked. That, that it really worked. worked. Well, yeah, but that, again, like, that went, that went. Yeah, I but had you one took side. it all back. That's the thing. The cartoon of is I didn't actually get I know, but I couldn't, re- I couldn't, um, all, yeah. I couldn't collect because I didn't have, I only had one city. <sighs> what do you mean you couldn't collect? We are still alive. We're just waiting for the discussion to happen. Yeah, I was just saying, yeah, so. All right. Yeah. Okay, we, we are all done. So thank you very much to everybody who's watching live. A few people have been with us since the start. Oh, no. So thank you very much for watching. We were we were five hours. I knew it would be between four and five. And I think I think what they've said is right. Although you were three player game. Yeah, okay. I, I think it's probably an hour to an hour and a quarter per player. But in this stream we were obviously chatting a bit and we were explaining the rules as as we went along. 
But it is an epic game. Yeah. It is one that deserves the playtime. And the idea of this video was to show you how the game plays, but also to act as a tutorial. We didn't go through every single, uh, you know, tech advance, but we did explain them as they came out. Yeah. Mm. We didn't really see that much in the way we, we didn't see the cavalry fighting at all. So you didn't see that part of it. So there's no way that we were going to cover every single thing. But we saw the barbarians, although yeah. what they did in this game, I've never seen before. And I've played this game about six, seven times. They were blockers. They, they appeared. They did nothing for hundreds of years. Yeah. And they just, but they stopped me from getting through to Rob. Yeah, that's, that's why I can sort of leave my seat. Well, like, you had to fight through an old well, wave. Yeah, of... I need, yeah. We can only have one person at a time. Yeah, go on. Go on. I was and Ben said I could have gone through them, but that would have you. Did, by the time I got there, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. If I'd but, seen you starting to hack your way through them, yeah, I'd have started reacting. <laughs> exactly, really. Yeah. Did it? Who? Who did it help? Me. The fact it helps you absolutely. In between the ocean yeah. and the barbarian horde, you, you were know, so weak to start with. Yeah, I, well, I You you had nothing. I was I wasn't working on defenses because I knew I had the barbarian horde. If they started moving towards me, I'd have built up troops. Yeah. Yeah. But it's almost an early warning that until somebody that kills the warriors or they start to move, I don't need an army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was your, it was your, your pigeons. Yeah. Not pigeons. Canaries. What did they put down? Mines. Yeah, canaries. 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 <laughs> your canary. Yeah, and it was nice to see the wonders. We yeah. didn't really see the effect of the wonders that much. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. You used yours once, uh, but Ben's was had a quite a nice ability as well. Yes. We just we didn't get They're to see so that. Expensive, they are They're expensive. Out, they, they are expensive. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, excuse you. Um, but yeah, we're all done. So yeah, I hope the video was useful. Yeah. Uh, obviously, if you've watched this back, please leave me a like. Please leave me a comment on the video and let me know it was useful. Yeah. Um, thank you very much to WizKids for asking me to create the game. And as I say, it will be available middle of October. Um, and yeah, you can get it from your friendly local game store or order it from the WizKids store uh, on their website. And finally, just a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Uh, if you are in a position to be able to support me on Patreon to keep the channel going, uh, please do so. You can find the details at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Lots of behind the scenes footage for patron supporters, including a five hour game of us three learning how to play Clash of Cultures this morning. Oh, bargain. If you... <laughs> which, which, which went very differently. Which went very, very differently yeah. from this game. So, um, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much to all of my patron supporters. And thank you to everybody for watching. We will see you next time. Take care. See you later on. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit Game Toppers LLC.